Uh, See that hard cut I just did? Why'd you do a hard cut? You That's funnier. Fade. Fuck fades. When people see a fade, they just tune out. They're like, oh, it's more movie That's shit, stupid. more Hollywood pedophile shit. I was saying, I was watching TikTok, and this guy is in the waterbed store, and he's jumping from waterbed to waterbed. Mm -hmm. He's fucking around in the waterbed store. I went, oh, my God, the guy owns the waterbed store. He's going to be furious with this individual. And oh, the big shit. reveal was... Stop. Fucking recording. Great. Amazing. The big okay. reveal was my dad owns the waterbed store. How you how you jump around on a waterbed store? That's the well that's the thing, is it's not like very easy to jump from waterbed to waterbed. It's like injury waiting to happen. <laughs> yeah. You can roll your ankle and snap your leg. I think I remember being a kid and being on the waterbed and going like ah, 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 like because it would move in that hypnotic way. That's how which I became felt. twerking, so yeah. now it's I hate it, but but that kid grew up in a waterbed store, so I'm going to accept that maybe he has mastered the ability of maneuvering around a waterbed better than the average hmm. person. And now you want you want a store or a bed? You go in splits, splitsies with me. On a waterbed? Yeah, we could drop ship. Waterbed well, shit all around the country. Well, I was trying to figure out like why were people- Fuck Casper. Why were people buying waterbeds? And there's really cool, no man. reason. They're exotic. Yeah, well, that's they sold them. Titillating. The the marketing was literally like there's two things you do on a waterbed: sleep and a thing we're not allowed to talk about. That's how they marketed them. Yeah, they're basically like the idea of a waterbed was it's supposed to be like a sexy experience. It is. Is it? I was having my sex with my. A lot of sex when I owned one at 12 years old. <laughs> a lot of sex with myself. <laughs> yeah, well, that seems like you could have some fun. Actually, it's really annoying, too, because you can't get going, I and then it say, starts sloshing. Like, how, like, how are you getting into a rhythm, and then all of a sudden, Fuck. like, what if your rhythm changes? And That's you're going why I jack off so erratically, like the guys on Dune. You know how they can't walk yeah. on a pattern? I'm like, ha, 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 Because you have to match the waveform. And I even come yeah. not in a... Not in a steady pulses. pattern, <laughs> like a tune. So the water bed worms don't. And it get sounds you. like gummy bears when I come too. It goes boom, <laughs> boom. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't realize all Isn't the that perils crazy? of owning a water bed as a child has really <laughs> fucked you up. Yeah, I don't know. I was just I was like wondering if people still get them, and I guess there's a select number of people who still get water beds. But Let's get them. I don't know. Let's make I, yeah. our own. Let's make Let's our take own. Take some contractor bags. We'll yeah. fill them up. I mean, that was the first water bed. It was a guy in design student. He's just like, here, I filled a big plastic bag with water. In Is the there going to be a movie mattress. about that soon? I think so. We're well, going to get the Blackberry honestly, movie. Honestly, you water know what? Bed, the movie. If they said Starring. they're making a water bed movie, I would probably want to see it more than like half these stupid bio. Blackberry? Bio. Yeah. The Nike movie? The rise and fall of this the This is when we bed. got Michael Jordan <laughs> signed to Nike. We gave him a bunch of money. Yeah, that's it. And then his mom asked Bro. for more money. And we oh, gave wow. it to him. Yeah, we gave it to him. That's amazing, dude. What an inspiring story. Mm. I didn't see the end of Blackberry. Blackberry seems like I kind of want to watch the rest of it. I didn't see that shit. Too much imp It just feels like improv. I look yeah. at it and I go, mm, there's improv happening here. I don't like it. Yeah, maybe. I get down because, you know me, I'm a former improv guy. So they bring me in like a tracker, <laughs> like a Comanche a tracker, right? And I go, guy. hold up. And then I get down and I'm like, let me look at this trailer. And I pick up some bits. I'm like, there was improv here. A rare skill. <laughs> a rare skill. It's not a skill. It's, it's, it's a sickness. It's you a can brain spot disorder. them from a mile away. You go, mm -hmm. mm, that's one of them. They're like, where did they go? The murderer is an improver. This would be good. Dick, come in. This would be a good uh, okay. cop movie. Yeah. yeah. You go, who's, and you're across the street and you're like, get down, get down. That's crazy, Steve. He's great with props. Yeah. Not so, not so quick on his feet, but you put a plastic flamingo in his hands and he'll turn yeah. it into a Tommy gun and in an instant. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's holding a gun. He's going like this. Like, he's innocent because the real criminal would hold an improv gun like this. And they're like, how do you know that? What an F slur. <laughs> It's the dumb to even say in a stupid <laughs> fake movie idea. The improv, the improv murders. <laughs> I'd watch that. All right, Are you, it's better than those puppet murders. Let's do it. Are we doing it? Yeah. Oh, shit, we're live. I think so. Yeah. Benjamin says being a former improv guy is the cringiest part of Dick's past. Uh, and that's coming from a guy who's a pedophile. <laughs> wow. Why would you come into the comments Benjamin, and say how that? How could you do that, Benjamin? That's that's nuts, that's man. Horrible. Good luck with your urges. Here we go. I think improv has use. Oh, where's your has biggest value. thing? Biggest problem. Value like communism? In the universe! Well, 
Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. Not the biggest problem on the internet, Bo Blacks, you fucking dick. The show where we rank everything, every problem in the universe from uh, uh, paralyzing, no, from Sophie Comes to best friend bums. Ooh. How's that? Porco Rom- Romanaco. I'm your host, Dick Masterson. Joining me as always is Vito Gisualdi. Hi, Dick. Or Keemstar's dermal thickness to Vito's buffet sickness. What do you think about that one? I think that's pretty good. Keemstar Not- really taking it on the uh, non-existent they chin did- last they, week. Uh, or whatever his beard is covering up, he was taking it on. They're fucking up over at Lolcam. You think? Yeah. It's just a bad... It's, everyone agrees it's bad and not funny and boring. Everyone was in the, their comments <laughs> saying, and our comments saying, it's a bad show, it's boring, there's nothing that can be done to save it. And especially Boogie's boring. These guys but don't especially know- Keemstar ruins yeah. how boring Boogie even is, they were saying. You gotta know how radio works, right? It's an audio-based format. People right. want everybody to have a good time, have some fun. Okay. And there's nothing fun about Keemstar being nobody wants nobody wants a radio program where there's a guy who's like i'm the coolest guy ever and no one's allowed to call him an f slur it's called the cool dad you might fire them yeah welcome to cool dads live <laughs> i'm the coolest dad in the world we got a caller oh hey you fa- oh, okay another Team, joke if caller. you're not there to be goofed on and ridiculed and made fun of then just get off the show we and got let another caller hey cool dad you're a huge piece of shit i you why don't you kill yeah, okay fuck, okay dump okay, it, dump okay. It, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> hey, is this cool dad? Yeah, long time listener. I'm a cool dad too. Yeah. Oh, Everybody, yeah? if what's the hardest? If you know you what the want, hardest part is? What's the Telling your part? dad you're a pedophile. You fuck up, <laughs> oh, another guy. Get out of here. If you want to save Improv. the Lol Cow <laughs> podcast, in every comment section, you need to go and say, "Keem's a fucking idiot." Keem's the worst. <laughs> uh, man, Boogie's so much cooler and more manly than Keemstar. Like, Keemstar yeah. has to understand that if he's going to be on that show, he has to be one of the lol cows. He is. And he he is, you know, he is one. He had a big hug hug session after he fired that guy. Yeah, nothing. but he needs Connor. to stop crying. Justice for Connor. I had to fire uh, the teenage editor because he made fun of me on the internet. He sent in one of his women <laughs> employees to defend him. And she came, you know how women are all sassy on Twitter? Yeah. It's like, you didn't think you could hate women more, but then they gave them Twitter. And you're like, God, you're so fucking annoying when you're out of re- grabbing reach. Um, and she's like, you can't talk to your boss like that. I've been working for Keemstar for blah, 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 blah. Shut up, bitch. This is awful. How, um, is he trying to make himself the villain? Why would anyone sympathize with the millionaire who fires the hardworking uh, 20-year-old editor? I don't know how mm. old Connor is, but he's a young guy. For going out there, doing more than what he's asked to do. Yeah. And then he gets fired for doing what the whole point of the show is, is to create drama and interesting situations. Right. But you can't call Keem an f even though he clearly is. Uh, you ready? <laughs> you ready yeah. for this? You ready for last week's? It was Keemstar's um, Thin Skin. Yeah. That won last week. That Everyone was go to problem. the comments of that show and just be like, the show's pretty good, except for Keem. He's Keem fucking blows. Keem's gay. Surprised he could wipe, get all the goat cum out of his <laughs> beard before the show because he fucking sucks. Every comment. Well, so that was Connor. Connor gets a notch as a win for Connor the week. Connor gets a no win. Good Big work, win. Connor. Okay, then paralysis of choice. I um, won. That's so all right. I take second. Probably because you brought it in two weeks in a row. No. Probably had practice it's with your same. It's a different problem. buffet anxiety. The buffet problem is thing, that was not my buffet problem was not choosing what to eat. That was one of many possible things. What's your what's this is it opportunity cost? Is that your problem this week? Opportunity cost. You know what? I'm actually sad that Nash's, I Nash's Nash's theorem. I is should, that your, I your have problem wasted, this week? You know, it's such a good problem I brought in last week that I was thinking I'm like, man, I really should not have wasted it on that show. Excuse uh, me? I barely got to get what into you- it. Oh, I think that's a Carl was really making Carl Spitali was making fun of your stats readings in private. Wait, where? Oh, in private. In private, yeah. My private. Put it on the show. What do you mean my stats reading? Everyone likes stats. Stats but are you great. You just like read them. I don't just He's saying read like them. Vito's, What's he doing? Just reading stats? Like it's so boring. <laughs> it's two seconds, and then the stats spurn a conversation. What did you want to get into more in your problem? Just all the different ways in which the consumer is confronted with uh, too many options. You're like Mike Boguslawski. I think there's a I'm lot in your of uh, there's a lot of interesting things there. Uh, um, third place was who? Uh, fans. Of, oh, what? I 
I lo- I got all the way last. The third place was friends and family discounts, and dead last was Dick with his stupid soap ejaculate what problem the fuck? that he spent no None amount. None of you motherfuckers are washing your hands. That's why. <laughs> You're so busy jacking off. You gotta wash your hands every once in a while. Well, what can you do? What, what the fuck? Do? Doesn't that ever happen to you? Where the soap gets all crusted on the. No, I posted a picture of my soap and everyone ripped on me. Vito. <laughs> what? That wasn't ripping, that was an interventioning. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. What? There's what? nothing wrong with this. What is this? <laughs> That's my soap. No, this is a cry for help. This is just soap. It's just normal soap. Uh, I don't know what the problem is. I don't know why everybody don't know fl- why it's freaked not out about coming this. up on my thing here. It'd be really well. There you go. It doesn't even want you to see it. Uh, Add its source uh, at top. Reset room. It's just, this. See, it's just. I told you, I guys. You can see it. Hold. It. Just try Can't adding you? it again. Hit the plus button. Uh, there it is. Well, okay. How did that? Why did that happen? I don't fucking know. Look at this, Fido. Bro, just normal Dove soap. Bro, it's just normal. Why is everybody freaking out? What is the problem? Well, the age of the bottle is a problem. The, the they discontinued this bottle shape in uh, the early teens. No, they didn't. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> this is a Dove logo from 1983. That's not true. The dating the... the That's not true. You wash your... Is this your only form of soap? Is this your only form of identification? That's my body wash. It's body wash. What do you want? For whose body? For my body. Corpses? <laughs> it's not for corpses. It's just normal Dove soap. What else do you use? Shampoo. Okay, you see this? Like, <laughs> this, this is, is a or- problem. No, it's an orange soap, so the orange stuff gets between the cap and it like crusts up. Whatever. It has, you don't want to describe your soap as crusty. <laughs> I don't or use seep- that part. Well, the, <laughs> I use you're the touching stuff that's it in the bottle. So this this leads me to believe that you've been sitting on this soap for some time. Are you rationing it out? Like. No, I, just, I, have, I have more than one bottle. It's just this is the bottle that... Uh, How many bottles do you have in the shower? This, are you, like, <laughs> jacking them off two at a time? It's perfectly normal soap. It's very normal. No, this is... If you went to an Airbnb and saw this, yeah. you should call the police. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so many problems with this. Why is the string, like, jauntily thrown <laughs> over the soap bottle that's for the that's why do you have curtains in your shower i don't know i didn't design the shower it just came that but you way. designed this picture <laughs> and this didn't trouble you why do you have like a what looks like hemorrhoid medicine over here that's uh toothpaste no that's uh what do you call it that's a uh, hair dye developer for my beard to keep it a nice even color could you find a more disgusting place to put it than this, <laughs> this that little, decrapidating <laughs> it's the little window hole. sill? It's the little window sill hole where all my garbage goes. Can you see children through this window slit no, right here? there's no children out there, sadly. And then people thought I had mold. It's not mold. It's just the, the paint's... It's, uh, it's much worse the than The paint's mold. flaking away, because why did they... Well, that's the waterproofing over the wood yeah, to keep did the a water bad from going job in there. Of. You know, you could... <laughs> You could let somebody know, I, I or pro- you could do it. You could put I probably, another. I probably should do something about that because I think the wall's just filling up with water now <laughs> from think? the shower. So there's probably a shit ton of mold in that crevice. Why don't you have a shower caddy? I have one. It's uh, why isn't the soap in it? I don't know because sometimes because because I can't. Well, you have your little figure, your anime figures sitting in the shower caddy <laughs> no, to beat off. I'll take a bath and I sit in the bath and I can't reach you know with the shower caddy because. So up- this is how high is this windowsill? I mean, I, I got to reach up to get to it, but I can in, reach it. In the it. shower or in the bath? I can reach it from the bath. How high is this windowsill? Give me a, a hip, nipples, knees. That's it's, it's, it's like chest height. So you're showering in, in with this goo, and people are walking by, and they can stare right yeah. at your tits? Yes. <laughs> I did not design the bathroom, man. What do you want? All right? It just came that way. All right, no, but I keep the windows only open a crack, so they'd really have to like it needs to be shut and welded shut to forever. My, the they, crack is too. If they walk by, they can see my nipples. That's there it. There was a crack in the Titanic. This is a chasm of shame. Well, they did raise my rent, so I might go to my uh, landlord and go, "Okay, if you're gonna raise my rent, you gotta fix this, this, and this." And fix the bathroom. Yeah. Well, take this soap, throw it in the bottom of the ocean. Wrong with the soap. The soap's fine. Bro, you need a mint style soap. Why a mint? Because it's refreshing. You don't want to rub like the, your. I don't like the taste of mint. 
You're not supposed to be eating soap. <laughs> well, then I'm doing everything wrong. <laughs> The second I said I don't like the taste of mint, I went, man, I just set, I just set up dick for a really good joke. Why would you say I? that? I don't like the, I don't think about eating when I'm. It's the smell that's refreshing, you shithead. I'm, I'm, I'm saying I don't like the uh, the sensation of mint. Uh, the mouthfeel. <laughs> it makes me feel sick when I smell mint. When I smell. Well, it mint. makes you feel sick. Yeah, okay. It makes me feel sick. Uh, and so you got honey and, uh... <laughs> I don't like the taste of it. Well, you don't gotta eat the fucking soap. You, you have a glowing mango and... Do you mix it up or do you always go with the mango and almond butters? I, get, I don't know, man. It just seems like mango would be a nice little... Do you have a brush? Do you have a long brush? I have a brush, yeah. I need to see a picture of that. It's hanging... You might... Can you see it in that picture? I guess not. It might be that thing. Whatever it's that this starts. thing you, you wash your, no, your little, back with. <laughs> This thing? I don't know what that is. Well, this is uh, a disaster. It's just that I don't own Your the shower should place. be condemned. I don't own the apartment. I'm not going to, like, fix up their fucking shower. But you shower showers. in it. I don't know. What is this? I don't know. Some sort of silly putty that's stuck to the <laughs> side of the shower? I think that might be poster putty. <laughs> What's it? What's it? Well, Do you have a peep hole into up. the into the neighbors no. into the neighbors <laughs> into the neighbors kitchen? Some old lady cooking up some wok, some fried rice, and you're in there beating off, looking through the thing like porkies. Oh yeah, put in some more, put in some more shrimp, put in some mint. Oh no, mint. Ah. Oh no, ew. <laughs> I think I had some poster putty. And I was playing with it. And I left it in the shower. You what? You were playing with your putty in the shower? Yeah, bo bo that's not. That's supposed to be a euphemism. Supposed to be your penis. Anyway, everybody thought it, that there's mold though. There's no mold. I mean, this that's is just flaking just, paint. Uh, this is what is under here. It's just darkness. Oh, it's a bunch of well, because yeah, like because because the window. I have to keep that window open to let all the steam out. Or else what? Or else the steam gets into my house. No, oh. there's no door in that bathroom. So there's no way to keep the steam from getting out. You have a doorless bathroom? I have a doorless bathroom. You're, I I have a You shit with the door open all the time? I have a curtain instead of a door. Cuz when I got the place there was a door. Like a belly dancer? <laughs> what do you mean? I have I have a shower curtain for a door to get into the bathroom cuz when I got the place whoever designed it had the door open inwards into the bathroom, which meant and that's right where the toilet is. Right. And I'm a wide shitter. Okay, if I'm gonna shit, I gotta go wide. I gotta okay. be my legs going out okay. to this, and I can't do that if the door's opening inward because then my legs banging against the door. And because I don't know how to rehang a door to swing out the other way, I just took the whole thing <laughs> off and put a curtain out. <laughs> oh, you did it! Well, I I you took put the door a curtain off in your bathroom. Yeah, because I I needed to shit properly. Don't you feel weird, like vulnerable? Is that why you're so There's amped no one up? No else in there. But somebody could bust in your. Front door, and then you're just in there shitting like Vincent Vega with a <laughs> why would two anime figures bust into my door? That's not a that's not a common thing I have to deal with. But what if they did? What if they get the wrong apartment? Well, look, I just I have a curtain up, all right, and I pull the curtain and I do my business, whatever. <laughs> do you, a lot of places. Do you, do you peek through it? Do your cats come? My in? cats come in. Well, that's actually kind of fun. That way, the cats, if I'm taking a shower, they can run in. They can say hi, whatever else. You know. And you also, need to put what you do litter with the boxes door? in there too, so that way they can always get the litter box. Oh, so all steamy and cat shit in there. Yep, steamed cat shit. <laughs> I guess that's. <laughs> now what are you gonna do? <laughs> the bathroom's for shitting. The cat shit, I shit. It's not a big deal. Uh, okay, but everyone did think it was a big deal. <sighs> you know, one of the best things about uh, living alone is you can do whatever you want. I remember. Don't remind me. And I don't if if I didn't post pictures of it, none of you would ever know. I only post pictures of it because I don't care anymore. Nothing matters. Uh, I'm just having fun. Okay. Well, using old soap. If you have some soap old in the walls and that he's not going to eat, adopting a wide shitting stance because that's the American way. If you two way. have a curtain in your bathroom, yeah. Well, it's do you not wash great. the curtain ever? Yeah, I wash the curtain. Really? Yeah, when I do laundry, I send the curtain. You take the cur your bathroom curtain down? Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to have to see a picture of that, too. Send a picture of what? Of you putting Sending it in the, the washing taking machine. Taking the curtain off? It comes off easy. It's like a shower curtain. It's actually two shower curtains. <laughs> okay. 
Um, let's see. Double Breadman says, um, it annoys me irrationally when Vito uses the word neg in the place of insult. Uh, well, sometimes you latch onto a word. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Plalmer says, uh, how has Vito never expanded on the Domino's lore? That shit is hilarious. Um, for the love of God, Vito, Grunt's Rule says, we need more autistic fast food videos. You explaining how Subway destroyed the fast food industry was incredibly fascinating. Yeah, I guess I didn't realize that this is not common knowledge. I guess it's common knowledge in the fast food restaurant industry. Community? Yeah. Yeah. Because I lived through it. Again, my dad was running all these Domino's pizzas. He's going, $5 foot long is going to destroy this country. <laughs> I'm like, I think we'll be okay. And he's like, you don't understand. You haven't seen what I've seen. $5 foot it? long was, I might do it. I'm, I, w I would write it and I would do the voiceover and then someone else has got to step in and put all the... You, you're guaranteed somebody's going to bother you about wanting to edit it. Like a, someone listening. Well, say, I got hey, one I guy who's a potential editor, but if there's somebody, I, somebody else actually took a made a clip from the show, and I got to post it. But okay. I wanted, to, I wanted to see if I could get the sources from him because he, I want You got to do that thing where you put the captions on. If oh. you put up a short and a guy doesn't have captions, I'm nobody watches it. it. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, Alexander Dulanov says, uh, "Man, you think Vito is cringe? Then he busts into a fever dream Domino's story. I would watch all day about his food autism. I wanted to write a uh, show about." Pizza delivery and you Nobody and Randy made that. fun of me. Yeah, no, that. Well, you pitched like, you pitched the most. You pitched like a the most condescending show for the audience that possible. <laughs> condescending. It's like a. It's like a. Uh, you tell someone to make you a story, and they make like what they. Th it's like an alien making something yeah. that it thinks people want. The show would be about a bunch of pizza delivery drivers, and every episode is basically. Encountering insane customers. Like what? Like when I delivered to like a black frat house and they wouldn't let me leave until I smoked all their weed. And that was kind of fun. Okay. <laughs> that was just a fat. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Kid. It's like somehow it turning it into a sitcom turns it into shit. Well, sitcom, because everybody has an idea of what a sitcom is. You know, you have to do it like a Always Sunny where it's like not. Obvious scripted bullshit. You so, know? Only Sunny was funny like 15 years ago, though. Only Sunny, I think, would would still be funny now if it came out. Oh, the last seasons were just like woke trash. I have not watched the last seasons. Oh, yeah. Well, the reason they're bad now is again. Well, it's a problem with all comedy. You can't can't get away with what you used to get away with 10 years ago. That's why I keep. Saying you also that. pitched it as a liberal moves back home with his brother and they have a pizza shop together. Yeah. A liberal, like the original odd well, couple. Because it would be, you know, in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm the shitty liberal who has to move back home with my MAGA loving brother, Dick Masterson, because our terrible. father. This has, is what I mean about the kind of our to father the has died. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you, you know, we would get whatever, and then the the, the t crazy taxi pizzas. That's the crazy funny taxi part. of pizzas. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, you can only, you can't do that every episode. You got to have some sort of drama. It's like The Bear. Is that the name of that show? Have you seen I don't that watch thing? That shit. But you're no. aware that people are watching that, right? Retards. It's like one of the most popular shows right now. So is The Office. So it would be The Bear, you know, meets Always Sunny, meets Pizza. Look, man, Crazy obviously taxi. I'm an expert at pitching television shows. So. Just do the $5 foot long thing. <laughs> I'll do it. All right. Fine. Um Kicks Mechanic says this show is way better than the Low Cal podcast. You interact with your audience and are actually funny. Yeah, that's true. Speaking of interacting with the audience, guys, don't forget memberships are now available. Is this the chat? No. I fucked up. You're ball. looking at the channel. Okay. Well, don't forget that memberships are now available. What are you doing? I'm trying to gift some memberships on this How? channel. You got to go to the... It's a very convoluted bullshit. They I have to go to the funny. actual... Now you're playing us over as people are going to get confused. <laughs> Oh, you have to go through the front? Yeah, you have to go here, and then I have to go to membership gifting and gift five memberships. Wow! We're just giving it I away. I told you we should have waited until the end to do this. Well, no, now people know that memberships exist. Now five more people have memberships and are able. Oh, randomly? Oh, look, the malware got one. I like that guy. Sir Keckington got one. 
Okay. And now they have access to all our new emojis. We have new emojis. Have you seen the new emojis? There's mother's milk. Did you see that that Peppa the Pig Vito emoji that guy made? Did you put that in? <laughs> I didn't put that one in, no. <laughs> it looks cool, though. Why don't we make some that, like, rip on dick, you know? Yeah, why don't put we, me in, like, a you guys come up with some dick emojis? Like a fat, like a piece of poop with my hair on it. Yeah. Mr. Long Wiener, whatever that character was. <laughs> Uh, Cody versus the internet. Oh, R.A.P. Car is the other one. That's pretty That's good. That's a good one. Uh, <clears throat> I have bad news, too. Vito saw the Vito's booty this week, and he was snooping around upstairs. Is it that so week? So it's not going to be an exciting Vito's booty Was that the Vito's booty for this week? Mm hmm what do you mean stop snooping around? You left it on the kitchen table. But you walk in with like your eyes, like a cartoon eyes out of your head crawling all over like my shit. It's in the box. It's just sitting there on the table. I thought I had time because you walked in with a bag of food. I'm like, he's going to be all over that food. I came in 30 minutes before showtime. You had plenty of time to hide Vito's booty. 30 minutes? 30 minutes. I'm like, a, I'm a 15-minute guy. Okay. And we're late anyway. Uh, Cody versus the internet. Vito, communism is good because of youth baseball, because no families could meet once a week to play baseball. Uh, you got another yeah. example? Vito, uh, I gave an example. The idea is just to give people... A social safety net, mostly so they keep, keep, take care of themselves and their own families. Oh, how's that working? Well, we haven't done it yet. What do you? How do you explain? True UBI uh, has not been tried. How are how are pe some people uh, eating? All those people that don't have jobs <laughs> that I'm talking about. <laughs> well, uh, where's all the money going then? That's a different problem, you know. What problem is that? I don't know. It's a lot of problems. I got in trouble on Twitter. I mean, I'm getting in trouble on Twitter all week. Because uh, okay. you get the Oakland, uh, the Oakland jewelry Vito's store Twitter. tweet, or is that one not Vito's on? No, Vito's no, I don't have that. I've been playing okay. your theme song. What was about Oakland jewelry store? Got a jewelry store got robbed in Oakland, you know? Shocker. And, wow. And, uh, well, that's the thing. It was the End Wokeness, huh. which is a big Twitter account that follows me. And I think I know who runs it, but I won't say who. They posted a video of a uh, Asian couple owns a jewelry store in Oakland. Thankfully, scared off some robbers with a shotgun. Uh, but my take was, why the fuck would you own a jewelry store in Oakland? People were like, "Classic." Oh, what are you gonna say? So uh, she, because of what she was wearing, she deserved to get raped. And I'm like, well, mm, not deserved yeah. to, but I wouldn't have walked down that alleyway. So you shouldn't have a jewelry store in all of Oakland. No one should live in Oakland who has a brain no in their head. In no okay. one should have a business. I li okay, I'm allowed to say that because I lived in Oakland. I lived there. Yeah. I know what it's like. Right, right, right. No one should live there. Living there was the worst thing that ever, the worst place I've ever lived in my life. Okay. My Why? Because what's the top three problems? <laughs> <laughs> well, if I say that, I might get on a list, but... Uh, my car got broken into all the time, and then eventually just By outright who? stolen. Oh, I can't tell you who. You know, they do it in the middle of the night. I can only imagine what sort of spirited youth stole my car. Okay. Uh, the cops are non-existent. They're well, that's good, but they, they, oh, that's they, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I Oakland's love to see you your political. Do, uh, Oakland's good if you want persuasions. to commit crimes. You know, <laughs> right? It's your. Yeah. I, it's your ideal city. No, no, no. <laughs> What? I'll, I'll say this. The best thing about Oakland, the only good thing about Oakland right. was the flea market was banging. This is all stolen shit. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you would go to the Oakland flea market at the, the fucking next to the high school or whatever, and yeah. you're just like, oh, my God, all this shit is, like, brand new and half price. You get an Xbox, a brand new Xbox for, like, 100 bucks. Oh, man, my dad loved buying stolen shit. That was the best part of Oakland. Shit. He loved buying <laughs> stolen shit so much that he would just buy crap because they made it look like it was stolen. Yeah, right? He'd be like, I bought these three leather jackets. I'm like, well, they look like, why'd you buy, th who needs three leather jackets? Look, they got one. tags all over them and shit. It's like, yeah. You'd also go real cheap because they fell off the truck. And I'm like, are you sure that it's not just, like, <laughs> Naga hide from... The best part of the Oakland flea market is China? the guys who you go, uh, you just grabbed whatever you could get off the shelf, huh? Because they'd have, like, mayonnaise jars and, like, <laughs> you're like, who's buying flea market mayonnaise, man? That's a little much. Mm. Soap, toothbrushes, basically anything they can grab off the shelves Soap, at CVS well. to stock their booth. How uh, long does it take you to go through one of those mm. things of soap? Can you write a date on it? <laughs> I've had them Write a like, date on it when you crack it open and I've then tell me when like you throw that date three away. three months. I use a little squirt. Takes right. a while to go through it. Um, okay, so no jewelry stores in 
Oakland? No one should be in Oakland. Well, how are they going to get to UBI then without the jewelry store? Dude, Oakland is the worst. It's so bad. And then every time I had like a buddy, he's like, oh, man, my band is like visiting Oakland. And yeah. then he did a show and he's like, oh, they broke into my car and they stole everything. And I'm like, yeah, why'd you do a show in Oakland? No one should do shows there. No one should have businesses there. Yeah. The fact that a uh, Pixar is there, and then the worst part Pixar's in Oakland. That's the worst part of uh, uh, Oakland. It's right next to Emeryville. Emeryville is basically just Oakland. They're directly next to each other. Okay, is uh, all these white people who are like, oh, there's just like so much culture here. They're they like, say that about yes! Oakland. Yes, they're like, oh, there's like, it's like, it's like so, it's like real. It's like living in a real city, and you're like, it's like living in a crime infested hellhole. hellhole. That's where Berkeley was. That's why I went to that Pepsi riot fucking oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Because it's all Berkeley. Berkeley and Oakland are directly next to each other. So you have a bunch of hippie f kids studying gender neutral arts or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then you go a couple blocks south and people shoot at you. My favorite Oakland Sounds story. perfect. My favorite Oakland story is there was a guy who was painting a peace mural on a bridge. Yeah. You know? The nicest thing you could do. A uh, mural for peace. Everybody loves peace. And a guy rolled up and shot him to death and stole his paints. <laughs> and I went, that's <laughs> Oakland! That's it! That's the entire city summarized in one incident. Is We can all come together, every brother, every... <laughs> What race Killed was him. the guy that uh, Who was knows? painting it? Who no, knows? that was painting it. Oh, I think it, it might have been a black guy. I'm hoping. Oh, that's it would have been better. Man. <laughs> that's right. If it was some like white, white some old guy, white yeah. fucking uh, yeah, no, it was a nice person who says they're white. Nice that would black be... artist getting things done. Someone rolled up, killed him for his paints and shit. They sell the paints. <laughs> You I, seem half, I went to the flea market that week, paints. and I was like, these mm. brushes seem used. <laughs> and there's a lot of red paint all over them. Don't worry about that. Just buy them. Uh, yeah, Oakland's the worst. Anytime, uh, oh God, it drives me nuts because, again, yeah. I hung out with all those, like, hippie, weirdo video game kids. There's a weird little indie video game scene there. Right. And, again, they'd all be like, oh, my God, I just love the culture of Oakland and Emeryville. And I'm like, yeah, because yeah, you don't le live, you don't leave this area part of it. Right. And then I would hang out with Tim Rogers, who bought a cop car at one point. He had a Crown Vic that he bought in an auction. Uh -huh. And we'd be like, hey, let's go get tacos. And we'd go outside and go, oh, they stole my car again. <laughs> they stole his car pretty much every two months. And the kid, because they would see a Crown Vic and the kids would go, oh, cool, I can hotwire that. We'll drive it around, crash it into a wall. And then we'd yeah. just get it back like two months later and be like, hey, my Crown Vic's back. What could we do to stop to fix it? What do you think we should do? Nuke it from it? orbit. Nuke it. Okay, There's I'm, no I'm fixing. Fully, I mean, I guess you could vote out all the Democrats. <laughs> um, let's see. Stu Pendis says, uh, hey, did you see Eric July's gay award? Uh, he got it from a rinky-dink community college in my town. The Dow High School has a bigger campus. I wish I knew he was going to be there. And P.S., if you know this town, it looks like a... Oh. Looks like a diversity award written all over it, so the town's very white. I'm confused about... Did you see this award that... Uh, is this not a legit award? Is this like a fake college kind of situation? Well, all awards are fake. But what is this? Is Northwood it College was the black bi businessman of the century? I don't know if it's black award. businessman of the century. Wow. <laughs> Isn't it a young businessman or who dressed, something? Who dressed er Eric's wearing his uh, dapperest uh, gay out outfit? He's wearing a seventy-year-old gay man's uh, leisure suit here. It was interesting to see him without a baseball cap. With a shirt on. Why does he need a base? Why does he need a cap at all? Does he ever not appear with? Is he bald? I don't know. Uh, he won the Entrepreneur of the uh, of the Year award, um, named after the guy who invented young Avon. entrepreneur. What is the cutoff for young entrepreneur? Because he's like 30, 50. 33, 34. I thought young entrepreneur would be like in your twenties or something. He is. How about that? You yeah. haven't won any awards for your comic. I won a South by Southwest tabletop game of the year 2014. So, uh, for Star Liberty Realms. and business for all. This is the Richard DeVos, young entrepreneur, guy that invented Avon. Did they ask one him of the for a picture? Scams in yeah. history. Did they ask him for a picture of himself and he sent the cartoon picture? Did they agree on yeah, that? Yeah, he loves those cartoons. Yeah. Um, but what university is this? Uh, community college, I Is it a community imagine. college? Yeah. Why would he accept a community college award? Because <laughs> it's, it's not part of business, college. Vito. You don't understand when you're but doing business. But did he business... go to this college? Like, I don't, what is his connection no, to this I college? I think they just offered him a so reward. So some random <laughs> college goes, hey, you didn't Richard go here? Divas, he must have went here, Entrepreneur. Right? 
Who else has won? Yeah, who else has won this? R- Rip Reverse founder. Oh, my Receives. God. He put a press release on his own website about winning a stupid award. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Eric, do you know how Eric July is always saying your you don't worry about your peers. The customer is the only thing that matters. He's always saying like, "Oh, all these industry awards are bullshit," and like all these pros are winning Eisner awards and right, none of it right, matters. right, yeah, yeah. But now he's bragging about winning <laughs> the dumbest the award, dumbest that award a college young businessman's award, and he put a press release on his own website about it. Why he dressed up in this fancy pimp suit? Why has he got a flower? His is Sunday he going to the prom? What is this? <laughs> He probably thought it was a problem. Look at this brooch that he's wearing. It's a different look. I'll say that. It's a good look. <sighs> it's, it's it. I don't. Is that is, is that, that a where, bolo is that tie? Wait, is gem? that a, I think that's a bolo uh, tie. It's a bolo tie. Yeah, he's very, doing a bolo. Is this a real flower? or Is it a fake flower? Well, that he's maybe got this is a there. Texas look. You know, we're not Texas guys. Oh obviously. yeah, that's where they came up with that. So saying. the white suit, the southern gentleman kind of look here. Yeah, only well, queers and bigger was... queers come from Texas. I've heard it. <laughs> When I was coming up with the Ripperverse, ah, I reckon. Okay. Oh, and wait. The Saskia sisters <laughs> wrote a press re- I'm done. Come on. How come nobody's writing press releases for you? How come Why? Mr. Girl can't not, turn I don't out want a press release for you? anyone to write press releases for me. He had oh, the, come on. You do. He had the Saskia sisters yeah. write a press release for him? Shouldn't they be writing like comics? My dicks, but wait, but that's so weird. How did that conversation even happen? Hey guys, I just want a stupid Why don't you crank award. Crank out a press release for me. Can you crank out? What, pay anyone else to do that. Don't tell I'm, your comic I'm writers. I'm beyond to do thankful that. for this retarded award. Okay, top uh, twenty under Northwood 40. University. Top twenty under forty. So were there nineteen other people who won this? Yeah, uh, it was a part of their outstanding business leaders award. Okay, tell me what Northwood University is. Is this a real I university don't know. or not? Click. What well, do click you mean? the link. Click the link. I'm sure it has a website. Look, it's America's Liberty and Business Free for All. <laughs> so it, it's a business school. Okay. No, it's a Liberty and Business School. What is a Liberty and Business School? Free Liberty Enterprise in the front, leaders. business in the back. Oh, look at all these nice white people and Asian people taking these classes. Someone's got to tell me in the comments if this is a real college. There are many young. Is, is this what he said? Oh, yeah. Being, diploma firms. Being able to interact with both the students and the accomplished alumni was nothing short of inspiring. Just say inspiring. No, it was nothing you short of inspiring. It was nothing short of ins- of the one of the most. Uh, it was nothing short of one of the most <laughs> beyond inspiring things. I walk away from this event being incredibly optimistic about the future. Just say optimistic. Stop. Oh, let, there him, are many, let him extrapolate. There are many young people out there with a good head on their shoulders striving for absolute greatness. This guy's okay. insane. Uh, thank you to Northwood U for welcoming me like family. What the fuck? What is... Okay, this was a business. Does it explain anything? This is originating... Okay. The, uh, and then it's just about his company again, and it's a bunch of fucking. Okay, so this yeah, is this is more hey investors look at this kind of shit. This year's yeah. honorees also include the senior vice president of automotive sales of Honda. That seems way more impressive. <laughs> but what do I know? Um, uh, yeah. Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn hosted the honorees in an awards gala on April sixth. Uh, Eric T. July attended to accept his award and share his sentiments about receiving this prestigious <laughs> honor. Are we getting a documentary from the South? Uh, I, 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 I guarantee he must have filmed his speech for release Why is he standing at some there point? with a little table with his cartoon on it and his little suit? Look, man. His little important man suit. If you're in the area and look a little- Look at my brooch. <laughs> look, I'm going to say Eric can get awards. It's fine. No, it's not. Don't, that award sucks. Don't get the Saskas to write a press release about it. And just just go, yeah, I went to a thing. It was like a fun little thing. He always makes a big deal out of all this shit, though, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's like pretend business. Like, again, I've I've won awards for, like, stupid design shit. And it's like, I don't know. I don't talk about it. I haven't won any awards ever. No. Yeah. I'm jealous. Well, all right. You, you want to last place for this, for last episode. Yeah, thanks a lot. Congrats do on your, that. Do your problem. My problem dick uh, is going to be one. Well, which one do I start with here? I'll tell you what. Go to my Twitter real quick. Shocker. Shut up. This is my way. (laughs) Instead of sending you links, I can just tweet the links, and then you have it. 
I saw this came across my feed recently. Okay. Here, I'll go to it. Uh, let's see here. This is from a guy. Who the hell is Mike Hoffman? A building a tribe of passive preneurs, uh, no. generating passive income. Ten. I passive hate passive income. <laughs> That's a good. I hate hearing about it. <laughs> I want to murder someone. Who, everyone who has it. Yeah. Well, I you wish- know the secret of the secret of life is passive income. Oh, the secret of life is getting money for nothing. Wow, <laughs> really? Well, this Did you learn that at business school. This beautiful passive entrepreneur who with seventy thousand followers decided to tweet out uh, this uh, this tweet thread here. Actually, how do I bring this up? Do I hit uh, yeah, hit the browser? Yeah. Okay, here's from Mike Hoffman. He says, "I found a guy." Who goes around the U.S. asking 70 to 100 year olds, why don't you say elderly people, uh, their biggest regrets, biggest lessons, and advice for their younger self? Oddly enough, most of their answers are the same. As you can see, this thread has 321. Are they still, are they still doing the knockout game? That, where, where you go out behind people and knock them out? They got to do that to old people only. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing it. They're starting to do it to women. I'm like, ah, right. guys, yeah. come on. And not even fat women, regular women. Like, that's not cool. Knock out these people. Yeah, get rid of these motherfuckers. Hey, I got a question. What do you think kids could do to uh, be successful? Well, they're spending too much money on. Bop! Yeah. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom! Yeah, ma- the mic down. Make these videos, and, but like everyone this- go, yeah, black people, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> healing the divide. I want to hit these people with the fire hose after they answer these questions. All right. So here's here's a you know what? I'll just go straight to the one. Let's see. It was number seven. All of these videos are basically the same. It's old people telling young people what to really focus on, what's important in life. Right, right. Well, let's right. hear here. What is something you thought was really important when you were younger, but as you got older, you realized it wasn't that important? Material goods and more money than one really needs. Mm. As a younger person, I think you know we tend to want to make a lot of money and acquire a lot of material. Really, things, have a big house, great oh, yeah. car, all those things. And you know, I realize that's not what life is about. Life's about your relationships. Okay, okay. Life's not all about money, isn't it? Love, love. Being able to know what abundance really is and wow. what enough means and having enough. It's peaceful. I love being peaceful. What does abundance mean to you? Paying the bills when they come in the mail. Wanting what we have so that we don't okay. want more. But you're already, you already lost everybody there, you jackass. <laughs> you fucking shit heel, you boomer fuck. And you yourself. total piece of <laughs> shit. It's not that Hold on, he's going to tell us. Life's, sim- life's simple. It's not complicated at all, Dick. The Listen. The to make it, the more peace you lose, right? I mean, simplify. That's where we're at. i got a beautiful wife. i got a great family. I've got my house. Your wife's a dumb I've bitch. i got enough money that I don't have to worry about things. I've got enough money. That I don't have to worry about things, Dick. I hate boomers so much. <laughs> I I hate them in a way that makes me want to turn inside out. Every time I hear them talk, I can hear their <laughs> smug fucking tone through a through a concrete wall, a three foot concrete thick wall. I could hear them smirking at me. Well, you know, all you had to do was live through a cycle of a boom and bust interest rates, like I did. I mean. <laughs> I sold uh, my sperm and bought uh, three houses, and I rent them to you. So my problem is boomers saying money isn't everything when they lived through a period of incredible, yes, wealth generation. They lived through the beginning of a Ponzi scheme. (laughs) You guys remember that? (laughs) That whole thread. You guys remember when you had more of you paying into Social Security than there was of you? Yeah, we don't fucking have that anymore, bro. No. And you're sitting in your Tommy Bahamas doing interviews and then running home and banging your wife with your erectile dysfunction medicine. <laughs> I was so mad to see this thread being like retweeted to everybody. Everyone going, you know, that's really wise. Money isn't everything. Material possessions aren't that good. And they're talking to these people and they're like, well, you know, we just decided to simplify. So we sold everything and now we live on a boat that we, we sold bought. half our houses. <laughs> yeah, we a sold. Boat. <laughs> and now we just live on the boat with all our money and we have a... Uh, we don't have to work, and we're retired, and we have money in the bank. And you're like, okay, so this advice is useless. Yeah, it's very easy to say, well, money's not the most important thing. When you have a giant supply of money that most of us do we not just have. to acquire wealth. <laughs> we were out looking to acquire wealth, bro. Uh, yeah. We're trying to keep our money from evaporating. <laughs> they, they're so like, boost your house value. <laughs> Once I bought my fifth car, I realized, you know, do I really need five cars? It's like, bitch, my car, I have a they're 2000 so fucking smug. Seven Honda Element, and if it dies, I'm going to cry because I'm going to have to pay for another car I can't fucking afford. You can tell they're, you can tell they're bad because of how happy they are. You can tell they're bad, they're bad guys. 
because of how happy. Like when I was a kid, I was like, oh, maybe you just kind of get older and get happy. And I get uh, angrier <laughs> and meaner every year as the suffering compounds. Yeah. So I know it's because they just lived on fucking Easy Street all the You bought the way a house up. for fifty thousand dollars. You put whatever money you made off your pension and fucking the college the- cost you two grand. Yeah. And it just health insurance <laughs> cost you twenty dollars. <laughs> Yeah, what he says, I got and my- And there wasn't some fat Filipino nurse not giving you Vicodin when you needed. They would give you steroids for fucking fun, bro. <laughs> you could just walk around smoking weed with both hands. You didn't need it to be legal. Why? Because you just wouldn't get arrested. <laughs> 90% of the country was white. Everybody going, you know, there's a lot of wisdom to be gained here. And it's like, yeah, when you have a bunch of money, you have different priorities. And when you don't have a lot of money, you have to scramble you to really acquire it to fucking survive. This guy's talking about, I got my health. It's like, yeah, you probably have a cushy fucking health care plan that you, you've been grandfathered into or How whatever. How about the stab or, game? Or you're just getting Does it from exist? Social Security. That's an amazing interview. <laughs> Thanks, man. Shank. The shank game. We'll call it. So what would you give? What advice would you give to young people? Oh, that's crazy, man. Shank. Thanks for all that great advice. Ugh, boomered. With his fucking gut spilling out like Jurassic Park. All these people are going, oh, my God, you know, I really learned a lot, and I really need to learn to value the people around me or whatever. And I'm like, I need to acquire capital now. so I don't die in a gutter when I'm 60. Okay? Like, that's Ooh. it. You need to lose 50 pounds if yeah, you're going to make well. 60, buddy. You got to... <laughs> Come on, I'm not, I'm not that unhealthy. Oh, motherfuckers are dying at 65. Uh, who is? Motherfuckers are. Didn't yeah. you hear me? All right, I'll work on it. What is the average uh, Wait, lifespan uh, of your weight? I don't know. What's the actuarial tables at? I'd have to take have a Have you look. looked? No, take a look. What do you think look. it is? I hope it's not. Uh, I hope it's 70. Lifespan by weight in Do America. they have that? Uh, have you heard of life insurance? Yes, they have it. Ah, oh, 77. A BMI of over 30. Yeah. What do you think your BMI is? Probably like 33. I don't know. Can we calculate it right now? Go calculate My it. My scale has it. No, just hit, go BMI calculator. Okay. Calculate your body mass index. Uh, six feet. Six feet tall. 290 pounds. I mean, 295. 290. 290 fucking, no way are you 290. All right. Uh, 40. It's f- not good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's not the one I wanted to play. So what do I got to get it down to? That's the one. I'm I feel healthy, though. That's you got to get it down to 30. Well, Hold I on. Get let me down. figure out the, what the BMI of that is. It's probably what did like I say? 50 240. pounds? 240. No, that's going to be too high. Bro, if you lost 50 pounds, you're still over that death BMI. Yeah, I know. It's awful. <sighs> no, if I lost 40 pounds, I'm still over the death BMI. Let's get you down to two. 220 is probably 20. what I got to be at. Then you're, then you're at the under. death B. Okay, what's the... Well, let's... It's because it's... Let's see. Life expectancy morbid... No offense. Morbidly... This is a scientific term. I know morbidly it's a scientifically term. I know, but I don't want you getting upset like I'm typing in it as a joke. Oh, life expectancy is reduced term. by an estimated five to 20 years. Okay. 20 years? Well, twenty years off. I told you, fifty-seven. I got a. Uh, I got time. I'm gonna. I got. I got time. Who cares? I'm not gonna have any money anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what am I gonna do? It's probably better if I live less time. I don't gotta worry about saving That's and true. fucking investing. That's true. Christ, the stock market just crashed because we're going to war with Iran now. Oh yeah. These guys don't care. They get to live on a boat. They love war. You know, once it you, makes them hard. Once you get to your third house, you really got to realize th- this is enough. You know, my fourth house was excessive. Yeah, yeah. So I just sit on my. And again, this is coming from the passive investment guy, whose whole thing is like, and you know, the real way to happiness is to, uh, you know, become a landlord and exploit other people who will never be able to afford their own home. You know, and just yeah. build them into the ground forever. Are you starting to see why I was so pro COVID? I was also pro COVID. God gave us this beautiful disease. Yeah. Well, that wiped out at least ha- boomers. It didn't wipe out enough boomers. Because people were taking all these stupid measures. Yeah, you're right. We should have we should have definitely been slow rolled that cranking up vaccine. the ventilators. Should have been going door to door. Knock, <sighs> knock, knock. I get a little ventilator for you. Ah! I should have worked to uh, increase the curve. 
Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about just like, what if I just got some COVID and I just went to like old folks' home and just rubbed it on shit? Yeah, yeah. You know, every nice house in the area, put a bunch of COVID on all of everything. Okay, so what's the rest of this? Well, the rest of this is just basically, I mean, look, it's just this guy, they're all talking about how fucking inspiring these people are. Yeah. And, uh, 93. What's your secret what's for looking so secret great at 93? For looking so great? This is the guy who cries because his wife's dead because that's all they got to think about now. Good. <laughs> Fuck her. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm tired of paying your bitch wife's social security. Fuck you. Uh, Join her. Think where, about it. Where's her. the couple? Wear where, that heart out. There's this couple. Oh, wait, is it this one? Second? No. No. Important when you were younger, but as you got older, you realized wasn't that important. Who is this Material things. Material now we things. live on a boat, and we sold pretty much everything. We thought we would miss it. Yeah, we sold it, our extra no, houses. You know, we spent our youth trying to get bigger and bigger houses. Which means that you had bigger and bigger <laughs> houses. It's not you, you didn't In try to get them. Mean? You like, had <laughs> them. Like you had all this wealth. You're in no position to tell her, you know, in my uh, in my youth, I can't believe it. I, I spent all this time getting bigger and bigger houses. There's I don't have of shit. one house. I would take a little one. I would be happy you with that. You could get a little house if you stop buying toys. I could get a little one right now, but I don't want to get one. In, it's it just like a tiny. canned, like they heard this shit from somebody on, on TV or church or something. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, that's me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like material. We sold our material things. Well, that's not giving them up. It's just changing them into money. Yeah, who'd you give them to? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yourself. Oh, he sold them. <laughs> you know, at the peak of the at the pico top of the market. Yeah, that's the funny thing is they're going. You know, we just had to re- let good uh, let go of material things and convert them into cash Liquid for our, cash. our large uh, vacations. Yeah, and, I gave them uh, to my money my broker. You know. <laughs> Come on, what do you what do you mean? We got rid of our material things, just like Jesus. <laughs> She yeah. just didn't buy bonds, dude. This is advice for us, the younger generation. Nicer cars and all this kind of right. stuff. Right. Multiple and cars. A lot of that stuff now is meaningless. A lot of that stuff now is meaningless. Not all of it. I still like my first house and I still like the Ferrari I kept, but most of that stuff. Most of that's crap. You know, once I got, you know, once I got the Ferrari, I realized the Porsche was no longer a necessary. Mm-hmm. So, what is meaningful in life? What's um, meaningful? Relationship, in life? health, friends, being social, love every moment, live every day. What is it? Yeah, and all Man, your friends I- have a bunch of money. No, them have to work so you have plenty of time to hang out and, and figure out where to invest you know yeah. and talk to all my insider trading pals i can't hang out with my friends why because they're working all the time <laughs> i can't have meaningful relationships oh they'll really work on your relationships i can't afford a woman and all her fucking needs and shit and she's got to work and i gotta work you guys grew up on easy street you're in no position to give any advice to anyone if i ever say shit like that what's important in life uh like relationships and friends just shoot me What's important in life is a giant pile of money, money that you sit on. Yeah. Maybe passively and then generate more of it. Passively. And then you don't have to do passive anything income. else. Yeah. Guys, I got a hot tip for you. Passive income. So I, don't, drop ship so I don't have to be up till 4 a.m. designing trading cards no one's going to care about other than me. Well, that's a you thing. <laughs> All you had to do was make the comic, get the comic out the door, sell another comic. You should be on Super Killer 3 or 4 by now. No, you should be lapping ice on. True. I uh, I think we might. I think. Uh, I think How are we gonna? I think lap Isom at this point. I got a plan. I think. I think. What is the plan? Well, he's slow. He's slow rolling Isom three. It hasn't even happened yet. You are slow rolling Super Killer. He is. Look, I don't have four different books. I don't want to have four different books. I'm not slow rolling Super Killer. What do you mean? You could crank out a new Super Killer every couple of months. I'm working on that. You're gonna you're gonna feel stupid. What's the pizza tracker at? You're gonna feel stupid in like a year when it's all. I never ready feel to go. stupid. And a year is way too long. It's got to be three months tops. Well, a year, three we're or four have months. Ten issues out. That's What's how many pages did you do this week? I don't know, man. Stop <laughs> with this. <laughs> Stop with this. Look, we have a plan. We have a schedule. Um, and, uh, all I know is the pogs are at the printers, and I'll that's all out. that matters. <laughs> Every time you post about like pogs and lunchboxes, everyone's. Uh, Says rude things. Well, Have they say, "Where's that? the comic?" And I go, "Well, I got to make the other stuff." I promise people tchotchkes. Look, here's the thing that people don't realize: is making the tchotchkes uh, creates design elements I can use later for other uh, aspects of the super killer universe. Oh, it's like you've sunk the cost, and it's well, if I make- things are valuable, you already sunk the money into it, but it's not 
right. It's not it's, bad. It can be extrapolated out. I can use those graphics for uh, various uh, other, other projects, pogs. other pogs. Well, yeah, exactly. Placemats. When I need to make the next series Shower of pogs, curtains. they'll already be ready to go. Mugs you could make. The pogs are going to be cool. I wish they were cheaper to produce, though. A sheet of pogs costs two bucks. I told you this stuff was going to kill you. Well, no, what do you call it? It's only with the lunchbox you get the pogs. I just wish I could make more, you know? Because pogs are cool. What do you mean you wish you could make more? Like, I wish if they were like a buck a sheet, I'd order like a thousand of them. But since, you know. Why? I'd give them out at conventions or something. Oh, okay. Are you going to go to conventions and yeah, sign yeah. Your, your book? I mean, yeah, I'll sign it. I'll do whatever. You before. have to have two issues of Super Killer out a year. I agree. I think we could do three or four. Just do two. I'll try to do two. Yeah. I think try we should to do, do one and then do two. Well, I got to, uh, here's the, uh, yeah. We got to, you know what I'm feeling? I got like. How many scripts have you written? One. Why? Well, I have the other two in like, uh, I have two in, in brain three. Form? No, no, no. They're in like rough. I got a lot of Christmas presents in brain for issue my Issue two in brain and form. issue three are in a draft. Issue Over three is actually years. a lot easier to write. Issue two is the one I'm hung up on. You, we should talk about issue two after uh, the show. No, it's got to get no, I'm not talking about <laughs> I just want to run the plot by you. You can tell uh, me if you got an idea. Mr. Girl had some great ideas. I got to say, Mr. Girl is a comedy. Genius. Do everything that he says. Okay, here's my problem. Right. Um, or is it, are you done? I'm done. Uh, wrongful, wrongful convictions is my problem. Okay. You know, uh, OJ died recently. Right. Who was almost wrongfully convicted. Mm. If he was white, he probably would have died in prison. <laughs> You're saying he was wrongfully convicted for uh, stealing Murdering back his sports The murder of his wife, which he... Obviously, no, no, did no, not no. do, no, 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 and no. was obviously framed <laughs> okay. by the LAPD. I don't know Thank about that. God, no, he got know. away with it, or off, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> I feel like you misspoke. Thank God, he got away with it. Is not normally what you describe. A, Can you uh, imagine that you're innocent man. You're minding your own business. Mm -hmm. Somebody kills your wife, probably your son. Yeah, you rush over to see what's going on, and then all of a sudden, the whole Probably LAPDs I love that trying to part. frame you. Yeah, he probably was his son. Eh, all of a sudden, the, that was a all the LAPDs trying to frame you for yeah murder. They get off on this. That shit. racist cop who admitted to using the N word. They're all racist. Wow, all the cops. Yeah, are racist. And they, but thankfully, they planted gloves that were too small. That well, was they their planted one blood on his socks up. too. They planted blood on his socks. Yeah, they did a ton of they did a ton where of bad the, shit. Where were the socks in his house? In the middle of his room, and then they they were had no blood, and then they all of a sudden they had blood on them later. What do you mean like, they had no blood? They had no blood on them in the room, and then the guys walking around with blood and spilled a bunch of it all over the socks. Did they have a picture of it with no blood? Look, I'm not yeah, gonna, yes, I'm not gonna. I'm being dead serious. He was framed by the LAPD. Did he do it? I don't think so, but he was <laughs> definitely framed. Well, I guess it gets complicated where maybe he did it but they added extra evidence is that a thing yeah that's called framing yeah i know that's called that's called wrongful well, that's, conviction yeah I, I didn't follow all the oj even which is weird because i think i watched both the oj simpson documentaries that came out but wasn't it great they didn't, talk about, they didn't talk about the socks ever in either of those documentaries because they think. all have an angle you know even now they're saying like uh black people love it because uh they killed white people and it's like well i mean not really. Like the LAD, LAPD was really going to town on oh, black Oh man, people. it was uh, real were, bad. Yeah, the LAPD is basically responsible for Obama getting elected. The and, LAPD uh, is responsible for all this, uh, basically everything. Where it's yeah. like, well, they were just beating the shit out of every black guy they saw. Yeah, they yeah. love it, it uh, especially the black ones, um, the black cops. The Rodney King was a big problem. Three thousand exonerations since uh, nineteen ninety. In the National Registry of Exonerations. I didn't find very good stats for this. Oh, okay. Because everything I looked up, it was like all just how black people are more wrongly incarcerated. Yeah. It's like black people are three times. Like, well, what's the number? I think any, I think any, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's always the problem with looking up crime stats. You go, and this most affects black people. Black people. Black this people. most oh, affects God. black people. I can't believe You're it. You're going to kill that poor woman. <laughs> <laughs> Studies estimate that between four to six percent of people incarcerated in prisons are actually innocent. I believe that. Well, yeah, well, it well, seems about innocent, like one hundred percent innocent. That's interesting. 
I mean, I don't. It's probably a bullshit study, though. Yeah. Who knows? There's though. a lot of bullshit. Well, how do you know? Yeah, you can't really know. If you're I know just people. Guessing. And I know <laughs> if I walk into any situation and about five percent of things are fucked up, I would say that's pretty not too bad. Right. You guys did a good job. But isn't that wouldn't that step be the ultimate guesstimate? You like you talk to a bunch of people and you go, well, all of them say they're innocent. So let's say yeah, five percent of them are. They correct. don't all say they're innocent. Some All the guys, criminals maybe. I know yeah. are, are pretty ha- proud of themselves because <laughs> they think they figured out like a cheat. Well, they think they figured out like a, a, a life hack. I like, thought no, that's I... a crime. That's a life yeah. hack. Everyone knows about that life hack. I thought I had a life hack, but then this week they Everyone announced... knows you can change the digits on a check, and it's hey, that's and pretty smart. They might They're cash the smartest it. man in the world. Uh, I thought I had a life hack going, but now they said Target's got new facial recognition stuff to make sure you scan everything in your cart when you go through the self-checkout. Oh, you still have them? What the self checkout? Yeah, yeah, there's like a couple. There's like they, they ripped them. They've complete. Well, they've they've went from 15 self check or no, from 12 self checkouts down to four. Yeah. So now there's always a big line to use them, and they're almost pointless. Yeah. And the whole time now there's a lady watching you know, like a hawk, going like, "You got to scan that." Better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. They, they finally figured out that it was just a free money glitch. It's awesome. Man. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, Literally for the last 10 years, it'd be like, "All right, you get like a free thing of lunch meat." You get a and free. word finally got out. Yeah. Well, everybody figured because okay, they did a bunch of stuff to like they really thought they could psychologically trick people into thinking that people were watching this. And you're like, you know, they have like that thing at the front, and it's like a video feed of you scanning your own shit. Yeah. And you're like, who's that fooling? What? Someone's watching this somewhere? <laughs> yeah. Like, it doesn't matter. Record. It says recording in progress. They're like trying to psychologically oh, yeah, yeah, make yeah. you think somebody's watching that. Yeah, but what's going to happen? If I steal something, they go, hey, you stole that. You go, oh, fuck, I guess I scanned it wrong. Yeah. Guess you better call the cops Life so they hack. can. Yeah, it's a $20 item. What are you going to do? Send me to jail? Anyway, that's over with. There's 2 million people in prison and jails. It's a 500% increase over How many over for the last a self-checkout fraud, I wonder? Probably a lot. Probably a lot. Um, you can't go too big. I guess I just don't. Uh, well, people get off, right? So people mm. probably get on, too. Get off like on if crimes. they're fucking up the guilty guys, yeah. you got to be fucking up the innocent guys. Of course, I'm sure a lot of, of I'm course. sure they all did it, but but then you have you know, uh, you know well everyone's sure OJ did it. He obviously didn't, or <laughs> you know little, uh, she had a, you know it was he stole okay. that sports memorabilia though, and that was his biggest crime. You remember that one, right, in Vegas? Yeah, and that was shit that was so, of his that was sold. Yeah, when he was in prison yeah. or when he was in whatever, and he wanted it back because it was worth money. I wouldn't have done that, but, you know, whatever. It was a bad move. Maybe he thought he'd get out, you know, do his old football moves, get away with it. I always it. wanted to do a video. Uh, you want to make a YouTube video? I know you don't. Of what? What's the... Uh, I'll talk about it so you can get the dopamine. You hit. lived in California, though. I've never actually been there. There was a chain of chicken restaurants, fried chicken restaurants, for which O.J. Simpson was the spokesperson. I forget the name. Was it churches? Was it Popeyes? It wasn't, no, it was what like, was it? look it up. It was like, it was a popular California chain, but now they're down to about two locations. And I always wanted to make a video where I just uh, go, you looked up OJ Chicken and it's all just bringing you orange yeah, chicken orange results. Chicken. That's OJ, pretty funny. <laughs> it's Simpson, like, yeah, OJ, oranges. Spokesman. Pioneer, Pioneer chicken. chicken. There's like two locations left and I always wanted to make a video that was, let's eat OJ Simpson's chicken. And we go, and then I'm like, yeah, yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah, and I'm like, oh See, man, this is a food channel. Uh, you got to make do a food, food channel. Shit. Oh man, I got so many comments. Do you want to go to the OJ Simpson's chicken restaurant? And I go, yes. All right, well, before we eat this chicken, I don't want to get my hands greasy, so I got to put on my gloves. And then I start, ah, oh, I can't get my chicken gloves. Yeah, you got to cut it. <laughs> You gotta cut, and then we get a blonde like lady to come and go. Nicole, can you cut this chicken for me? <laughs> Where are we gonna get a lady? I, I know, but we just have to come up with some stupid OJ related yeah. things. Hold on, I want to watch OJ's uh, commercial. Thirteen. Here's how you know that OJ didn't do it. Is like, look at this guy. He You're had every- watching YouTube videos on the hey, show now. You sure enjoy that golden pioneer chicken. Oh yeah, I love it. As much as I love Pioneer's new country spicy chicken. A golden pioneer chicken has a crispy, crunchy taste. Sure, but country spicy is a whole new way to love. I want to try country well, spicy. You both agree on Pioneer's new buttermilk biscuits. Who wouldn't? They're baked fresh and Pioneer's own oven. Plus, they give you mouth-watering taste. Why well, they're almost as good as my mama. Your mama. He watched this and you go well he must have been innocent <laughs> <laughs> i 
think people like this stuff. People like, look, they got a whole bunch of these. Pioneer, you know, like. Anyway, if you want to look. <laughs> you just said people like food content, and then I play an OJ Simpson ch fried chicken They want commercial. you to, do, they don't want to watch YouTube videos with you. Look, I will make food videos, but I need someone to make them with me. Innocent black people All right. are eight times more likely than white people to be falsely convicted of rape. Fascinating. Can't man, could you be why. that? Could you imagine that? What? You're a black guy falsely confused your rape. Like, oh man, yeah, fuck, I'm, I'm just going to jail. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. Ugh, boy. Don't they occasionally have the black guy though? It goes, listen, guys. See, this is what I mean. A prisoner serving time for sexual assault is more than three times likely to be innocent if he's black than he's white. Well, then what's the actual num? Like, what's the total number? I think there was a black guy accused of rape, and he said. Uh, he showed the court how small his penis is, and they said no black man would admit to having a small penis. Clearly, this man Not cannot guilty. be a rapist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the court, I, I think the jury felt bad for him. They're like, oh my God. I don't know why. That is small for a black guy. Oh, you know, oh. Even if he did rape, you know what? He deserves a little something. <laughs> the guy was, his brother was like, oh man. <laughs> yeah, they got, a, they got an old black jury to go, oh, that oh. just ain't right, boy. Mm. You, 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 whatever you did, it ain't as bad as what God did to you. The jury, like, I'm not, my dick's way bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, I just want to make a statement. All the guys, who wants to make a statement? I'd like to make a statement the for the court. The foreman of the jury would like to uh, say, we all have much larger dicks than the defense. <laughs> and the women in the jury say that their husband's dicks are even bigger than the men here, which I don't think is right, Your Honor, but women don't know nothing about it. And that guy's just going, why did my lawyer convince me to tell them all I have a tiny penis is the worst? Uh, 44, here's an interesting stat, 44% of the 95 conviction integrity units in the U.S. have recorded exonerations. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what, what the fuck is an integrity recorded unit. I think that means half of these courts are not even recording people yeah. getting off. Is that parole? You should have, you gotta talk about parole You ever seen sometime. when people get out, yeah. uh, of prison for like 20 years, they get like, oh, you got like 8 million bucks. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty great. No, it needs to be like billion. I know. Like they own them. There should not be a limit. So just spend whatever you want, man. I mean, just do whatever you want. It should be like infinite money. You should get like an infinite government, you know, yeah. pension. The or only whatever. thing you can't do from now on is murder and rape. Right. Do pretty much anything you Other want. That, Pirate MLB good. games, shoplift wherever. You got a credit card. You got an <laughs> infinite credit with Uncle Sam. Can you imagine? It's unreasonable. The problem is, though, you know, sometimes you let these people. You saw that uh, that guy who went on Joe Rogan. He was like a prison reform advocate, and then he cut he a lady's torso and cut a lady's head off or whatever. And you're like, I'm guilty. Well, some of them did do it. Some of them are bad guys. I think that's the bit, the part of the problem. But not OJ. Not He's a good OJ. dad. Is Trying he, to is take he the good rap, dad. Take the rap for his son. Yeah, he had, a, he had a good sense of humor about the whole thing. Because <laughs> he didn't do it. Because he didn't do it. He even, he even tried Can you to imagine write, you didn't, your ex-wife got killed and yeah. you didn't do it, how happy you would be? Go, oh, man, my ex-wife got brutally stabbed? Would you fucking some gigolo? And Amazing. then he tried to write a- And I didn't do it? <laughs> oh, fuck it. <laughs> I, you know what? I, well, yeah, I'll go to trial, sure. He was out on the golf course looking for the murderer, you know, looking in every hole. No way he did it. No way he did it. No way. I'll be damned if I'll let a, a man with his <laughs> okay. murdering I mean, skills. I was thinking about how interesting it is that, like- we're all very morally outraged by certain crimes, but then, like, at a, -wives? Certain, no. at a certain point, it's like, yeah, well, yeah, it's OJ. No. OJ can kill a lady. So don't marry him then. Yeah, don't. <laughs> it's not really on. We, we didn't make a system to protect you from being that dark. stupid. It's pretty fucking crazy. <laughs> Uh, the best set of pogs I ever had were the OJ trial pogs. I remember the slammer. I remember seeing the slammer mm. at a... Uh, Again, a thrift market or whatever. I went, Dad, I want the OJ Slammer. It was on one side, it was said OJ innocent. Did it. And it was OJ going like, hey. Yeah. On the other side, it was OJ guilty. It was OJ behind bars. And it was an embossed coin. I still want to get that. You No, no buying. You're done I buying this week. Um, you seen him in Naked Gun? Yes. No, you can tell. When it's too goofy an actor, and fun. It's too silly and fun. Well, you just watch the, the principal. Do from, I got to play the chick no, commercial? No, no more again? commercials. <laughs> The principal from <laughs> Ferris Bueller, you could tell he was a pedophile. Because he was a bad guy. He was a bad The way he was looking at Ferris Bueller, you're like, are you trying to rape him? <laughs> what about the dad from Seventh Heaven? Did you see that one coming? Total rapist. Oh, well, yeah. Child. I mean, but you saw him from a mile away. I did, yeah. I told you. I, I told you I have that ability. Yes, to seek out pedophiles. Not to seek them out. 
Well, to, to, to if spot they're, them. If they've been convicted, I can tell you if they... That's got to be the worst. Well, actually, though, it's on brand, though, right? Because wasn't he a pastor? It's kind of like yeah. he was playing Freak. too hard into the role. He's guilty conscience. <laughs> what would make you become a pastor? <laughs> what would make you become I'm a talking TV to God. pastor? Uh, and I got to tell you guys about how much I'm talking to God. Like, All right, that seems a bit <laughs> odd. <laughs> I saw they did a Seventh Heaven reunion. I'm like, how do you do a reunion of a show where the dad's a convicted pedophile? Like, he obviously wasn't there. But it's, it's like, like Beetlejuice 2. How do they do that? Yeah. It's like, well, Apparently, they have to do some thing. They're doing, like, some stop-motion animation to explain that the pedophile got eaten by a shark in Beetlejuice 2. Ugh, I hate it and I think at that point, just don't. What do you think's going to be worse, uh, Joker 2 or Beetlejuice 2? I think Joker 2 might be good. Uh, I might uh, kill you. I like music. <laughs> yeah, but Lady Gaga... You can't I can't support what that, that on principle. Mean? What, is, what is the problem with Lady Gaga? Fat. She's fat. She's not that fat. Lady Gaga is just you in female form. She's a theater I hate kid myself, so. who realized that if you could. Here's the problem with you: is that the 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 successful theater kids are the ones who learn to commit to the bit 100. percent Oh yeah, is that true? Yeah, look at uh, yeah. what what's Dylan Mulvaney or whatever. He's like, ah, look, I'm a girl all the time. Woo! I love Dylan Mulvaney though. <laughs> All right, well, now you're committing to a bit. It's not a bit. I love it. I wish I could get right. up every day and make hundreds of thousands of dollars and say, I fucking hate women. <laughs> hey, women, look, I'm just like you. <laughs> look, I'm retarded. <laughs> but that was Lady Gaga. That's a lot of these, uh, like, music people. Is They're just like, it's a character. If you do, People love characters. I don't want to see Lady Gaga Singing in songs. a Joker movie. It was fine it's the not, way it, it was. It wasn't really a Joker movie to begin with. It's not really Joker. It's just it was a called guy. Joker. It's just a guy who's crazy and kills people. It's any no, movie. It was about Batman's nemesis. <laughs> Batman's not even in it. Joker. <laughs> he is no in Batman. it. Batman. Before he becomes Batman, when his parents are still alive. <laughs> You're assuming he becomes Batman. We don't know that he's going to become Batman in this universe. I don't want he to see Bruce him Wayne become forever. Batman. <laughs> I hate Harley Quinn so much. I don't hate Harley Quinn. It's such a st- I hate what Harley stupid Quinn- Stupid character. Nah, it's not that bad. It's fun. No, it's not. I like Harley Quinn. You haven't watched- It's the- just like chicks getting- It's it's like your, your, your friend gets a girlfriend, and then there's all these chicks all over, fucking gabbing about everything, and then Poison Ivy- And now it's- Next thing you know, Harvey- It's Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, and they're having a lesbian relationship, and there's no Batman at all. Okay, well, they did screw that up for the cartoon, which you have not watched. I watched it. Did you watch the first season? I watched everything that they had on Max. It's good. It's bad when uh, Harley and Poison Ivy become lesbians. I think that it goes off the rails there. Yeah. Because then it just kind of becomes... uh, It's like, at at first it didn't feel like, oh, it's like a woman power or whatever show. Like It was kind of mocking those. I guess it kind of still is. I don't know. (sighs) It's one of those shows that has a mixed identity. Like when Bojack Horseman started doing all that Todd's a women uh, ruined that too. Todd's an asexual arc, and that I'm like, was so what are you stupid. doing? Stop this! Yeah, it's yeah. about Bojack. Don't try to chisel him out. <laughs> this is a show about men. Yeah, don't stop trying to force women stuff in. Oh, princess all the Caroline, Princess Carolyn shit was terrible. Oh princess my Caroline's God. abusive relationship with her subordinate. Yeah, who's like a perfect man. What and, about her relationship with her mom and whether she achieved what she wanted to as a professional career? I don't know. I guess they had to go in some direction. All the Bojack stuff was good. Dick, is are you going to see Joker too? See yeah. the first Joker. I'll I was just Joker making too. jokes about theaters getting shot up. No, you won't. this time. Stop, um, stop. Don't say it on YouTube. <laughs> Save that for a different time. Now I hope the theaters are filled with the sound of joy from all the music. Are there any filled with the rat to tat of people tapping yeah, their toes the to the music? Yeah. I hope uh, it explodes at the box office. Don't be gun shy. <laughs> Don't check out Joker Two. <laughs> Don't. You'll blow your head off at all the entertaining okay. dancing. See, this is why we don't do this, is because then if something happens, it goes, comedians three months prior to Every time there's a Joker, manifesto, there's yeah. a shooter manifesto, I go control Am I on that? Dick Show, Dick, Dick Masterson, Men Better Than Women, and then I go, ah, fuck you. You do kind of hope. Mm. He probably was horrified. He's probably like, oh, God. Probably, because this, this is real all, bad. He's all happy. <laughs> Still, it's like, yeah, I'm a part of history. Like, a mass murderer did a thing, and I'm a meme. But, you know what I mean? 
That's what we, that's what you do the time machine. Go back to baby Hitler and go like, say, say Vito. Say Vito. It's just Waldy made me do this. <laughs> no, uh, Auschwitz is a stupid name. Call it Vito. Call it just Waldy Schwitz. Box, yeah. All right. Call it Dick. Super Killer's Lunchbox. <laughs> Call it Super Killer's Lunchbox. <laughs> we don't know why Hitler called it that. Why does Super Killer carry a lunchbox? <laughs> We'll never know. Well, actually, you will find out in issue two. Uh, Wrongful convictions. Uh, if you know, if you think OJ either didn't do it or you're glad he did it and got away with it, vote it up. Wrongful sure. conviction. Absolutely. Stephen Avery, prison, because he's white. Mm. Dick, uh, the Arizona Supreme Court, one of our favorite Supreme Courts, well, they ruled Tuesday that this state must adhere to a law made before statehood, before they even became a state, back when they were a territory. This is a law that bans all abortions, except those necessary to save a pregnant person's life. Oh, yeah. You must be real happy about this. The law, which is enforceable because Roe vs. Wade was overturned, is broader than the state's 2022 ban on abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy and carries a prison se sentence of two to five years for abortion providers. Mm. Right now, Republican lawmakers, uh, including Donald Trump, are scrambling <laughs> as they realize they've lost the Thanks female vote forever. Thanks a lot, Thanks guys. Thanks for locking it up for Biden, there. Thanks a lot, guys. Enjoy those. <laughs> enjoy your babies. Enjoy those. Enjoy, enjoy your babies. Those babies. I well, hope those babies uh, come to life and choke you in your sleep, Arizona. You nailed it. Biden's just going to breeze in on this one. I hope everyone. you're just driving through traffic on babies, like an avalanche of babies, like the snow drift all over the place, you fucking morons. Well, this may be a problem a for lot. you and people It's like who trans shit. Like abortion is like trans shit. Abortion is it, for abortion, us, but trans yes, shit is for you. It is, except for abortion is uh, probably much more. Everybody's affected by abortion, only trans, you know. No, they're the same. Well, it may, They're probably the same. Maybe. What percentage of people do you think are uh, doing trans shit in abortion? Probably about the same. Uh, I think the trans population is only like half a percent. But how many does it affect? The, uh, two, like a million a year? Two million a year? I don't know. I don't know. Well, all I know is that there's a lot of people out there, and these people are a problem. And this is a problem Women. I'm calling. Yeah, voting is a big problem for what no, you're describing. No, no, no. The problem is baby lovers, Dick. These sick, weird kind of pedophilic weirdos are all about saving all these fucking babies for some reason because they're so obsessed with fucking babies okay when we the human race have defied god's law we've found a way to deny the natural horrific cycle of childbirth and just cut it off of life right yeah. at the tip this is the greatest thing that has ever happened to the human race oh. is that we said hey we can. We this can, is what they hate, by the way. I don't care because it's yeah, true. Yeah, I, okay, I, I know. Is that we said? You know what the worst thing they about fall for it every time? You know what the worst thing is about uh, being human is like Sobriety. you just kind of want to like hang out. You know, you want to like fuck your girl or whatever. But then like babies show up and it's a huge pain in the ass. You just say that because you're not fucking one. <laughs> Well, when I was fucking one, I was it's always the best thing about life. When fucking I, women, when yeah, I try was it sometimes in a committed relationship, I was deadly uh, afraid of accidentally impregnating the woman and having yeah. to raise a child and whatever else. And uh, we figured it out. We you have make the a kid learn how to draw at an easy at an early age. And yeah, do your well, comic. I could have done that. Right? That would have been smart. I'm just saying that. I'm seeing right now the, the abortion debate is going full bore. A lot of conservatives are going, well, you can't kill a baby. It's the worst thing in the world. And I go, well, why is that, why is that so bad, really? What's so bad about it? Especially, well, that's what's so bad about it. But, what do you, uh, okay. What do you mean, what's so bad about it? You know what they think is, why are you pretending you don't know what their argument is? I get their, but their argument is bad, though, because it assumes that killing a baby is bad, which you also just can't prove so to me. edgy, Vito. I'm not being edgy. Oh, wow. Okay. But you were, like, locked down for COVID, right? Because life is so precious. If someone else's baby. COVID. Locked down, yes or no? No, I didn't want lockdown. What did you want? Uh, I wanted the mask shit to go away. <laughs> I wanted to just be able to do whatever I you want. People to die. Okay. Well, I wanted boomers to die. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I honestly, I was hoping the spread would pick up, but I was worried for myself, so I did stay inside. Okay. As a corpulent individual. Okay. Look. Okay. On a certain level, I get it. We've constructed this like moral fantasy that life <laughs> is precious, right? Oh my God, a human life. Can you believe it? 
There haven't been like trillions of those already. And he Why can't do you just... want UBI then? Because I think that like the people who are here and we're stuck here, you know, like we're stuck on, on your, this planet. Your position makes no sense. How can you be arguing about feeding poor people, but you don't care about fetuses? Because suffering is bad. And suffering huh. can only happen. How about you get your head chopped off? Are you gonna <laughs> uh, well, that's why I'm pro suicide. If you want, if you are suffering and you want to kill yourself, go nuts. But in the meantime, you should be able to seek uh, comfort, and we should uh, all be helping each other we achieve comfort. We should put comfort. a string, and if the fetus yanks on the string, is then it then sure. it's okay. Fine. All right. Okay. It's just look. It would be. You can just make more babies if you want. It's not like you can't just make it. It's like it's not like there's a finite number of babies, you know? It annoys me that what you're doing is going to piss pisses like radicalizes people. That's fine. I you know I love and you love it. <laughs> you guys just say this retarded shit. This like edge lord like it's not nihilistic edge lord shit. Well, it is kind of nihilistic. I mean, I think you have to be kind of nihilistic when you look at like the reality of what look but if, if you believe in God and a purpose for everything, then yes, I get it. Every life is precious, okay? Except for the black non-Americans that well, are starving yeah, to death. You're not doing anything about those. They don't like them. No. Well, that's part of what I wanted to bring in was, first of all, everybody's always like, oh, my God, America, so many abortions in America. Guys, we're, we're not even in the top 100 for abortions. Frankly, I'm kind of disappointed. Don't re oh, God. I'm a little disappointed. That there are only 900,000 abortions a year in the U.S. I feel like I'm on the old show we right now. We are ranked number 108, which is a lucky number. What? Who's number one? India? China? Well, it's got to be China. I'll tell you who's number one. Do you want number one? Do you want number one in terms of funny per comedy. capita or per number of people? Look, come on. What do I, what do I look like? <laughs> <laughs> Did I have breakfast this morning? Look, I got what? some great stats here, okay? For uh, in terms of per capita, the country that a woman is most likely to have an abortion, it's actually Vietnam. That makes sense. Does it? Well, I mean, it's it's. A, I mean, it's Asian. a poor Asian country. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense. And there's a yeah. lot of sex, sex tourism. tourism. I was gonna yeah. say like a. Sex well, there's worker. probably also a lot of reporting. Like China, I don't think they're keeping tabs on this stuff. Yeah. Oh God, well, it's for every for stats, every really. uh, thousand women. This is actually very high. For every thousand women, sixty four of them will have an abortion. That's pretty crazy. Uh, I will say, you know, it's interesting. I said America's like uh, rank low, but Cuba, technically America, number four for uh, per capita abortions. You know, you want to hear something funny? What? Anything but but what you're reading right now. This is this is interesting. <laughs> this is good information. Now, in terms of total abortions. Uh, you you asked you guessed China would be the most. Yeah, but I don't think they reported, so I would guess India. India is correct. India is India is reported as the most abortions, with six <laughs> sixteen million a year. Gotta get those numbers America's up, guys. Got rookie, America's rookie numbers. numbers. Get the numbers up until you stop. Until there's no more shitting in the street. Nine hundred thousand from America. India sixteen million, and. Uh, I mean, okay, let's think about it rationally. Everybody's saying, oh, every child's life is important, sure. But, like, do you ever go, like, man, I wish there was 16 million more Indian people every single year. This is the edgelord shit. It's not edgelord, okay? It's like, though they already got, like, a lot. There's a lot of people already. Okay? No one's saying, like... Oh, okay. Maybe Noel was right. Shut up. China, 9 million abortions a year. Do you look at China and you go, you know the worst thing about China is there's not enough fucking Chinese people? Like, come on. So what are we talking about? Are you going to do this for every country that you're racist <laughs> against? Do Mexico. Let's hear, Mexico let's hear, the, same, let's hear the same joke with 1 Mexico. 1 million Mexicans a year. Do you want an extra 1 million Mexicans? Because mm -hmm. we can get them for you. Yeah, you're bringing them in. I know. To vote. Well, you say you don't want them, and then you're telling me you want them. What do you want? Look, this is not edgelord shit. This is real. It's very we, edgelord. We have a lot of we have a we have a lot of people. We're not desperate for more of them. The idea that they're gonna what live like is that what you is that what you think it it is population size? It's just what is it? They think it's life, and they but also why hate is women. Life so important to them. I don't get it. Like, look, it's again, a unique. This is just it's a, no. It's, it's a leftover. unique collision of. Religion. Women making mistakes. Sure. And women doing women making stupid decisions has basically destroyed the whole world in Western civilization. And it hits this one inflection point where they can point to it and say, 
this. You fucked this up. Mm-hmm. And we will not let you, we will not keep letting you fuck this up. And then we're going to turn the tide, like in The Patriot, when Mel Gibson's running with the flag, yeah. and we're going to unfuck up all your other fuck ups. But they're not going to do it. Look, once a baby is formed and has like a nervous system and can recognize pain, I understand it because then you're creating suffering. We shouldn't create suffering. Why? Well, just on a basic level of do on to others, as in I don't want someone to <laughs> cut me into pieces on an operating table. So I'm going to cut them into pieces first. I'm going to cut them into pieces before they even have all their pieces but yet. Why do you, okay, so you have a you have a morality, but it's defined as instead of life and death, it's suffering. It's defined as the people who make it into existence. Sure, treat them very well, but the ones who have why? Because like, just why not? What is what? Well, I don't want to like cut people's fucking heads off and you shit. See, you, you see this weird, um, this weird like, uh, um, what is the, what is the word? What is that word with the? It's like a C it's, D. It's do the least amount of harm possible. No, it's um, cognitive dissonance. I don't you think see it is how cognitive you dissonance. you want us. You want to be pro-abortion, but you, all of your politics is pro giving deadbeats money, and you're trying to rectify these with this. This arbitrary, uh, well, suffering is bad, so we got to alleviate suffering, but we also have to be pro-death. Yes. Don't you see how strange no, that is? I don't think it is strange. It's very strange. It's not strange because, again, we're getting to it. Okay, I think that... <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I think if that- pro-death, it should be pro-death across the board. I think, well, let's put it this way. Again, like saying I'm pro-suicide- Okay, how is that uh, square? Is that not squared away with the rest of my beliefs? No, pro suicide. That's fine. You can anyone can check it. I mean, what pro death? But you're saying that would be for, for you're saying for me that would be a that they're making because I want to provide for people who want to be provided for, but those who want to die, I want them to also be able to die if they want. Well, the fetus is not choosing to die. I got bad news for you. Yeah, well, we're getting to the point before we can even make decisions. Look, it's not losing out on anything. It was gonna die anyway. Okay, so we're all the poor people. Right. They've ba- they're basically suiciding themselves by not showing up to job interviews. How is it different than suicide? I'm saying as long just, as they, 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 they can be a little nudge. Well, we can if we want to push poor people in a direction that says, hey, if you're not having a good time, you want to whatever. I don't know. No, I just don't want to give them any of my money. I don't want you to give them my money. We don't have to give them money. We can just. I do. The problem. I mean, look, we should be able to. Or else to- I go to jail. <laughs> I think we are at a point in society where we can figure out how to give people housing and food, which is... No, we're not. We are. We just... No, we're not. We are. No, we're not. None of you fuckers can do that. That's the problem. There's a lot of barriers in the way, but we have a lot of... Your guys' figuring things out is the barrier. You guys Mm. cannot figure out how to build poor people houses without stealing all the money. And the poor people the cannot figure the out to live problem. in the free houses That's without my... doing fentanyl all day. But they can do fentanyl all day. I got no problem with that. As long as they don't steal all the copper piping out of their walls. But they will. I know they will. And then they'll just start raping each other. Well, if we give them UBI. And they'll start smoking each other. If we give them UBI, hopefully they'll rip the copper pipes out of the wall. They will. <laughs> Wow. Because then everything will cost exactly what UBI is. <laughs> well, we got to. That's, that's I just think problem. it's. I think it's. I think you do have a bit of, uh, of cognitive dissonance there. Uh, look, I know, also think I it's think not society, a comedy problem. We, we got to get away from this idea that childbirth is a miracle. It's clearly not. It's like the absolute opposite. Do you have of any miracle. kids in your family? Yeah, I got like a niece or whatever. What do you, you think know? about that? Yeah, well, I mean, it's great for them. They're happy, you know. Like it's a, their family is happy. Okay, cool. Okay, but if they said, "Hey, we got an abortion," I'd also go, "Yeah, all right." Well, you know, okay, that's fine. So life in general is not good because you'd be supportive either way. Life is whatever you want to do. If you want whatever's going to make you happy. Right, right, right. But ultimately, if what's going to make you happy is getting that kid out of there, eating that eat that fetus, like that's your choice. It's your you made the fucking thing. You can make more of them if people I are so you're fucking do a upset baby about lovers them. problem. Well, that but is the problem. getting into the how pro- much you like to kill Babies, I'm like, oh god, all right. I just don't uh, feel that bad about an aborted baby. What did they miss out on? Eighty years of dicking around. 
But then you feel bad about all the other shit. Just because I don't want people to, like, suffer pain. If anything, getting yeeted early is great. You don't got to deal with any other shit. You don't know what you're, the horrors you're missing out on and the fucking insufferable stupidity you got to deal with. Uh, uh, and let's be real, okay? Everybody always goes like, oh, a human life is the most valuable thing ever. And then you read about, like, how many animals we just murder for food every year. And it's like... They're animals. See, that's what I don't get. Why, why do we not feel anything for animals? Because they are less sophisticated than us. So if I kill your dog, who cares? No, if you smudge my couch, I want to kill you. <laughs> my things are infinitely more important than other people's lives. But is lives. your dog your thing? Yes, it's my property. Right. My dog. <laughs> That's the only reason you have any emotional attachment to it. It's a living thing with a personality. Yeah, exactly. Do animals and in general. And I don't general. want it to suffer. I don't want a living thing to suffer. What the fuck is a fetus then? I'm saying if you can get it. Look, if you can quietly get it. Look. <laughs> quietly. Quietly and efficiently just end it. Okay? Okay. It's not I fix that the homeless big problem real quick. Okay, we kill. Are you for that? Can we march the homeless to a uh, some sort of they a would uh, use them for me. concentrated center? One hundred and thirty million pigs are slaughtered in the U.S. every year. One hundred and thirty. Why do you have a pig million. stat on an abortion problem? Because why are we okay with that? Why is that fine? Because we they're delicious. Maybe children are delicious. I don't fucking know because I don't eat them. <laughs> okay, we're definitely delicious to some other animal. Okay, the amount of death that takes place on this planet. Every day is on an unfathomable scale. No, it's we fathomable. Have, it's not. It's, num it's finite. It's can, numbered. Okay, sure. <laughs> when you look at like a factory farm where we just load living creatures into pens and slaughter them for meat, and you go, yeah, that's cool. That's fine. And you go, okay, well, well I don't want to raise you this You are the last fucking person who should be ta lecturing anybody about factory farming. I, I agree. Are you vegan? part of the si sickness. I wish I was vegan. Part? Yeah, I wish I wish that there were You're head of the class. I'm head of the class. <laughs> Meat's very tasty and it makes me upset how much I like it. I wish I didn't. Okay. Well, what do you what, then you would stop? Why is a human life so much more valuable than an animal's life? Why? Because put it put it into terms of points. Out of a hundred points, a human familiarity is okay, important to us. A human humans. being's life, let's assume, is the highest possible amount of useful points. A hundred points. Should never okay. kill a human. How, yeah. how many points is a dog? Uh, just a random dog? Yeah, just a random dog on the street. Like, how many people? How many? How what The trolley problem? What fraction of a person is it? Yeah, how many dogs, how many dogs can I kill that to make it worse than killing one human? You mean legally or just like in your mind? In your mind. Like, let's say you had the trolley problem. Yeah. And you had a dog. How many dogs for one person? Yeah. Oh, man. <sighs> House dogs? Are they somebody's pets? Are they going to go home to the owners? Let's say that they don't have any attachment to humans that they have. In, it's a pack. random dog? Wild dogs, but they're oh, infinity all, then. Infinity wild yeah. dogs. Yeah. Okay. No, because the, the person has human relationships. So, uh, like, so an animal only acquires usefulness in relation to what property. it provides to humans. Yes. What are you, retarded? <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. I just. So, uh, how just, do you not know this? Does that also go for aliens? Like, if an alien shows up and it's perfectly sentient, they're going to kill it, us. It, if aliens no, show up, I'm shooting first. <laughs> they're coming to kill us. They have families. Or at least take our money. <laughs> Maybe I'm sure they not. have bums in fucking Zepton. Yeah. And they ran out of money. They overprinted it. So, they're looking for hours. They come down. They propose compound interest, uh, you know. They have all sorts of crazy ideas about forming their own state, and we somehow integrate them into society. Are you talking about Israel? I, that was the bit. Anyway, I just, I think that when you live in a society where it's just like, listen, we kill fucking animals all the fucking time. They're living creatures. They have families. They they think. Are you doing feel. a fucking bit? They don't have families. Yeah, they animals do. don't. No, they don't. They're aware of like this is my pack or whatever. This that's is that's not my... a family. Uh, uh, you ever see like a video of like a mother? They cat change packs. They don't take... start crying and making movies about they, it. They take well, yeah, okay. They might not have like complete cognitive awareness of whatever, but like they don't have families. They grieve for their dead and whatever else. Kind of. No, not kind of. Like that genuinely happens. They get sad. 
Yeah, dude, you ever see like a like a video like a mother dog loses her puppies or whatever, you know? And she's Is that the same to you? Do you think they experience a, an emotion that's I similar think to animals ours? experience, yeah, all sorts of uh, uh, uh at the same level of ours. What do you, what, probably on a deeper level because it's oh, not Oh god. Probably cuz it's not connected to like insane fucking like hierarchies of thought that we've organized in our head where it's like, oh, well, if my dad died, it was for this reason related to this fucking thing. It's just like this thing that I, I love is saying. gone. Yeah. I'm saying just let me kill, just kill, just uh, not even kill. It's just, it's a quiet retirement. Why did you bring fetuses. in a stat on killing pigs for an abortion problem? Because I think that the the morality argument that people make that a human life is so... The, the not even like a human life that already exists. The potential for a human life is like is such even, a beautiful miracle. Oh my god, he might grow up to be the president. Yeah, or he might grow up to just be another shitty homeless guy smoking fentanyl and stealing copper wires out of the fucking wall. You don't know. And the odds are definitely in the odds that it's gonna be that. Most it's gonna be a fentanyl addicted homeless person. Most people, <laughs> no, that is not the odds. <laughs> They're not the gonna odds be- is they're going to be exactly like you. Yeah, well, they might just be normal. Same income brackets, okay, same everything. So if they're just like me, you really want more of me walking around? Who cares? Yes, it gives people the sense that they're living forever. Yes, they love it. So it's, it's very important illusion. to them. Who cares? <laughs> what people do. We found a cheat code, okay? And the cheat code is that this biological nightmare we've been shackled to that was not crafted by a divine You don't entity, have kids. Why do you care? I care because I, I just... Want people, especially women, who get to pregnant? Fuck you. No, you're just- doing this to appeal to women. <laughs> I, I get it now. I get it. Everything goes back to that. I think if you have a uh, if you have a child growing inside you, you have the right to say, "I, I don't want to. I'm not going to be able to take care of this child, and I don't want to." What about the man? Does he, have, does he deserve to say no? Yeah, sure. He should be able to get it out of there too. It should be an no, 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 no. Does he deserve to, deserve to say no? No, you don't. That's no, because it's mine. not growing inside his fucking body. But it's his thing. If we can get uh, wombs for men and the men can uh, carry the babies to term, then we can do that. We can transfer it over to him and he can run it. And then as soon as he comes out, I got to give him money? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, look. it's not. Man, a- I thought I hated the pro-life people until this conversation. <laughs> now I remember who the real enemy is. <gasps> it's not a miracle, guys. You can make as money as you want. Go make one right now. To one in uh, 64 And then if a gay chance. guy pays a lady to make one, everybody freaks out about it. I don't even get it. Do you like them or not? Do you like what or not? A gay guy gets like a surrogate, and they make a baby, and everyone's like, oh, this is the worst thing that ever happened. It's like, why do you matter? Why do you care how it's made? Why do you care who's making it? Because it's getting taken away from its mom. Why does that matter? Because it's supposed to have a mom. Why is it supposed to have a mom? Because it came out of the pussy. <laughs> That's <laughs> why. Because it's Again. weird to not, it sucks to not have a mom. Yeah, a lot of things suck. It's not the only thing that sucks. Well, because they're doing it just for, like, personal satisfaction. No. And it's not the personal... What do you mean, no? What do you mean, just for personal satisfaction? What does that mean? Well, why are they... Why have a kid? Personal satisfaction. They want a kid. They, they want to... Yeah, want but they don't have a fucking to uterus. Raise a child. So they're renting one. But so does no man, man ever want a child? Only women want children? You can't gin one up? Like, if I can't put pipes over this big in my house... Because it's a waste of water or whatever, or I can't have, or, or uh, no having idea. the wrong cryptocurrency is a fucking illegal uh, yeah. security. You cannot rent wombs. That is so far below. Uh, it's not renting a womb. What is it? Is prostitution. You're paying eighty thousand dollars. If if I can't get a hand job, you can't rent a fucking womb, right, bro. Well, we Dave sh- Rubin. They should be. They should. All that stuff should be legal. Okay, but it's not. It so then the womb renting is illegal. It should also be legal to have as many abortions as you want whenever you want. Well, it's going to be. Don't worry about it. And if you have a kid. It's going to be hard to signal. And two years into it, you find out the kid's retarded. Maybe we let you, you know. Kill it, you're saying. Mm. You couldn't do it, though. I couldn't do what? Pull the plug? Kill the kid. On, kill the two-year-old kid. I would make it a. I would make it like a respectable ceremony. You'd make it a YouTube video. It'd be like a, It'd be like like Soylent Green, you know? You put them in a room and you play some music. Yeah. And you just flood the gas. <laughs> <laughs> How did you think this would go? I don't care anymore. I don't care. I'm so you tired. You should care. Why? I don't feel anything. Okay? We kill all the time. And all these, we, it's always like all this talk about, oh, my God, a human life is, like, so important. And you're like, ah, oh, cool. Well, like, should we, like, give this guy enough, like a, like, a place to live and some food? No. He should die. 
What about this prisoner? We should cut his head off. So then it's the hypocrisy. It's not like this, like, yeah, fuck human life. Look at all these pigs we kill. I think it's just I accept that. Sure, I guess it is the hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. Look, I'll say this. In an ideal world with infinite resources, yes, every child should be taken to term, uh, placed in a perfect robot household or whatever else, or given to an adoptive couple. Yeah. But we don't have infinite resources. And uh, ultimately... This, uh, then I think, why are you giving them to fucking bums? Why are you trying to give our limited <laughs> what do you resources give them to? to? Keep All right. them. Everybody keep them. Everybody keep Let them. Let the bums starve. Fuck okay, them. Okay, but what if it, what about a young mother who doesn't have a lot of money and she goes, if I have this kid, it's going to cost a lot of money. I don't have time to take care of it. And I'd rather just shoot the woman. Yeah. <laughs> well, sure. That's our new What's abortion strategy. Let's just kill the, uh, the mothers. You have a problem with that? Yes. Why? I don't want to kill people. Just non-people. <laughs> Look, a, a, a fetus is a non-person. That's it. Really? There's nothing there. All right. I can't. I can't with this problem anymore. My problem is. Uh, At least um, I'm admitting to it, right? But you don't. I, I don't think so. Most liberals will not say, oh, I want to kill babies. Every I'm single saying, liberal will. And you're not really admitting it. You're making a joke. I'm not making a joke. I think it's fine to kill a baby. As long as it hasn't popped out yet. Yeah, the, I mean, it's like the all the same clump of cells shit. Like, you guys have been saying this for, you know, 40 years or whatever. Sure. Um, you done? I think I more understand that it has the potential to be human life. I get it. I understand why it upsets people. But ultimately, yeah, there is a bunch of hypocrisy. We don't value human life. We don't value animal life. It's just like everybody keeps flip-flopping on like, oh, my God, life. Life is such an incredible, you know, perfect thing. Oh, I hope that guy smoking fentanyl fucking dies. And it's like, well, I don't get it. What do you care about then? So Which life is valuable? Why is it, Neither of them. We why is a baby's life have more value than a gross, homeless fentanyl addict. Because um, he might not be a gross, the homeless fentanyl addict. same reason women are hotter with their clothes on. Because mm. you don't know what's under there. <laughs> it's the mystery. So as they take them off, you're like, oh, man. So babies are the, I ice, 80 bucks babies are the isom of yes. society. Yes. It's all about what very might important. happen. Yeah, it's very important to realize that. <laughs> <laughs> killed all these cancer cures. No, he didn't. Who knows what that kid might do? Same as I saw. Anything could happen, and that's why it's good. Now you're getting it. Yeah, exactly. Okay? And for the same reason, I don't like I saw storytelling, where I'm like, well, I don't know what's going to happen, so I'd rather just not read it. You're same all thing, over the place on this one. I don't think I am. I think I'm very intellectually consistent here. <laughs> <laughs> I just Say don't. Word I don't ascribe a lot of uh, value to uh, your own life. The unknown, the could be, but pogs. What, what if, if someone that kid... wanted to throw? What if you imagine a blank set of pogs? Yeah, could be anything could on the be pog. Anything on the pogs. And I said at I'm going to burn this set of, of pogs before that we print on it. Don't you want to see what was printed on I'm it? I'm just thinking about. First? Okay, think about how many babies are born that it doesn't benefit you in any way. Well, can you just keep, keep keep it in pog so it's like a comedy <laughs> show? I and don't not... want to do a comedy show. Yeah, exactly. You want to lecture everyone on. It's not a lecture. I'm pigs. just telling you. Who cares? It doesn't matter. That's literally a lecture. <laughs> <laughs> just give up. All right. This my, is it. This is my all problem you get. is uh, realizing that something wasn't charging. Mm. How's that? There you go. That's the show, everybody. That's a good one. Uh, here. Let's do voicemails. Well, you thought and you then... plugged it into the wall and you thought it was charging the whole time and it wasn't? It happens to me all the time. And yeah. then I find out that somebody unplugged it or it was a little bit off. What's my USB it... problem? I keep running into this thing where all the USB cords like stop working or they'll work one day and then I don't know if it's a charger or if it's the cord. It's a nightmare. And you come back, you're like, I got to go. Oh, no! Life has no meaning! And then you figure it out, and then you find out your little baby ripped it out of the wall, and you go, I should have aborted that kid. Wouldn't have ran into this situation. Why don't you just go pro-death? What's wrong with that? Because I'm not pro-death. I think that the people who are on this planet have every right to seek happiness and comfort. Huh. Unless you're a baby, in which case... You're out of there! <laughs> Do you think that's kind of odd? No, I don't think it. Look, uh, there. Uh, homeless crack addict? Okay. I, can I just go shoot him? Here's the deal. When it comes can to. Can I shoot him or not? Yeah. Homeless crack addict. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. So you're not pro life. I mean, you're not like. When it comes down to it, there is no possible way to have a logical, consistent moral code because. I mean, there all, is. 
Okay, well, the only the only logical because his moral code is true apathy, right? Where it just goes, none of this matters. Do whatever you want. No, you could be pro everybody too. Why? There's no reason to be pro everybody, and nobody is pro everybody. <sighs> Maybe you feel good about Who is it. Pro everybody. Christians, some of them. They every all once eat in a while. Meat. They all murder animals all the time. Animals are not the same as humans. Yes, they are. No, they're not. <laughs> Why not? Because they're not as sophisticated as us. What is so sophisticated about this? We're basically just fucking retarded as well. We're just retarded in a we different don't eat way. A, we, I was going to say we don't eat our own shit, but then that mayor just... <laughs> The gay mayor just got gay fired. Gay mayors ate his own, own shit. shit. We can't even decide. But you know, Look. humans are not animals. Are you fucking animals? No, I'm not fucking Why not? animals. Why? Because <laughs> I don't want a fucking animal. Oh, because you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> so if some guy came up to you and said, hey, Vito, what's up? I'm a big fan of Super Killer. I fuck animals. Okay. You wouldn't think anything weird of that because they're just people? I would think weird of it, but... Then, Why? Then I would go... Well, because they're not on the same plane. Of what? Intelligence. <laughs> okay, but when so I they are different. Different planes of intelligence, but neither one is more or lesser than the other. <laughs> are you retarded? The world we live in is just different from the world an animal lives in. Whatever, they're they're happy. Their intelligence is based on. Bro, they get. I can't catch killed a, all the time. I can't catch a wombat. Or what like, if a shark was just picking off people all day, every day? That's the world animals like a good live movie. in. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? That's the that's the world animals live in, sure. But why does that make it okay? Is you, so you're saying it's okay because they kill each other anyway? We used to kill each other all the time. Why'd we stop? We didn't. We didn't. Not really. Uh, okay. Let's do some let's do some voicemails and then we'll read that. Can you stop crunching that up? It's getting <laughs> distracting. I can hear it now. So oh, wait, I had some notes. I have to. No, what? I can save it for after super chats. What is it? Uh, so somebody has a uh, GoFundMe that we should highlight a spot uh, a listener of the show. Do you want to say that for now or later? We're plugging GoFundMe's. I was begged to just mention it. Why the? F what is it? A uh, guy got hit by a car. Check out GoFundMe. Search for a serious car accident at the worst time, or go to GoFundMe.com/slash f. Uh, just a just a listener of your show, a listener of our show. So he's a listener of my show and sent it to me, and I ignored it, and he sent it to you. This will get on the show if I send it to Vito. I'm just letting people know that if uh, this is the way healthcare works now, you get in an accident, you know, you, you gotta, have Aflac. Don't. <laughs> I don't know what he had. Look, check out the GoFundMe at GoFundMe.com/slash/f. You know, just search for serious car accident at the worst time. I'll put it, I'll put a link in the description. How's that? What What did we? Is this a charity? I don't, don't send, don't, do not send us your, your fucking sob stories and GoFundMe's. I'm Go, just mentioning it. It takes two seconds to mention GoFundMe, it. what is it? Uh, look, here. Uh, search for that. Oh, is, I mean, it looks like you're uh, going. <laughs> here, I'll find it. Serious, okay. No, 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 no. Okay. I got it, I got it. Serious car accident at the worst time. Serious car. I saw a lot of people who donated were listeners of the show. Clearly, this is uh, somebody in our community who people... Uh, I tried to get more of the story, but I, I people, you know, I saw the people donating to him. Or this guy made a ton on crypto. Did he? Yeah, he he was bragging to me. Shut up. In DMs that he, Look, I'm no, I'm being dead up. serious. He was bragging about to he me. He was bragging about, DMs about how much yeah, he made on crypto. Yeah, on crypto. Well, he probably lost it all, and now nine grand. He wants nine grand. Here, put it up on the screen. Is it up on the surgery? screen? What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Look, I don't know if it's a grift. You guys can read the details and find out. I just This felt is all makeup. Look at this. You can buy one of these head things <laughs> on Amazon. <laughs> this is not real. This is a PlayStation 4 that he's got stapled to the wall. Look, I have a big heart. I care about people. Not babies, but people. And, you know, people in the community said, hey, you know, reach I out. I know this guy. I met him. Oh, because you know him. He's a total scam artist. <laughs> I, I met him at a, at a scam artist convention. <laughs> All right. Well, that Dick, I was speaking Dick at. Dick says he's a scam artist. I don't know him, but the point is, I think we care. I care about this community that we've built, and if people want to throw him a couple bucks, well, who cares? He was he got t-boned in a car. He was drunk driving. He was aiming for people. He was drunk and he driving. He spun out. Yeah. And I mean, he had a he had a he had a twelve year old girl in the car with him, and people still don't know why. Don't say don't say what? Stuff why are you me. allowed to? Because my stuff's like cr <laughs> funny and cheeky. Your stuff's like. I didn't say what he was going to do with her. I just said she was in the car. 
So where where's her gut? You me? call people things all the time. Why? Yeah, but he's I... a fan of the show. You're calling him a pedophile. <laughs> Said he's a scam artist. That's just fine. I didn't fine. call him a pedophile. Cool. Cool he's not a, a scam pedophile. artist. Not cool to be a pedophile. <laughs> you have to. Re- you don't have to read this whole thing to no, get money. No, do you? no, you don't have to read it. Nobody has to read it. I'm just there. It is. All right. He's unable to. He can't work. He was in a car accident. He's a little money. What was his job? He was an abortion doctor. He's probably an abortion doctor. Okay, look, you can read the thing. I hope God blesses Serious you. Serious car this, accident at the worst time. At the worst time. Worst possible time. What's the worst time? To, the worst no, the worst time to be in a car accident is when you're in a car accident. Breathing every bre- breath is taxing. A sneeze sent me back to the ER. No, that's a lot. The worst time to be in a car accident is you're getting raped. Sure. Or getting right? an abortion. Nah, that would be you know, have to then pay it would the get bill. The, then they get the baby out quicker <laughs> if you stop the car short, it just shoots right out. Man, we got to get into you. You tie a rope around the baby and then you drive real fast. <laughs> you got a woman in the back of a car, you tie a rope around the baby's leg and then you just have the car drive forward. Yanks it right out. No, I got it. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, there you Derek. go. It's a classic uh it's a classic Casey Kasem situation, you know. You got to come from a go into an up tempo record off a of guys in the hospital. That's a one-time thing. We're not doing any more GoFundMe's. For people's cats or anything like that. Well, if something, you know, serious happens, we can use our platform and our voice to raise it's every... Not... <laughs> 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 uh, okay. I think the biggest problem in the universe is uh, companies going after fan-made uh, free mods. Uh, I don't know how much you guys follow the like modding community for video games, but there's a Friday the 13th video game that had a mod that was going to come out. That was basically just going to revamp the, the this basic game that is no longer listed anymore, no longer active, uh, you know, with a very large audience. And this was going to be like a free mod, but we can't have it anymore because the uh, intellectual property owners of Jason Voorhees and Friday the 13th shut it down. So basically, we're we're not getting a free additional feature to a product that we've already purchased because. I guess whoever owns the IP for Jason or for Friday the 13th uh, doesn't like the idea of you their taking their IP, IP with, for he, no money. What is he saying? He's saying that he wants to commit intellectual property theft and he doesn't understand why companies would have a problem with that. Guys, stop. What do you want? Just make your own fucking video game. They're not going to let you just take their Friday the 13th license and go, oh, we want to put Jason in a hat and all this. Other. No, they're not going to let you do it. Doesn't oh, yeah? You don't like that? I just think it's stupid to, like, expect anything else. What do you mean? It's my, the intellectual property is, is I my attachment to Jason, and I can put Jason wherever I want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you, it's basically like the fans own it, right? Yeah. Here's the solution. Don't play the Friday the 13th video game. That's it. Uh, Yeah, I agree with you there, but, you know. I got to make a follow-up I video. Play? I made a YouTube video one time, because you know how they always say, uh, oh, we made this Pokemon fan game. It's like our own Pokemon. And Pikachu, you know, runs around, and he pisses on people, and he has a machine gun. Cool, yeah. And they go, I can't believe Nintendo took down our Pokemon fan game. That's bullshit. And like three years ago, I said, you guys are retarded. Stop making fan games. Why? I'll tell you why. Because it's a complete fucking waste of your time and everyone else's. Because okay? they'll take it down? They'll take it down. You don't own it. So why not? Because it's fun. Here, Shut the fuck up. Here was my idea. Here, okay. Here was my crazy idea. I said, let's say you really like Pokemon. Yeah. Right? And you want to make your own Pokemon game. Just call it something else. Pal World. And design your own monsters. Oh. And make your own crazy Rip unique off universe. The monsters, Rip off yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Rip them off as much so as you, you want. You came up with Power World, is what you're saying? Everyone came up with Power World. It's the most simple thing in the world. Everybody likes Pokemon. And an, an entire generation of autistic morons were like, I love Pokemon so much. Pokemon's my whole thing. I'm going to take yeah. my love for Pokemon and make Pokemon. And he went, okay, are you fucking right. retarded? Okay, take your love for Pokemon and no, make. No, but it's fun a to make stuff that thing. it's fun to make stuff that has characters on it. Why? Because you know them already. It's like your friends. That's lazy and retarded. Just invent your own Pikachu and name him Jerkachu and it's make not him the green. Same. I don't want to play with Jerkachu. It's better because it's yours because you made it. No, no, no. Okay. No. Would you rather it's be playing around to... with Pikachu or would you rather have the billion dollars the Power World guys made with a team of like 15 guys? 
Me? Yeah. Would I rather have a, well, I mean, a, the way you phrased it, I'd rather have a billion dollars. <laughs> okay, well, you, you can just do but that. Not, no, you, it's more fun to have, like, a Pikachu mystery thing. <laughs> like, oh, all right, it's Pikachu. That's cool. You know that Undertale game? You ever play, you see that game kids are obsessed with? Yeah, i seen that one. Yeah, that got started because the kid just loved Earthbound, and he started making, like, Earthbound fan games. And you know okay. what he said at one point? He said... You know, I like making Earthbound fan games. But what if I just take this engine and like that kind of art, and I just make my own thing, and it's a global yeah. fucking success on every platform? Why? Because even though that kid is like a weird autistic psychopath, mm -hmm. he at least had the forethought to go, "Well, I can just like make it my own universe, and it, I don't have to put Ness in it. That's not the most important thing. What's important is the feeling and the characters and the the art and whatever else." Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but if you're, like, looking up, like, anime pornography, you're not like, let me just find any old thing. Like, I need to see some Mrs. Pac-Man today. I've never. It's way I've, better. I've, I'm fine with uh, yeah, anime let me just... porn featuring completely new you're to you're and totally exciting lying. characters. You're totally lying. Except for Chun-Li. I like Chun-Li. <laughs> I just left P. Diddy's house. Oh, it's a bit. <laughs> hey, I gotta my breath. <laughs> All right. Biggest problem. All right, you got 12 seconds. <laughs> yeah, you, come the on. 12 man. seconds. In the universe is all these rich guys with these poor fucking dungeons where they keep people like us, their sex slaves, for Justin Bieber to come and look at and gawk at and rub my nipples. These guys have so much money, but they keep us in these horrible conditions, just like that awful broad. Uh, this is really funny in your head, I YouTube. bet. <laughs> did he did it? Did he did it? Help. Did, did he, he did it? You don't have to be. I think you're gonna pass out. Yeah, you're breathing so hard. You got to do like a Blair Witch. That was a sex slave who escaped from Diddy's Dungeon. Kinda Diddy's Dungeon is a good name for a video game. You I should make your own. Get, make your own dungeon. It Maybe could be you know. It could be anyone's. Donald's Dungeon. Donald's Dungeon. That's just as good, right? According to you. We're talking about satire and comedy now. That's different from Pokemon. Is it? Yeah. Because what's Detective Pikachu? <laughs> no, I'm, you can have comedy within your own universe, but I'm saying it's not. But Detective Pikachu, oh. it's not a satire of Pikachu. It just is Pikachu. <laughs> Detective Pikachu is not a satire of Pikachu. No. How do you figure? Because Pikachu is a Pokemon type. It's is he a, a detective? He can be. He can be anything. He surfs in the first game. We had a surfing Pikachu. If Pikachu can surf, I'm sure he can detect. That's what they. They always said that about. I mean, you wouldn't know satire if you if it was right in front of you, hmm. right? There you go. Uh, okay, it was boogie. Something hey, about Dave, boogie. You know, biggest problem in the universe this week is after I heard about those boogie texts. Man, so you're saying that if boogie was on the biggest problem, he would have killed himself by now? I'm sorry, Vito, but I think that would have been way more worth it. You know, all you crying, all this, like, fucked up shit, um, fucking super killer V, uh, but Boogie, like, oh, killing himself, that'd be way funnier. I'm okay. sorry. That's just way yeah, then that's, funnier. It's a one-time bit. This, you get Not for Boogie. hours of comedy. Well, I guess that's true. Would you rather have a fetus, or ra any random fetus, or Boogie? I heard they were trying to get you on Lol Cow Podcast at some point. That's not happening. Boogie said no. Oh, I said no first. No, okay. Boogie said no? I don't know. Well, I already said no, so okay. it doesn't. it's irrelevant what Boogie said about it. I already, de I already declined. <laughs> I wonder if I get, I want to go back on Old Cal and I want to teach them how to make a good show. Uh, do you think any random fetus deserves to, or Boogie deserves to live more? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> what? Why? What? It should I be an easy answer everyone for you. Should be, uh, Boogie has the right to seek happiness. Good for him. No, live. He who has do you, the right who to would live, you prefer yes. to live? A pig, one of your pigs and your stats, yeah. or Boogie? <laughs> They're equal. And value. <laughs> look, I'm not saying. Look, what if there's a, is there I a personally pig value a human life more than a pig life. Talk about but, boogie, but you know, if it was like ten pigs, I'd be like, well, you know, it's boogie worth ten pigs. Is he? It's a trolley problem. You know, you need a bigger trolley. Is that what you, the trolley's not mom, big enough? It was problem? a mom that... pig and like her four pig kids and the pig uncle. Do you think they? Do they recognize kill, each other I don't later kill in a life? Pig family. You know. Um, so you can't answer that They're one? They're as smart the as dogs, or... pigs, dick. Dogs aren't that smart. I know. Uh, okay. My cats are very smart. I'll say that. It's like, <laughs> Is I'm that surprised. why I ran away? 
Yeah. No, he, he wasn't here. smart enough to find his way back. I'll say that. Okay. Uh, here's one that you might remember. Let me just go ahead and bump the volume down before I play it. <laughs> smart. That's my favorite guy. Okay, Dick. I just said that you're wrong. Look at the run time of this. Two minutes, 24 seconds. My best new friend, Vito. Yeah. Oh, but video games. You got until a minute to make this funny, Niggler. Yeah, 30 yes, seconds. I got it, Niggler. I got it. So I decided to phone in to defend my best buddy. You, you got to you phone know. it in right. <laughs> <laughs> Something's phoned in here. 50 seconds. First of all, everyone knows conspiracy theories aren't real, stupid. Kind of workshop these uh, sniggler. <laughs> what is this? So what if Vito's a team guy? People love teams. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You got your um basketball teams. He doesn't know the names of sports teams. Team Team Edward. Team Jacob. Uh, oh, jokes. Team two thousand five. All right, oh, Nagler. Wow, what a great wait a call. Minute, wait a minute. Come he's getting, on with he's this. He's working up to his point about yeah, Gamergate. What's the game. point? I'm going to blow my brains out. When you think about going after my boy, Vito, you just think about that. I know he's on my side, technically, Wait, but I don't feel like side. it. And my <clears throat> best. <laughs> No, we're not friends. No, we're not friends, Nigler. I hate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for workshopping. Thanks for making a good tight bit and a good tight. Vito, this message is for you. Okay. I feel like we need to clarify something. Mm -hmm. Us as the fans really get off on the idea of you wanting to kill yourself, but nice. Let's be let's be clear. We don't want you to actually kill yourself because then the show would go away. True. We need you to just do this. In a permanent state of wanting to kill yourself. How about I so, put myself in a vegetative state and I do this Go show? I'll shoot off half and my I'm head with a shotgun. When did, you start, when did you start doing that? A couple, uh, couple a years ago. ago? Yeah. A couple years ago. If somebody came to you and said, right now, you got to pick Boogie or any random fetus. I don't want to kill Boogie. I'm not going to. You don't have to kill him. <laughs> they just won't continue to live anymore. <laughs> You get to pick one to continue living. I want more of the Boogie saga. I want to see where it goes. There's, Boogie, still, there's still so many. There's nothing about his saga. He's total He's total trash. Yeah, but what if he kills himself or some people? He never will. He'll just get old and become a bigger drain on. He'll become a bigger parasite and fatter. That's it. And he'll produce Anything less and less happen. interesting content. Anything could happen. Maybe he's going to turn it all around. The Low Cow Podcast could be. Remember when he did that boxing match and everyone pretended it was the. His big comeback. He didn't even get any money for that. Keem totally fucked him over. Now he's making Keem more money. <laughs> Isn't that pathetic? Boogie got fucked. I don't and know why. Made Keem yeah. a bunch of money for getting his brains beat in by Wings, and that, for and Keem got all the money. And now he's on another thing, just making Keem star money. I did a bunch of free design work for Keem, and that was stupid. That was stupid. Yeah. Anything can happen when you're like twenty and thirty. When yeah. you're Boogie's age, nothing's happening. You're yeah. gone. Your next. The next exciting thing that happens to you is your death. <laughs> Anything could happen. You might have Maybe a heart the attack. The podcast will be really popular. You might have one good heart attack where people give a shit. Next one, they're not going to care because you're not you. Did, you didn't change anything about your life. Maybe too maybe late to Keem change. will uh, bully Boogie again. That's good content. All right, uh, last one. Vito, I'd much rather you make. Some sort of video about either food or video games, then make your comic. Give oh. up on that comic shit. Okay. Um, Thank you. 
make a make a food video. <laughs> how their fries are the best. I can't make money off a so food video. Yourself. I was going to make that. I, I should make food you videos. you got to do something, though. I'm making a comic. I make this show every week. Why does everybody acting like I don't make anything? You looked up some abortion stats. I mean, that's not that much work. But I come in, and I do it, and I update the, sh the show, and I update the thumbnails, whatever yeah. else. I mean, I don't know. It just seems like you could be doing I want to mention stuff. real quick, guys, uh, at the end of this month, and I should have announced this sooner. The month's almost over. Uh, Super killer. That's it. You have until the end of April to get in on the Indiegogo, and then I'm shutting it off. So and then you can't buy it anymore. And you can't buy it anymore, ever. You'll be able to buy it when it's printed, but it'll oh, be different, okay. and you can't get the campaign exclusive stuff. Like what? Vlogs uh, and stuff. The cover. Well, one of the, the one of the covers is like the mass print cover. You know, uh, like. Shut, don't laugh. I'm laughing at the amount of sex, <laughs> amount of stuff there. I'm is. just explaining it, and you're laughing at it. It just sounds like a scam. It's Everything not a about scam. <laughs> Can you not? What is this? What, what are you going to do? It sold it. What it sold eighty thousand dollars. It's a huge okay. success. So let me promote it, and you don't want to you, call it a you fucking need to scam. Make it. You're it's done promoting getting it. Me. You need to make it. It is getting. There's no more promoting. I fucking hate you so much. You quit it. You don't sell I'm past the quitting. sale. I'm not selling past the sale. I'm just saying if anyone has not gotten it or if you want to. Bro, everyone's gotten it from who's listening. We're all on the edge of our seats. Fucking our dicks are bursting. Ready to read this comic that we paid for. Okay. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you know, like you know, like other guys if they got a radio show, like the two hosts will go like, oh, and, and what's going on with you? Well, not I, the good ones. <laughs> no good show is like what, what you're saying. You, what, do you, what do you have to? Oh, well, you know, I'm doing these tour dates, and I wanted to let people know that uh, we are selling out on the website. So if you'd like to get in before it's over, the other host doesn't go. Oh, that's a scam. I mean, it's like <laughs> multiple. It's multiple fucking times every show. You got to buy super what killer. Do you got? Everybody what do you got? buys. I'm what? not constantly looking to cash in it's on not the audience. Every show. I you're trying to get people. To give money I don't to some even guy talk you don't about know. it. Every show, I don't promote it on the show. I don't tell people to go to the Indiegogo. I haven't mentioned to go to the Indiegogo in in months. A months? You mentioned it last week. No, I did not mention it last week. I you might not have. I have no to. idea. Okay, look. I'm just upset that you can't pick a beautiful young baby over Boogie, who's old and busted. Sure, kill Boogie and say beautiful young baby. Beautiful. I don't think of babies in those terms. Uh, look, do whatever beautiful. you want. Make as many babies as you a want. A building can be beautiful. Doesn't mean I want to fuck it. Make as many babies as you want. If you want Super Killer, you can go to superkiller.org. It will redirect you to the Indiegogo. At the end of the month, I'm cutting it off. There are certain campaign items that will be no longer available. <laughs> I doubt you that. You will no longer. You'll, you'll, the trading cards are only going to go to people who get in on the Indiegogo. So if you want those. You don't have any extra ones? I'll have some extra stuff at conventions. So if you see me at a comic convention, you go, hey, Vito, I didn't get one of those trading card packs. I go, yeah, here's one. You know, I'll hook you up. But I'm not going to sell them on the website. You're not going to be able to get them online. You're going to have to go to, like, a comic convention to get them. Okay? Which ones are you going to go to? I'll probably go to, if I can get into, it depends on what the booth prices are, if it makes oh. economic sense. But I'd like to go to Los Angeles Comic Con. I'd like oh. to go to WonderCon. I definitely don't think I could afford a booth at San Diego Comic Con unless I split it with a bunch of people, but maybe. Hit Maddox up. I could hit up Maddox. Well, Maddox did the same thing. He split it with, who did he split it with? Fathead or something. Fathead. I think he gave it up. Famous internet uh, internet commentator, yeah, Fathead. Fathead, uh, you know, <laughs> hang up on the wall for sports <laughs> stuff. Yeah, Fathead Sports, the stickers. Yeah. Featuring yeah, Maddox. Yeah. Wait, was he actually sharing a booth with yeah, them? That's not a joke? So. No, it's not a joke. How does he know the guys at Fathead? How was he sharing a booth with Fathead? I don't know. All right. Well, uh, I don't I think reviewed I his, uh, you know how his, his video got taken down? Yeah. So I watched uh, another chapter from his video on my bonus episode last night. Right. And get this. His whole video is about how I'm a scumbag for... Locking up all of his, all of this hot goss in a paywall. Yeah. Now the only place you can go to watch his video is my Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only place his to get it. His five year opus that he made, calling me a stalker, is down. Is down. And the whole point of it was he's a scumbag because he monetizes 
this drama. And you're like, yeah, I monetize it now. No one else can take now it down. Now the only place you can watch his takedown of me is on my it's Patreon. It's still not back up. No. Did someone like threaten to sue him or something? I don't know. Something happened. I don't know. All I know is I lost my channel over a bunch of shirtless fat guys. And he's done way worse than that. You can figure out which chapter, because the other chap, some of the chapters are still up, right? I I don't know. Yeah, some well, of them are. It looks like a patchwork. So you now. can probably figure out which chapter contained the incriminating information. Well, the one I watched did. Very good information. Okay, Comic Con. You want to get a booth at a con? No, fuck no. I've been to, I, I've been to Comic Con. It's fucking horrible. Yeah, 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 yeah fun. Go to a little there. one. Go to little ones. But I don't like buying stuff though. Yeah, I think we got to go uh, there. They love watching yeah. shitty, like shit, comic book movies and buying this shit. Did we watch that video? We watched that video where I went to Comic Con. The guy had Maddox uh, toys, right? Oh, he did. I just, I the robot, the Maddox robot. Did I not play that on the show? You might have. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, do you think Maddox could make a comeback? And he goes, I think Maddox could make a comeback. And I was like, all right. That was pretty funny. All right, guys. Well, don't forget, get in your um, super chats. I wanted to say, if people are gifting memberships, I don't know how to see it. So let me, I don't know. you zoom in? Can you read that? No, I got it. I got it. I got got to scroll back down. Uh, Because I know you have the ability to gift memberships, but I can't, like, monitor the chat the whole time to see if that happens. So thank you if you did gift memberships to people, though. We appreciate it. David N. For fifty dollars, the only way to top last week's Captain Dick two oh! fog machines. People seem, Fire. To, people seem to enjoy your fog of war. This fog, uh, and I guess from last year, I don't know if we missed this super chat last week for twenty. Vito's never looked better as I'm blanketed by a wall of fog. So, okay. Oh, we missed a bunch of super chats from last week. Oh well, uh, Hasman for two. Thank you for not killing yourselves. Koof is twink. Hazmat for fog. Can, can you not activate the fog machine now? Can you I save it? Can't. Good. Just turn it the God fuck off. It. Why you gotta I warm it, it up? In secretly. Yeah. You got you forgot to charge it. You're supposed yeah, to be charging it. I plugged it in, but I forgot to turn it on. Hazmat for oh, five. Damn. A vast veto, you swine. You didn't get much love from your dear old mother as a kid. Bless your soul. No wonder ye like men in dresses. <laughs> oh, Hazman just uh, fell in the super chats here for another two. Soy veto. E soy un gran puta. puta. Influence history for five. I rewatched some of the old live shows you do with Maddox. What the fuck was that? It was so awkward, and Maddox kept calling you your dead name for some reason. Well, you guys yeah, agreed he's a on bitch. that like for the he, show. We didn't agree. He said, "Oh yeah, so I think your YouTube said that your name's like kind of your whole brand is kind of like offensive. So I think we should just go with your real name." I said, "Oh, YouTube said that." And he goes, "Yeah." yeah. <laughs> Like that's crazy. Did they put it? That's odd that they they didn't put it in an email or yeah. something. He's like, no, they just like mentioned it. Like that's crazy because everything's going through email and it seems like we're just kind of dealing with like production people and not like anyone who, who cares about cares this. about that shit. Yeah, I know. It's just kind of like I think it would kind of hurt the brand. I'm like, all right, man. It's so weird that there was sure. a period of time when YouTube would you know help people make content, and now they're well, like, we don't make any money from because this, so we some don't care. moron uh, convinced them. To buy a big production studio. They still have that thing, huh? I don't know. I've always thought about going there. I think I get access to it because I have so many subscribers, but maybe we could film something there. Um, it's terrible. Yeah. They have a bunch of porno sets. Do you remember when they did that uh, comedy festival and they had Norm MacDonald host the whole thing? And she was ripping on everybody who yeah, came up. Yeah, that was up. great. And I went, why did you stop? Just having Norm rip on all these YouTubers is the best thing that ever happened to anybody. Because the people running YouTube uh, hate Norm. Hate Norm. This is, uh, now your cosplay is complete from Mint Salad. Oh, is this for you? present, yeah. Do you know what it is? Can you see? I think I can see. Is that a nice, uh, I think I know what that is. It's a... It's a nice little, uh, it's green, I can tell you that. Jacket. It's a nice jacket. Ooh, that's a nice jacket. It is a nice jacket. Did you get your size? Did she know your size? Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Probably. Did she, did she ask your size? No. Maybe she asked, uh, maybe she asked it, someone else. I don't else. think it's that hard. What size do you think I am? Oh, no! Turn that the fog! fucking fog machine oh, no! off! <laughs> spinning now. Shit! Oh, shit, why is it coming shit! out that size? Shit! Stop! <laughs> 
Stop! You're going to fuck up all Stop! the You're going to fuck up the whole Stop! electronics and shit. Turn it off. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it doesn't even fit. <laughs> what doesn't fit? Oh, this new character, this character we have here. This uh, grizzled Vietnam veteran who's about to show up from the homeless shelter. <laughs> this shit smells terrible. You are so complainy. Your abortion thing put you in a real bad mood. I'm not in a bad mood. I'm I'm, I'm in a very good mood. Uh, let's see here. I can't even read the super chats anymore. Hey, look. What do you think? <laughs> It's the fog of war. I can't see you anymore. It's the fog of war. <laughs> no, I can then, see you. Know. <laughs> you You've destroyed the reveal by covering it up in a blanket of fog. People can see through the fog, you know. <laughs> I have to look through the fog of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> and you see my dad I won know, an award? Your dad won an my award, dad Ricky? My dad won an award. <laughs> wow. Blackest man in Northwood University. No, that's not the award he won. Only black man in, in Northwood University would be won. <laughs> <laughs> only black guy in the, the, the hand. The in. only black man in Northwood University. Well, Ricky. Oh, shit, wait a minute. I'm going to zip this it's all the way It's been a while up. since I've seen you uh, on the yeah, show. It's been a while. <laughs> what have you been up to, buddy? Just working on my comic book. <laughs> okay. It's going to be out in a right. couple years. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ricky. Here we go. How there about you that? go. You know, we still, uh, Ricky, uh, at one point we started going through the uh, ISOM art book. We were learning a lot about different characters. I think there is a, pa I think <laughs> there is a page for you. You went to page in Bali, bro? Oh, did the page for me? There's a page, I think. Like a coloring that. book page? Yeah. That I could color on? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, it has the, uh, I'm going to say it has the production quality of your typical coloring book. Yeah. It's much more expensive. Oh, yeah. It yeah. pretty good. Well, you learn a lot about the characters and their motivations. You know what kind of what things. What do you learn about? Well, you learn about your dad. Like learn about traffic, <laughs> like look both ways, <laughs> that kind of thing. Uh, your dad focused mostly on explaining how he thinks about characters and then pays a different guy to draw them. Well, you got to think about the character. That's what people don't know. I don't know step if those one, headphones really. That one, you got to think about the character. <laughs> I think they're wearing a helmet. The headphones are. The helmet to protect from the superfluous thoughts, the ideas. <laughs> protect the ideas. From coming in. <laughs> All right. Step one, think about the character. Yeah. Step two, come up with the, the character to come from. You got to come up with their colors. Very important. Step three, get your pencil. Write the pencil. <laughs> write it down. You know why they get. You know why the pencil got an eraser? <laughs> why? To make a mistake. <laughs> Is that what God did with you, Ricky? <laughs> what? <laughs> I bet you would have aborted me. You would have bored me, but you no, cry over a bunch of pigs. No, I wouldn't abort you. You eat Ricky. a chicken sandwich. You eat a uh, McMuffin, egg McMuffin sandwich. I and cry. You're like crying. Time, yeah. like a fucking bitch. <laughs> Making no sense. I'm retarded. I know that makes no sense. <laughs> I'm not saying it's perfectly equal, but it is still a lot of mass. I, my mom it is tried slaughter to on a massive me. scale. I wrestled away from her. You wrestled I have away. Superpowers. <laughs> Take it away from her. Yeah, Julie lost a little bit of the, left a little bit of brain behind in there. You got more brain than you, fat boy. What are you talking about? <laughs> What'd you think about uh, when, uh, did you know Isom is uh, yellow and black because that's not a common color scheme for a hero? What'd you think about that? Name, name, name another character that's uh, yellow and black. Well, there's uh, Wolverine would be one. He, no, he has blue. And there's Batman. Uh. Name an, and Batman, easy. <laughs> Everyone knows Batman. N name another one. Name another one. Uh, well, is Booster Gold blue and? Uh, yeah, bl another blue. You got yeah, colorblind. You are color retarded. That's what we call you. Well, the wasp. I was gonna say, but that's a little too obvious. The women, no, women are no superhero. Come on, you know what you're talking about. <laughs> no woman is superhero. Well, actually, I think it was the. I think the wasp originally was red, but then the when. When Hank Pym became the wasp. Oh, yeah. yeah. We do Yellow red. Jacket, I think he Yellow, called himself. Yellow Jacket. Yellow okay, jacket. name another one. I don't know a lot of comic <laughs> superheroes, but it seems like and there's... And yet you're writing a comic. seems Isn't like that there's... Crazy? Uh, yeah. What about Liberty Man? He black and yellow. He's red, white, and blue. <laughs> Fair enough, What do you think about Cool Jacket? It's very cool. Look pretty good. <laughs> Thank you, Maybe yeah. I'll wear this jacket normally. You got any pockets? It does have pockets. Of course it had pockets. It's a, what do you think you do? it's a comfortable looking jacket. Fat woman's jeans? No. <laughs> Maybe I'll wear this jacket normally, says Ricky. That. I got other secret pockets up here. You can put anything in there. I could put cocaine up here. I mean, Wait, I could Ricky, put. Wait, Ricky, Ricky. Come on. <laughs> Where do you think the tart drinks come from? <laughs> 
He well, can't I just be. wanted to say that my dad won an award. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh, that's very cool. Your dad didn't win no fucking award. Maybe worst Domino Pizza ever to exist. That's award. not. He didn't win that. O- no, he did all right. No. <laughs> Pretty cool. You see him in the in his hat and his brooch, wearing the brooch for a man. Oh, you're talking about uh, your father. Yeah. Yeah, he's got very cool... Uh, Hobnobby. Not a brooch. It's more of a... It's a it is a brooch, actually. <laughs> Like a bro. <laughs> was a bo- Hobnobbing. A bolo tie and a nice hat he wore. Hobnobbing with other uh, industrialists. Young, young. young entrepreneurs like himself. Ooh, yeah. How about those Dothka sisters? They wrote an entire press release for him. I'd love to. I'd love to. Do you think both of them wrote I'd it? I'd love to knock those twin towers over. Hey, you know what I'm talking Ricky, about. Come on, you can't be saying that. About? Those are women of God, we've been told. Oh, God. God really fucked. I got a problem with God, actually. <laughs> Oh, God, you really fucked me over. <laughs> oh, God. Well, you can't say that. I mean, aren't you, uh... What are you running out of chromosomes up there? <laughs> Come on, God. No, no, Ricky, you're good. You're, you're a man of God, like Isom is. Isom, of course, has a cross yeah, on Yeah, I have his... the retarded God, though. Yeah? He a diff- he's a different God. A different God? He's retarded, too. I haven't heard this <laughs> lore before. You haven't heard this? Is he related to normal God? Uh, related, like... Like he's his uh, brother and cousin. Yeah, he's his uh, he's his uh, uh, like incest brother. <laughs> God has an incest God, brother. Yeah, God fucked himself. I feel like this is your backstory that you've mixed up with. Uh, I didn't. I wrote it down. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ricky, I'm glad. You've never we- heard of retarded guy before? No, I haven't heard of retarded guy. Oh man, is this cool. is this is well known. He hates the abo- he hates abortions too. <laughs> he hates abortions too. <laughs> yeah. Different reason. He though. would. He would hate. I would think he, he would. hates abortions especially for raping. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ricky, I'm so glad that the Alpha Core Community Home has let you. What does remote do? No, 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 <laughs> Ricky, 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 give me that. No, get the fuck Ricky, away give from me. Ricky, give me the remote, Ricky. Well, I'm trying That's to turn it off, but you're fucking distracting me. It's All not right. a toy. All right, Ricky. Well, thanks for coming by. <laughs> God damn it, Ricky. <laughs> Ricky Ritardo, everybody, has a... Uh, oh, Dick, you're back. Ricky was here, and he filled the fucking studio with fog again. Why is the smoke so... Uh, <laughs> Retarded? Upsetting for you. You would be terrible in war. I'd be great. It doesn't bother <laughs> me at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think the most... I think the most modern thing you can say is, I would have been great in war. Will be. I will be. Well, it's coming. We're I'm going to go to Iran. We're all going to Iran. Take this, Iran. <laughs> Random guy for 10. Soon may the masters and come to bring us Funkos and memes and rum. Oh, do you know that song? One day. Soon may the masters and come to bring us Funkos and memes and rum. One day when the weighing is done, Vito's will take cuties and go. No, what is that? It's this great, uh... Pirate song that's popular on TikTok. Oh. I'm surprised you haven't played it yet on this show. Mm-mm. Soon may... I forget some, I forget the actual name of the song. Uh, for Hasman for two, Koof is dead. He got two pregnant. Oof. Jacob Cersia for three Japanese Yun 300. Everyone check out the Internet Reactions podcast. Dude, right. Jacob's a great guy. Check that out. My listening Gopolis for two pounds. Free Palestine. What the fuck is that? Sure. On the John for 10 Canadian, I ratioed Vito on Twitter today. Oh, are you so happy you ratioed me nailed on Twitter? You, bro. you nailed you. He had a take that was clearly born from jealousy about hot ones, and I had to do it to him. If he passes me in likes by the time you read this, I already, I'm already dead. What do you think about hot ones? What's that, hot ones? Like hot links? No, it's that uh, show where they make celebrities eat chicken wings and ask them questions. I don't like shows with celebrities. Any of them. There you go. Random guy for five Canadian. We got to get that on a soundboard. Black Crimson for five. Thanks for the snacks. Thanks for not killing yourselves. Lol No for two. My name is Vito, and I love my cats. Britsman for two. Congrats on hair regrowth, Vito, and these side effects yet. I don't think so. My penis is uh, leaning in the opposite direction, though. We'll see where that goes. Ryan Harville for 20, American. Sorry, Dick. Boogie's cancer is not going to kill him. I've had polysemia vera for nearly 30 years, and it's real easy to live with. It's not a death sentence. Seeing him act like a weak little bitch about it really irks me. That fucker. I knew it. I knew it was a fake cancer. Kind of. That tub of shit. Well, 
Boogie's the kind of guy where if you tell him, what hey, a fucking liar! He's been lying for sympathy for like two years surprised? now. Why are you surprised? Why are you surprised? Those that? teeth are gonna kill him. <laughs> That fucking uh, plexiglass or whatever, the PVC that his teeth are made of is going to leak into his brain. Look, Boogie is a guy That who, fucking liar. Maybe, it, maybe it's worse for him because he weighs like 500 pounds. I don't know. So the, his cancer is nothing then. I think the weight- It's not a cancer. I think the weight is the problem more than the cancer. But he's always saying, I have can Oh, I have cancer. And he doesn't have cancer. Well, he has cancer, but it's like there's fun cancer, and then there's cancer cancer, and he has fun cancer. But he's making it sound like he's like uh, almost raped. He's like, oh, I have cancer, everyone. But he has fake- <laughs> Boogie has fake- not can that guy has it and he put it in quotes. Why are you acting, not cancer? Why are you acting surprised? Like I'm not. Uh, when, when Boogie said he had cancer, the, my first thought was, yeah, but there not, is a god. That was my no, first. I, thought. My first reaction was, yeah, but not really, because obviously. Well, I thought he's just so sick and fat if he that had, he like, would have got cancer. Yeah, but like when he said, you know, he didn't say. Look, if somebody says you have cancer and you go, well, what kind of cancer do you have? He said they, blood. If they don't say lung, brain. Or, uh, I don't fucking know. What are the other bad cancers? Skin. Skin cancer. You can Pancreas. Pancreas cancer, Colon. sure. Every fucking cancer Colon is bad. Cancer. What are you talking about? No, but there's like ones where it's like, if they don't name anything. Girlfriend cancer, that's If a it's one. a cancer you haven't heard of, chances are it's like, eh. I thought blood would be the horrible. Skin cancer is pretty treatable depending on how severe it is, right? I don't know. That could be crazy. But like colon, so boogie's fake. I think like colon cancer away. now. There's a lot of treatments for it. I might be wrong. I might be thinking of something. Say, else. Say go in the locale live and say boogie's faking his cancer. Well, and Dick has ha, uh, Dick was Dick right. Dick has proof. Dick, Dick was proof. right. Has been for two. Show is late because it's veto. No, it's not. Shit lips for ten. Hello, why was the show late? Because the microphones weren't working. No, why was it an hour late? Oh, I was tired. Oh, <laughs> so I slept an extra hour. <laughs> what? Okay. Do you want me to have less energy? That's not possible. No, this is a rare. I didn't sleep last. I couldn't sleep last night for some reason. So, so busy thinking about Super Killer. I was thinking about Super Killer. I was yeah. working on Super Killer. I was working yeah. on the trading cards. Yeah. And then I lost uh, a bunch of money in the stock market. That's not why I couldn't sleep. But that was just like, there's a lot going on all at once. What'd you lose it on? Uh, no, it's just like everything's down. Crypto's, did you see crypto dipped like crazy? I don't like it all. I sold all my dog coins. Yeah, good. Because that one's a joke. Yeah. But chain link dropped like crazy. And I was like, ah, come on. Should be the year of chain link. Uh, Lawrence for five. Can I get a hubbubbub? Hubbubbubbubbubbub. There you go. Chud Bronson for two. Vito, you pig. I drank all my beer before the show. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Jarvo for three. Has a picture of a little puppy whose life is just as important of that as a baby human. Pineapple Man for two. Shout out to Bag of Schmidt. Wow, yippee up top. Sarah Gardner for five. There once was a man named Captain Dick. He had a mate who was too darn thick. He'd yell and he'd wail, but everyone knew old Vito was doomed to doomed fail. Doomed to fail. <laughs> Dog Fred of five or ten. Vito, pig-faced, always arrives <laughs> late. With every excuse, sealing his fate. His snout in the yeah. air, oblivious <laughs> to time's beat. A portrait of laziness with no grace to me. I'll save the pirate Yo chance for you. How's that? Vito right. is late. Yeah, okay. Why don't you guys put a little, uh, before you get, do a super chat, put uh, like a little pirate or something. Yeah. And then we'll know who's supposed to pirate read it. Pirate in song. Random guy for five. Thank you for that hour of silence in honor of OJ before the show. That's yes, why we started. An hour of Very silence. respectful. And an hour of celebrating for his murders. We should celebrate with Pioneer Fried Chicken. Yeah. OJ's chicken of choice. Dumb username for two. I just noticed Invincible Season 2 Part 2 dropped. Yeah, that's been out for like a. Uh, month now dump username for five biggest problem in the universe is porn stars dropping character when the sex starts if you're playing velma then you should be screaming jinkies true very true those those porn parodies are all terrible she drops the lowest from family guy voice i'm like well now i can't even get off and she's like, oh, oh peter uh, uh. and i'm like yeah yeah say that and then she goes peter yes peter and i'm like no uh. no you're gonna go back to the fucking uh, nantucket housewife they're such shitty oh, actors. Oh, your dick's so big. Wow. You think that's big. You think that's big, <laughs> Lois. And then I'm about to rail you from behind. And then it cuts to Quagmire and Peter watching like the <laughs> space shuttle crawler <laughs> thing. There should be more family guy porn. That's just fun. Stratergery for 10. Imagine Chuck Dixon, my ass. Chuck Dixon, my ass. Inhaling blinding pirate fog that would only be better if he inhaled it sooner. <laughs> Nobody wants oh, that. You know Vito and Dick. 
Imagine Nobody you're here inhaling some fog and it's just gay semen. I Nobody guess, wants I that. I guess it's just funny to me that Chuck Dixon, you know, for the longest time, I'd go, oh, yeah, that, like, legendary Batman writer. And I never thought that I would do a show legendary. that uh, broadcast live to 1,500 people where a guy as Chuck Dixon, or Chuck Dixon is actually on the show, <laughs> talking about how no one wants to see yeah. a bunch of homoerotic shit. in your ass. <laughs> the, show, Horseman? the show is really gonna be good? quite far. No, I, I think it's going to be great. I don't think I don't think any of this. You don't think any of that shit's going to be good? What is left to do with superheroes? It's like what what can you do that was not done by Marvel and DC over the last fifty it's not years? Woke. No, 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 their shit was not that woke to begin with either. So it's just like throwback to like basic bitch eighty superhero comics, where it's like, well, the thing about Horseman is he finds bad guys and he beats them up. I'm like, oh, cool. And the most, the most of an edge they're going to pu- push is like, uh, and he also beats up liberal pedophiles. And you go, yeah, okay, well, at least he got a twist. Honestly, if he did that- Does he kill the kids, I'd too? I'd be happier. Before they become literal pe- sure, liberal pedophiles? Sure, why not? I would, but no, that would be a good comic. Like, that's a good twist. Like, Batman, you saved all those kids from the liberal pedophiles. Can- uh, yeah, yeah and, and, I, now- and I killed the kids, too, so they didn't become liberal. Like, Batman, that's uh, fucked up. Stats man instead of Stat- Batman. <laughs> He goes, well, it turns out that the mo- kids who are molested at a young age, 60% of them will become child molesters themselves. So me, stats man, I had to kill those molested kids because odds were they were going to become pedophiles. It's a good character. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stats man. Yeah. Why'd you chase the black guy instead of black the white guy. guy? He didn't have a dad. Stats are, stats say. <laughs> his, entire, his entire fucking hero thing is just like, yeah, but you shot him, shoot that lady. It's like, well, statistics say he didn't do it. And statistics say that guy did Yeah. It. Yeah. He's right. a, that's a hero for our time. That's the hero for Not our time. Horse is man, a gay <laughs> bouncer, gay Larry Suge Knight with a gay yeah. BDSM horse mask. I think Statsman and the Niggler should go to should go to town. See, on if each only other. you wrote all these things, then you'd be a powerhouse, I think, creative powerhouse. I think Statsman could appear. I think I might uh, might file that one away. Uh, James Gartner for twenty. I had a friend in a waterbread. He, I think his parents were perverts. He nodded off with a cigarette. End of that. He died? He died in the waterbed? He died of a cigarette? Yeah, I don't understand. He fell asleep with a homosexual? What are you, how, what what? Are you saying? I what? hate suicide, like, <laughs> story baiting. Yeah. Oh, you know, he didn't make it. He nodded what, he off killed himself? with a he hung cigarette. Himself? What? I don't care. Just tell me what happened, because it <laughs> annoys me that I don't know. Yeah. No, why'd you bring it up then? Why'd you bring up that he's dead? I don't feel bad for you. I feel enraged. That you didn't give me the specifics of the suicide. Well. Or the death, whatever it was. Now, uh, maybe he'll follow it up. Crimson for five. Well, guys, this is it. I'm checking out. I just can't take it anymore. I'm booking my trip to Greenland and never looking back. Oh. Have fun, Crimson. Coach Cake for five. Crim is faking it for attention. Shut the fuck up. Mm. Choncho for two. Skinny Dom DeLuise versus Fat Russell Brand. Good. That's us. Johnny Rico for 50. I think oh! this one's for you. Oh, no. Okay. Hard args in the. Ch- I got to do the pirate little, it doesn't voice. Have a little, there wasn't enough time to pass. <laughs> Hard. I'm just saying, like, you can clearly tell it's a pirate. Yeah, thing. but he said this before you made that. Bet. You're going to put that on over the jacket? You're going to be hot. <laughs> Take the Imagine, jacket off. I guess I better crank the air up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I accidentally hit the fog machine instead of the air conditioning. Oh, God damn it. Damn it. It was just clearing up in here. <laughs> I'm going to break that fog machine. You I'll get, buy another you get, one. You get one more show. I'll you buy get one more I show. Get whatever, I'll hide them everywhere in here. You get one more show with the fog machine, and then I'm throwing that thing off a fucking cliff. I already bought another one. Good. I'm glad. And hit it, this, thinking you would break it. This sucks. I hate this. Uh, you have little baby eyes that can't take the smoke? No, this is awful. It's like affecting my sinuses or something. I think it's mixing with my soap and causing a chemical reaction. I'm getting a burn. Uh, Johnny Rico says, hard args in the, sh- uh, in the chat, mateys, get on the scale, Peggy. Cypherson <laughs> sucked this for five. Crimson's a good guy. Eximoon is a big problem. Dick, please read the Eximoon email in a funny voice. What Eximoon email? I don't know. 
I got to go through my emails. I know somebody sent us music to play on the show. We'll get it. Uh, send it to me again. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kendall and Hyde sent one in. Okay. Well, can, right. can we yeah. remember to do that? Yeah. Cyphers and Suctus for 50. This isn't for Vito's booty. This is to keep the pirate on for the rest of the show. Okay. You're getting well, a pirate. Oh, the pirate is on. All right. I know. Actually. Okay. Bots a Slayer for five. I didn't learn from Dick's example and got suspended from Twitter for telling someone to eat a bag of cement to harden the fuck up. You fucked up, Monster Slayer. You can't be that clever. That's pretty good. Eat a bag of cement. That's not telling you to kill yourself. You could live through that. Little wordy. Coach Cake for five. One time I you went to- You could live through getting raped, too. <laughs> I know, but I don't like well, it. Not. Coach Cake for five. One time I went to Goat Come Town, and everyone there knew Keemstar. Oh, Keemstar is a frequent visitor at Goat Come Down. G Dash for ten U.S. dollars to Svito. Did you have fun on Trashcast? I take credit for your appearance. My fifty dollars got EVS to send the link. You should apply to go on financial audit with Caleb Hammer. I want him to see him yell at you for food. Uh, you should go on that show with Caleb Hammer. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want people to go through my finances. They'll go, because they'll go, how much did you spend on DoorDash? I go, don't worry about it. Like, how much did you spend on fucking magic card bullshit you don't need? I'm not in, like, financial trouble, though. It's for guys who are in, like, financial trouble, right? We all saw your soap. We know I'm not in financial you're in financial trouble. trouble. I'm fine. I'm really you're in smart. financial crisis. Anyway, G-Dash, thank you for donating $50 to Ethan to get me on Trashcast. I don't understand why you come here and you donate $10 to gloat about it. You could have donated another 50 to us. Yeah. But I did go on Trashcast with Ethan Van Skyver. How'd you do? I read a lot of complaints. Did you? Yeah. Actually? People were saying it wasn't very good. Shut up. Who said that? <laughs> no one said that. You're such an asshole. They did say that. I, I saw people say it was good. What do you mean? I didn't do anything wrong. I don't know. I'm reading different stuff. Look, it is, uh, it is, uh, you want to treat it when you go on there like, hey, I'm just hanging out with a buddy. But normally when you hang out with a buddy, there's not 2,500 fucking people watching you. You know, it's weird. Same with this show. It's surprising that I luckily we're comfortable with each other. But like if I was a guest on this show, I'd be nervous. Really? Yeah. Oh. You know, because the audience hasn't learned whether they like me or hate me yet. Now, the audience already knows that they hate me, so it's like, <laughs> I can do anything. I can talk about killing babies, and it doesn't that matter. Was, man, that was like 40 minutes of that shit. Okay. Joke-free. It's an important topic. Joke-free zone. So you think, all the you jokes think it's were, joke-free. The all jo the jokes were pirated away. It doesn't have to be jokes, and it was an interesting discussion. It was a retarded discussion. Well. There are no such things as interesting discussions. I think there was comedy. They're either funny or there's there trash. comedy within it. Maybe a meta kind of comedy. Well, you know, why don't you just hit the fog machine again, since you're the master of comedy? Because I lost the now Good. I legit I lost the did. remote. I'm actually when I mentioned it, I'm like I got to take that thing away. Uh, thank you, G Dash. Geeks for two. Stats are a huge source of comedy. I agree. Kicks mechanic for five. Fuck Lol Cow Podcast. All my homies. All my homies are watching Vito, Vito and Dick. Dick. Fuck the Lol Cow Podcast. As they should. Worst Ch podcast on the internet. They gotta fix it. Most boring. It's very boring. Chuck E. Cheese for fifty thousand Vindaloos. Biggest problem is security harassing everyone over nothing, but when my motorcycle is stolen from the front of their business, they're nowhere to be found. Yeah. Security guards, man. Hasman for two. My name's Crimson. I'm gay and I want attention. LJ Clabarina for two. When can I get the super killer skin on Fortnite? When indeed. Martin Pietro for five. UBI, ESG, Steam Guy, Vito to Dick. Bring back the intro music with the purple neon grid it bumps. Maybe I will. We got to keep up. We should rotate intros. Somebody else send in an intro video with Everybody your music. Everybody keep making intros. Everybody keep making music. Coach Cake for two. Vito, you live like this. Yes. A reference damn, to that bitch, classic. you live like this. Goofy. <laughs> I like that and comic. And Roxanne. Originally, that, uh, original, that's a mashup. That was not the original image. That's uh, the original image. The original image was just Max and Roxanne hanging out. And then somebody put them in a shitty apartment and had oh, Max go, Damn, bitch, you, you live, live like, like this. this. And Roxanne looks all like cute. She's like, ah, what are you gonna do, Roxanne? Now that's, that's a dog old. you would fuck. That's Is that a why dog you think I would animals fuck. and humans are the same? Because I watch you... Goofy movie too many times. Yeah, I identify with the uh, the furry community. I get it. James Gartner for fifty. Wow. That's a big money. That's a big. Uh, thank you, James. Yeah. The soap problem is up to tits. In normal, everyday problems. I'm willing to agree with Mr. Masterson, but Vito, stop taking bathroom pics, buddy. I took one. That was one too many. I also took that picture of me in the bath. Sometimes I take pictures of me in the bath. Don't do that. Verse for 20. Vito, your shower looks like you're squatting in your own home. Clean your shower. <laughs> you're looking like Boogie unable to mow his own lawn. 
But you got a curtain in there, man. I would have to oh, look. I, I I I would have to take a day. I would have to go buy some what waterproof. What, what do I gotta get? What well, weather? Uh, waterproof lacquer or some shit. What? I'm I'm gonna have to sand that fucking windowsill because all the paints Let's put contact off paper it. on it. Get a roll of contact paper at Target mm. and just unroll it. How long is that gonna last? You got a whole roll. Just okay. keep putting it on every I, time it wears off. It would be better if I just shave it down and repaint it. No, you'll fuck that up. I'm gonna fuck everything up. I'm gonna just make do my the landlord contact do contact paper. It. Is I don't have heating in that apartment. You don't have heat. No. How do you? What do you do when it's cold? I mean, I have, I have to have an electric heater because my heater's broken and my landlord's never fixed it. Oh man! And you know what? You got a I, lot going on. Remember, buddy. I had that couch in there. I was gonna get rid of the bed bugs one. No, the one I got rid of to get the bed bugs one. Okay, yeah. And then I I sent a message to my landlord being like, "Hey, I got to figure out a I can't figure out how to get him to do heavy item pickup or whatever. Like, do you have the account number or whatever?" Yeah. And I figured out I could just, you know, cut up the couch with the saw and throw it in the People were mad at me cuz I said, "What did I say?" I said jigsaw. I meant to say hand. What's the circular saw? Not a circular hand? saw cuz it's the... you... It's got the little thing hanging down. A thing hanging. It's like a handsaw, but it's not a circle. It's just a. It's a blade that goes up and down. I have no idea what that is. <sighs> Man, I don't remember either. I'm not a tool guy. <laughs> is a, a jig- sawzall? Well, a jigsaw. Is- Sawzall's all straight, like a sword. No, a jigsaw is like a. Is like- I only know rapiers. <laughs> And a rapier, I'm the better. I think a better. jigsaw is like in a shop, Arr, right? A, a jigsaw, jigsaw goes all. <laughs> but a jigsaw is like that thing, like that big stand-up machine you got in a shop, and then you I put guess. the piece of whatever. Are you trying on to it. prove that you do know what tools are to a random internet people? <laughs> Who gives a shit? <laughs> Just look it up. You obviously don't use tools every day. Who cares? I mean, it is true. I don't use this. T- At least I have tools. You know, that feels like something. <laughs> to cut your couch up like a serial killer? I cut up my couch, and I made... Um, you need to use those tools to find... To- I built Mega Shelf. You ever see a picture of Mega Shelf? No. It's my giant... Uh, I have a full wall of a shelf of just all my video games. It's very cool. Throw it all away. No, no. Burn it. I love it. Trash uh, it with a sledge. How much to take a sledgehammer to all of your toys and two, video games? $300,000. That's it? Yeah. Is that how much it's worth? It's probably worth about that. Oh, we gotta it's a kick, lot. We gotta get Mr. Beast to come in and smash all of your. <laughs> I don't think Mr. Beast toys. does that. I don't think he's a toy smash. He made a bunch of water wells in Africa. Like anyone gives a fuck about that? I see him always promoting that. Hey guys, we went to Africa and made a thousand wells so people could drink. Mr. Beast, no one gives a fuck oh, about has to fresh to be water a in guy. Africa. It's all his like. Ooh, it's he's like he's helping people, you know. By handing them suitcases of money. I don't know. Look, that I care about. I want to see a guy like me getting money. I don't want to see a bunch of people that a guy got nothing to do with getting water. I tried to remember what I was saying. Oh, anyway, so after I text them and I say, can you help me with this thing? And then they text me back like three days later and they're like, yeah, I can get that set up. And I'm like, well, I've already figured it out because you took too long to get back to me. That week I get a letter saying my rent's going up. And I'm going, oh, did they raise my rent because they forgot I exist? And me contacting them reminded me they have a tenant they haven't raised rent on. Hmm. And now I'm like, God fucking, I think that's what happened. Mm. I think they went, oh, fuck, when's the last time we raised that guy's rent? Because now he's asking us for stuff. So now we have, you know, an excuse to go in and raise his fucking rent. rent. Yeah. So I think I cost myself 1200 bucks a year by asking if I could remove a couch. I'll never financially recover from this. I mean, I won't financially recover from it. This sucks. I hate paying uh, more money. Clips on for two. It says you're basically just pooping in your living room. There's this curtain. Cyphers and sucked this for five. You know, it's okay. I live horribly, too. I would never show anyone. Yar. Yar. Fred or Fiverr, too. How long are your litter box baths usually? Veto? How can you fucking bathe in a, in a sweltering litter box? Because the whole bathroom is a litter box. There's cat litter all over the whole bathroom. I don't. I don't Guaranteed. I they think- get it everywhere. Yar. Yeah. There's, there's, yeah, I think it gets on the, it gets on the floor. There's no point in even having sometimes. a box. It's just. Pour the kitty litter all I over. I scoop the- it all the time. There's not poop in but it. But not all the, the time. when's the last time you vacuumed your bathroom? I'll go in with like a couple months ago. I'll go in. I'll got to do it every day. Well, I'm not doing it every day. You can't mm. use a vacuum on tile, not effectively. What? It's the most effective on tile. Yeah, seems more effective on carpet. 
okay. Tyler can't make a suction because it's got those little flicks the bumps. Things. It can't, it's not like it flicks sinking the, you in. You gotta lower it to tile setting. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Mop it. My, uh, my, I should get a new vacuum. My vacuum sucks. McQuiznos for five. Biggest problem is driving eight hours to see the eclipse and getting clouds for the totality. At least you got to drink, gamble, and got engaged. Uh, I'm glad. Oh, man. I'm glad that your eclipse was ruined. Because fuck everyone who saw the eclipse, but uh, my condolences on the engagement. Did you try to see the eclipse? No, fuck no. I slept through it. I forgot it was happening. And at first I was like, oh man, I missed a once in a lifetime, whatever. And then I looked at like pictures of it. I'm like, oh, that's stupid. Stupid. It looked amazing. Did it? it? Like, with the sun all blacked out? I don't know. Everything I saw just was kind of like gray. Looked like an album cover. But it didn't like darken the whole world, right? <laughs> yes. Everything was dark, Solar like a little eclipse. bit. Yeah, nah. dark. What, do you, what did you look for? I just saw like people's videos of it. I'm like, that's eh, not an impression. If you look at it, it's like bzz, done. What do you mean it's done? Like a it big looks black cool? circle, black hole sun, yeah. right in the middle. All right. Well, people will have to. I haven't heard anyone say like, oh, I saw the eclipse. It was so cool. It was so cool. I can't believe it. Uh, if you ever need advice on your marriage, look to OJ. McQuiz knows. And if you have a baby, do whatever you want with it because it's yours. Pineapple Man for two. Does Vito have toxoplasmosis? Yes. Cyphers and Suck this for two. Did you know toxoplasmosis doesn't do anything? I hope so. Adashara, uh, you know toxoplasmosis? Makes you crazy. Yeah. Women have it. Yeah. I have it, probably. Adashara for 10. First time catching the live show live rather than watching the VOD after. Thank you for the countless hours of laughs I get from this content. Dick needs to stop being a retard. I agree. Amazing. Great super Thank chat. Thank you. Yolanda Thinkerson for two says, jokes are funny. We agree. Eric Winberg for two. Reboot in search of from Vito's bathroom. Coach Cake for two. Vito, about, how about you suck my membership? <laughs> the membership is just supposed to be fun. I don't understand how it's turned into fuck you. And you're tired for 20. Biggest problem is women riding in the passenger seat of your car, tapping on the inside of the goddamn windows when they point at shit, no, leaving they fingerprints. They have to touch everything. Do women uh, point at things? Yeah, they love it. Well, they can't make their words no good. Yeah. LJ Clobberino says LMA, Jewish star, and a rat. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to hope those are unconnected. Cybers and suck this for five. Mentioning membership is annoying. Super Chats have a chance to be funny. Fuck members. Fuck members. Totally. <laughs> but Vito wants every single fucking dollar wrung out of you. Okay, crazy. So he wants to encourage this membership shit. Hold on. Crazy Cat for 10 says, hey, Vito, Yellow Belly Flash is calling you a pedo on Midnight's Edge's stream today. He said he wouldn't do a promo fight event with you, but he'll be at LA Comic Con if you want to pull up. Okay. Okay. Let's go pull up. How do we do it? How do we make it happen? I just find Press him. Press pass. Okay. Yeah, when? When is that? And then we just got to fight in a hallway? Yeah. We're boxing gloves. We're like Butterbean. I will. I'll be. I'll dress I like an ump a referee. Yes. Okay. <laughs> We're going to talk about this after the show. Yeah. Remind me. Send me a message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. LA Comic Con? Me. You're not coming to LA, Yellow Flash. You got the wrong fucking idea about that, fat boy. You're going to have a, raw, you're gonna have a <laughs> real fun time at we'll LA Comic Con. We'll see who's the pedophile. Yeah. We'll see who's the pedophile. We're going to have a real good the time. The battle for the boy lover is on at <laughs> LA Comic Con <laughs> between Vito the Cheeto and. And yellow flash. Nothing. Don't worry. Nothing's gonna happen. We're not gonna be at LA Comic Con. Don't worry about it. Danny. Uh, excellent for ten pounds. We're going to LA Comic Con. No, no, hundred percent. We definitely will not be there. There's no. Why way. are you saying no? I don't know. I just I can't imagine. Sarcasm doesn't work. We're definitely going. <laughs> if he's going, we'll be there. I'm trying to sneak up on this guy. No, 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 no. Sark, no, 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 no. It's not cute sarcasm. Meta shit. It's not cute or no, meta. No, no, no. Be there. Fucking be there. I just know how conventions work, okay? How does conventions work? Conventions work is that they will just ban you. You gotta leave you the convention at some point. You can't ban me from L.A. I live here. I'm not gonna do anything at L.A. Comic Con. Nothing will happen at L.A. Comic Con, and that's the bottom line, okay? What are you doing? You're breaking my brain with this. You need to trust me on this, Why? okay? Because Ethan Van Skyver just got banned from a fucking comic convention, okay? And oh, all his buddies. Oh, you're worried about actually getting banned for your fucking comic. Oh, <laughs> it's fucking super killer. 
<laughs> Holy that's shit. Not, it's not that, okay? It is obviously that. <laughs> Stop it. We'll figure it out. It's going to be great. I'm very excited. I'm glad that Yellow Flash has picked Cut a venue. My fucking neck. Maybe, maybe we'll figure it out. This fucking comic, man. It's gonna be great. Danny, it's just turned into like just a shut Cthulhu. up about it. It's not a thing. All right. Oh, look. or no, nothing's gonna happen. Because I have to go into the comic and sell my comic book. That's not what I'm talking about. You're completely missing the point. So don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Secret shit. Secret shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Secrets yeah. are great. Right. Danny, excellent for ten pounds. I'm, I'm always missing the point. It's so crazy <laughs> of up. things that people can't say. It's, it's just definitely crazy. about shitting and coming. All right, I'm excited. Anime whole rape is for five. Vito, get on the epic mealtime podcast with Harley. You have plenty of calorie tips and tricks they'd appreciate. Also, Lysol fun for bathroom mold. I don't have mold. Daniel Patrick for ten. Dick, Mike Redbar said you're dangerously close to getting put on fool's notice. Mike Redbar is gay. Everyone who listens to Redbar is gay. Fuck that gay, stupid show. It's so stupid. Do you watch it? No. How do you know it's gay? Because all the people, all this, like, Red Bar shit of, like, Red Bar is putting you on notice. Mike Red Bar is <laughs> going to talk shit. Yeah, but, like, for what reason? I but don't know funny. anything about Red Bar. I don't know anything about Mike Redbar. At least Red they're Bar. not, like, playing like they're not going to go to a convention because there's because they don't want to risk, like, selling their comic book at a convention. That's not what it calling is. calling calling people out directly. Calling us out for what? We don't know anything about Mike Redbar. Just you... being friends with Josh Denny. That's okay. the joke. So we're, we're friends, friends with Josh, Josh Denny, Denny so and he hates you. Josh Denny, and so yeah. we're on notice. Yeah. Duh. Okay. I'm sorry I'm nice to Josh Denny, Mike Redbar. Why are you sorry? I don't know, because I don't understand what the drama is. <laughs> You're friends with a guy I don't like. Fuck you. That's the that's it. That's so gay. Oh, yeah, that's fuck stupid. you. Stupid. I don't care. So you're not no one's gonna fight Yellow Flash then. No, I'm gonna fight Yellow Flash. Just not just not at, not at the convention. Probably at all. Oh my we'll god. So this is the most nutless. It's not nutless. You totally are bad nutless. at optics. You are an optics disaster. You are constantly talking about defending fucking pedophiles. No, I am not. You reported Alex Jones to YouTube, and you think I'm bad at I optics? I didn't report Alex Jones. You reported to him to get their channel destroyed. No, I didn't. You think I'm bad at optics? My optics are great. Look. Why don't you tell us what Eric July should have done? Uh, <laughs> through another pedophile shit. He should have done another. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, I'm glad we're on Red Bard's notice. I'm glad that he has found something to make his show. Mike, Mike, Mike. To extend whatever stupid Mike, drama. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I like Josh. You know, I'm going to promote his comedy. I like him. I'm sorry. I don't want to be on Fool's Notice. Mike, I don't want to be on Fool's Notice. I think Mike I like Red Bar, Bar is I think your hair's gay cool. and sucks dick, and his show sucks, and his fans are retarded. That's it. And anybody who listens to Red Bar is dumb. I disagree. I disavow this. It is the worst. And you should definitely feud with this show because it would be good content. Uh, he says regarding your problematic but ties. But Mike, Mike, I think we could team up and take and take Lolcal yeah, live maybe. down. Yeah, Well, if we work together after we take Vito down, I'd we could okay. take Lolcal live down. All right, if you if you team up against Lolcal, I'll take it all back. LJ Clabarino for two says I'm a niche. Uh, and I am all. <laughs> I can't say that. Can't say Michael it. winning for two. Why the hell can't Vito say sixth? There you go. Dog Fred of five for five. Even after living in the liberal hellhole of Oakland, Team Guy Vito still supports Democrats. What would it take for him to not be a liberal anymore? The know. only thing that would have to happen for Vito to stop being a Democrat is if there was a political party that uh, had a better shot of taking money from people who have more money than him. That's yeah. all you. That's all Democrats care about. Is somebody can come in and take something that they don't have from other people. If Yellow Flash is still running his mouth on these shows, just go in the chat and go, why don't you just fight him at, like, a boxing club or, like, a gym or something? The streets of L.A., the most or the, Yeah, sure. Box. The Skid streets Row. of L.A. Skid Row. We can find the pedo, We can find an the alleyway. Pedo blow Skid Row. We can find an alleyway. Yeah. Okay, and we can throw down, and we can know what the date is, and we can know when it's going to happen. What do the I gotta... redo of Healer, feel, the, the feeler and redo you of Healer. You can wear whatever gay anime mask you want to wear to protect your uh, fucking identity, your gay fat identity. And uh, I'll even allow you to use three of your most powerful anime moves on me. You can use <laughs> your Sherrigan Eye... You can contact the Batosai, whatever fucking gay anime fruitcake shit you want to do. And then I'm going to punch you in your dick and you're going to cry. 
And that's uh, that's my plan. Yellow Flash enjoys, he said it was a 12 out of 10, an anime where little kids are getting raped. Yes. And he said it was one of the best anime should, of all time. He told a bunch of kids. And he told a bunch of that children they that they should it also and read watch it. it. Of a bunch of little kids getting raped. I've never done that. No. But Yellow Flash did do that. He said everyone should watch and read this il- these illustrations of children getting raped. I love it. And I said, Yellow Flash, I disagree, and I would like to fight with you about it because you have challenged me to a fight, and I And he accept. called you a pedophile. You can't issue a- How do you feel about he uh, issued illustrations a- of little kids getting raped? It's fucking weird. I'm not a fan. Well, I gotta say, uh, <laughs> so I'm no- you No, know, that's too- I saw that redo of Healer, and I went, so what happens? He just rapes a bunch of kids? Something- Got Somehow- it. It's too much. I'd rather read anything else. I'm more of like a Quantum Leap kind of guy. I didn't go, know? ooh, this is so cool. MacGyver. I gotta tell everyone how cool it is that all these little kids get raped in my favorite comic anime. You just want them aborted before there's I just zero. want them aborted. I don't even want to see them. I'm dead already. Uh, anyway, I don't get it. Why does Yellow Flash say he wants to fight me? And then I go, okay. And he goes, he bitched oh, out. See, that's what, uh, oh, I'm not going to fight him. Because he's a pedophile. Okay, so you're a pussy. Why'd you say you want to fight me then? If a pedophile wanted to fight me, I would kick the shit out of him. Anytime, anyplace. You said you wanted to fight me. If you don't want to fight me, just say, never mind. I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have said that. I don't I, want to fight him. I'm I'm afraid of Vito. I don't want to fight him. I'm worried I'm going to get hurt. He's I'm, a bigger guy than he's me. He's a bigger guy than me, and that's fine to say. Because I think he, you know, he outweighs me. I'm worried he's going to hurt me physically. And uh, it was. I'll stu- be thinking about kids stu- getting raped. Right. And I might. You know. I just want to watch my me. lolly rape anime in peace. And I I should not have picked this fight. And and I'm yellow flash. That, this is how I talk. And I'm yellow flash. And this is how I talk. Yeah. And I'm a lolly pedophile loser. And that's yellow flash saying that. And that's fine. Yeah. Just say that. Just say that. Neither of us like lolly. I don't understand why he thinks he's in a position to go on these shows and go, yeah, well, you know, I'm not going to fight him, but, you know, like, I will be, I will, I mean, you know, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Well, then let's just do it, cocksucker. Let's do it. Let's make it real. Why is he so into defending Eric July? Because I've never defended a man except know. for maybe Trump, but not even that much. Because he's brain poisoned. These guys are, like, fucking mentally retarded. He probably retarded. thinks about his how big his cock is all the time. I think a lot of these guys have never... Talk to a black guy for yeah, more than yeah, 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah. And now they're like, I got a black friend. He's kind of cool. He's almost like a rapper, the way he carries himself. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's like yeah. I'm friends with a rapper. He won an award. He won an award. <laughs> for being a black My guy. My black friend. He won an award. Won for being black, an award. Being black in a non black area. And he's going to cool. help me make my gay comic book even gayer and worse than his. Isn't that exciting? And also, how I. How much. How many. Do you think what's what's uh, Yellow Flash's comics name? Uh, Power Rangers. Yeah, it's like what Power is it? Rangers. World War II Power Rangers. Do you think there's going to be any illustrations of little children getting raped? I think he's going to try and put them in there and hopefully try his sneak it in. Stops him. And says, probably in well, the probably behind some of the walls. They're probably going to be. He's going to go. It was World War II. Like the age of consent back then was, was a completely raping. different thing. Of course, it's not a problem. I just don't understand. I don't know, man. If I'm watching a movie or reading something and they start raping kids, I'm like, I'm out. That's enough. It's enough for me. I don't start. I don't read voraciously, read it, and then start posting about it on Twitter, telling kids to read it. I just don't know how you come back from challenging someone to a fight, and then pussing out as hard as he has, calling someone a pedophile. How does anyone have any respect for that guy at that point? Where you go, well, you challenge him to fight, and then you say, no. It's very weird. All right, it's pathetic. Uh, that's why you don't. That's why you don't issue uh, challenges to fight. Well, randomly. welcome to L.A. Um, come to uh, come to L.A. LA Comic Con. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I'm gonna be there selling uh, popsicles out of a cooler with my Mexican brothers. I'm gonna be there wearing my Hajime no Ippo uh, cosplay, famous Japanese boxing manga. You're gonna be disguised as a cosplay. I'm gonna be disguised as a Mexican selling uh, bags, uh, Ziploc bags of fruit juice, of freshly squeezed fruit juice, and those little those little with corn rings or whatever. Sombrero, yeah, yeah, yeah. Single bags, single sodas, yeah, and waters. Uh, if, you're, if you're stopping to get a bacon wrapped hot dog on the side of the street, make sure. Sure that you pay close attention to who's vending those things. Wait, wait, you got something too. Somebody sent this in. Oh, is this gonna be my cosplay costume for here. LA Comic Con? Here. Let's take a I look. I don't know if here. it's for you. I think it's for you. I don't know if, who it's for. <laughs> well, it's uh <laughs> this is uh, some sort of uh, uh, yeah. Some sort of a hat. I feel like we're supposed to have a bunch of envelopes <laughs> for this. 
Oh, yeah. We don't, though. We don't. No. So it's like, uh, okay. maybe next time. Maybe next Somebody time. Somebody do a Carmack bit. What would be our karma? This is not going to fit. It's, uh, this it's is like child size. It's something that runs, that uh, kids, children run from. Children run from. Yellow Why don't you put it onto the feathers in folder. front? That's not how a turban looks. Take now, you gotta, yeah, there you go. Hello. This feels terrible. Can I get some Mystic Fog? No. Nah, I don't so know. It would have made sense is. to save it for this. All right. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, young Clippa is here for 20. I hope to finally meet the almost no longer Young Business Award winner of the decade at the upcoming Denver Fan Expo. Drinks on me. If any local dickheads come out, we need some mystic uh, music. Ooh. We're, not, we're not doing a bit. Just don't. It's not that important. Somebody send it. What is? It, how does his bit even go? He says three things, right? He, says, he goes, uh, no, he says a thing, and it goes like, uh, the Federal Reserve. You know, it's like the answer, right? Okay. And you open it, and he opens the envelope, and you think it's like the questions in the envelope, and it's right, like, right. where would you like to fuck your mother? You know, and it's like a twist. <laughs> 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 yeah. Or like this, this is fucking things. Um, things veto. Things hates. veto hates. All right, a boy turning the 15. age of consent. Yeah. yeah like, right. right. That's the yeah. Bit. That's good. Okay. Terrible. Fender Pinwheeler for five. There's a TikToker who asks boomers how much their house costs. They immediately clam up and understand they're about to be harshly judged. That, but shanking. Yeah. And hitting them and stabbing Hit them, them based on how much. Returgery for five. Dix, you say Veets can buy a little house if he stops buying toys, but what if he also bought a toy house? It is a house and a toy. You could build a house out of toy houses. That'd you be pretty that. cool. Dumb username for two. Where do we send our art portfolios, Vito? These nuts. Dot com. Yeah, you can find my uh, contact info. Straturgery for two. I hate that. Hey, where do I email this? Put Dick Mash an email on Google, man. Yeah. Come on. Vito just all the email. It's not that hard. We have a contact form on the website. And, uh, wh uh, how do I e email? What do you want for the subject? How does everybody else get it? You know how I talk about Twitter all the time? Yeah. You, you know, you could, like, message people on Twitter and just yeah. try that. Don't do that. Uh, I like that. Adventure Tim for five. Vito, you have to say please when you ask someone to do something for you. Dick is right. Also, R.I.P. Juice. Rip juice. Well, I was asking someone to do something for Josh Denny. You still have to say please. No matter what. If you ask somebody to do anything, you have to say please. I don't think I do. I think okay. it's understood. You could die on that hill. Cyphers and sucked this for five. I like how Vito stops Dick from getting too close to the line, but immediately dances on the line himself. What do you want to have happen at the theaters? Nothing. Diamond G for 222. Vito likes be babies. Yeah. Johnny Rico for two. Shark Jump Vito. Edgelord Vito. Dead Baby Joke Vito. Yeah, totally. See, it's not edgelordy if I just believe it, though. But you, I don't think you do. Because you also want to protect pigs and shit. I think that the like, logic you think that's follows. Life. You think I don't want to. I don't want to protect unborn pigs. If a pig's pregnant and you want to abort all the pigs inside, so that what pig, trimester you want to have abortions at? Where do you draw the line? One, two, or three? Up until the point of birth. <laughs> Psychotic! <laughs> Keep saying that. I just don't care. <laughs> don't. But then when they come out, you want me to give them money. You want to take my money. As soon as they pop out of the pussy, you want to pay other guys to put a gun to my head and make me give them my money. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's totally fucking psychotic. Well, that's just how it is. Refund super killer. <laughs> Refund it. Only available till the end of April. Get in now. Uh, Dean Shocker 5, thanks for the laugh, boys. Vito, make the food show. You love to eat. What could be simpler? Easy. Okay, Swindle for five. Can I use your, uh, I want to do a cooking thing. Can't use my house. Well, there you go. So now it's not going to happen, and it's Dick's fault. Yeah. Why can't I use your kitchen? Because I see your bathroom. I'm not going to fuck up your kitchen. I see your bathroom, what it looks like. Mm -mm. I'll, cook you a, I'll cook you a meal. You could do that at your house or somewhere else. Then you could bring it to me. What if I cook you uh, All right. Well, K Swindle for This is not a, like a shoot studio. But it could be. No, I don't want that. You could rent it out. Mm -mm. It's price of zero. I think it benefits the show if I'm making content. I don't give a fuck if who it benefits and right. not doing my kitchen. K Swindle for five. Fetuses develop central nervous systems at some point before birth, Vito. If you cut my head off, do I not bleed? Look, you can debate uh, which trimester, but uh, it should be as late as possible. Electra Bolt for five. I recently went to public transportation to Japan. Due to being overweight, they charged me an extra fee called a... 
Tubby. And then he says, fair. Uh, that's a good joke. It's a good one. Bazooka for two. How can Vito be edgy when he's completely round? <laughs> Namamai for two. I hope your gay comic fails. <laughs> Cypress and suck this for two. I'm no longer a Vito file. <laughs> Love life, sir, please. Cypress and suck this for five. People respect me because I'm pro death. They can't take your shit of like Fair big enough. shit live. Cyphers and Suckers for five. Team Guy Vito always with the nonsense takes. If there's no pirate right now, I'm going to oh. disappoint Koof. <laughs> Buster Rhymes for two. Big based brown baby boarding butter ball. Uh, Jason Rivens for five. Schwein and Vito. My name is Vito. Oink oink. Ich bin ein Schweissen dunge. Oink. Cyphers and S I have no idea. Cyphers and Suckers for five. I understand exactly what Dick meant that Vito radicalizing people. Also, yeah. drunk super chats is a big problem. Voted up, love life. Gaz for two pounds is the dad against his babies. M not. You know what? Pay five dollars if you want to make a complete sentence. <laughs> Chad Dragon for five. Vito is upset he wasn't aborted because he's too scared to go to Greenland That's himself. That's true. That's not true. That's I, a good point. I don't want to be dead. Are you afraid to kill yourself? No, I don't want to die. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not looking to die. Hmm. Why? I enjoy being alive. In what way? Yeah, there's stuff to do. It's fun. I make jokes, meet people. Hmm. How bizarre. I've found enjoyment in life. Okay. About as much enjoyment as a family of pigs <laughs> living life peacefully on the farm. Well, Jed, he's got you. There you go. This is hot. Uh, Cypress and air I up. told you. Why are you wearing two jackets? Because I, didn't, I forgot I was wearing one. Well, I told you to take it off, and you didn't. i got to turn the air up. <laughs> it's not the air. Stop. What do you mean? <laughs> Give me that fucking button. What are you doing? <laughs> oh no, it's the fog again. <laughs> such an idiot. I gotta turn the fog off. Such a <laughs> oh no, it's the air machine. <laughs> <laughs> this bit is so childish that uh, he's got two remotes. Oh no, he mixed them up. Childish? Very good. The, the guy that wrote. Uh, Boys are, girls suck. Boys are great. That's sure. <laughs> Cyphers and sucked is for five. Animals grieving is rare. There's lots of anthropomorphizing in documentaries and studies. I'm extra, not a Vitophile. Yeah, there's no. Fahoa gods for five. Atheist Vito, Fedora Bro Vito, always with the <laughs> hottest Fedora tips. Buster Rhymes for two. Wow, these equality types sure are bloodthirsty. Sure are. Justin Broderick for two says, What do you both think of the Toxic Avenger? God, I haven't seen it in a million years. I remember enjoying it, but. Uh, they're bringing it back, I think. Jad Dragon for five. What about a mother who loses her job and money when the baby is two? Can she unalive it then? No. Two, you can, it would suffer. Clive Trap and Destroyer for five. Vito, you clearly need to learn how to attack Richard the same way he does to you. Eh, you can't. I think the Clive show. Clive Destroyer, you're fucking retarded. I think the show you think that's works. possible. Cyphers and Suck This for five. Vito, I'm a radical Christian now. Thank you for showing me the light. Exactly. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, my job is to tell it like it is, not to win fans. Geeks for five. Domestic cats have driven 63 species to extinction so far and threatened hundreds more. 30% of the meat industry's environmental impact is pet food. Oh. Yeah. That's interesting. That's a problem. Uh, we got to get to lab grown meat. Cyphers and sucked us for two. Pick brought me back to earth with the pogs. Lol, M A O. Gut for two. Vito's problem killed the show and he won't drop it. Yep. <laughs> Dog Fred <Fredify> five for five. <laughs> Remember, however much you dislike Vito, it's never enough. <laughs> Pineal Man for five. Vito, if you could push a button to end all existence, would you do it? Last super chat on Yapping Night. No, I don't want to end existence. You wouldn't want to end all existence with a button push? No. Why? Why Why would I? What, why would that be good? It's just for laughs. How am I going to laugh? Existence is over. The moment of pr <laughs> uh, the moment of pressing it would be the greatest feeling possible. <laughs> What do you mean? Why See, come? Why say, go through all that work and to then I blow say, your load? And then I say doing a mass shooting would be like the best day of your life, and everybody says I'm crazy. Yeah, but you got to go. You can't get everybody in one shooting. You could get everybody with one button. I don't think the point of the shooting is to get everybody. It's to get, you know. Oh, you really don't understand. To spend a, <laughs> send a message. Uh, geeks for two. Murder isn't really an applicable term to animals. I think it is. Jad Dragon for 10. It's Animals are the term. same as humans. What's wrong with having sex with a dog? No, no difference. difference. Yeah. Cyphers and Sockers for 5. Vito is the main character. He's Shinji. You're supposed to hate him, but you have to hope for him. <laughs> I like the pirate. Vito makes the show. Black Crimson for 15. Vito is the biggest problem in the universe. Dick is the winner. Aklovich for 2. New Vit. Vito plugs. Go fund me. 
Shaz Martian drives. Cyphers and Suck just five. Amazing how Vito proves me wrong instantly. I pray for the accident guy, but all the money is on the show. Inshallah. Trio Jug for five. Not going to that GoFundMe because human life has no worth. I didn't say that. Two Soaks Calzini for five. Hey, guys, Vito has a point. How could humans suffer if they don't exist? Believe it or not, I don't kill blood bugs nor step on plants. They are alive, You got too. plants' rights? You all about plants' rights? Well. You don't want them to suffer? Plants can't feel pain. Cyphers and suck this for five. Vito, we love you. The royal we. I'm commanding an army. Inshallah. Thank you. JJ for 10. Dick, you can donate. Vito's cut off this super chat to the fundraiser for that drunk driving <laughs> accident. No. What's a drunk driving accident? You don't have accident. to do that. Claptrap to destroy for five. Praise Vito. Mashallah. Oh, Captain God. Cheese for five. How much money to abort that GoFundMe guy since Vito's all about avoiding suffering? <sighs> G Money Pants for five. Vito's right. People and animals are the same because clearly he is a pig. <laughs> Surprised it took people that long to pick up on that. Well, you're just reading to the part where you were talking about that. Well, I'm saying, you know, of all the pig, Vito is a pig jokes, then I start being sympathetic towards pigs. I would have expected more super chats. Like, well, he's just talking you're about better than them. Your family. Scar for five. Yo, Vi Richard, please play Oh Man, I Sent You. I don't know if you know what that is. I don't is. know what that is. Jagar for two. Have either of you seen Smiling Friends on Max? I haven't. But uh, I've seen the first season. You haven't watched the first season of Smiling Friends? Mm -mm. Uh, you got to watch if it. If enough people see something and say it's good, I just don't watch it. I can't. It's not It's not just that it's good, but that um, it's like a bunch of YouTube guys made it. So it's like one of those rare pathways from YouTube to actual mainstream comedy stuff. Uh. Yeah, this is the thing I said. I just can't expose. I, I, I get it because yeah, you don't want to feel like uh, I don't, I'm not gonna like. I just feel like don't watch the first episode. I watched that uh, has been hotel though. Finally, I like it. It's great. It's really it's a great good. Show. It's really well made. Christians should watch make that. Well, Christians aren't gonna make that. They're just gonna complain about it endlessly. They should. Look at it and think, oh, yeah, this is what Oh, we it's used got a message about. about like uh, rede Impression, redemption yeah. and overcoming your. No, Smiling Friends looks great, but. Uh... I'll say this the first episode, Mike. Are you an RLM guy? Mike yeah, Stockalaza? Is he on it? He does a voice in the first episode. Oh. And it's kind of worth just watching to see Mike do a cartoon it voice. It looks great. He nails he nails that episode. I'm like, bring him back, make him a voice actor all the time. Bomba Gumper for two. Help, go fund me, guy. Put noses all over a 14 year old. Oh my god. Jarby Jimson for ten. My faith was shaken after finding out a bunch of pro life charities or grifts earlier this week. Vito's argument is so bad that my faith has been renewed. Yeah, totally. God truly works in mysterious ways. <laughs> Thanks, Vito. Because you 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 really have this like bloodlust. For defenseless things and this also insane virtue signaling need to make other people pay for bums and degenerates. It's so bizarre. You could make other people pay for the unborn too, but you just want to kill them. What do you want? Well, what can we do with the bums and degenerates? Let them die. Let them suffer and die. We already do that on some level. Um, yes, but in doing that, we take my money. Look and pretend that a, we're helping. If, that. if a bum shows up and he goes, "Hey, I'm gonna starve to death if you don't give me a sandwich." What am I doing? Someone's do gonna mean? give him a sandwich. Wait, wait what? So you just want like private charity? I'm just saying that the the tendency of humanity is even if someone's a big lazy piece of shit, we're still gonna like find a way to keep them alive. We're not gonna just let them starve you, and die. Don't say we. You are going to If a do guy that. personally came to you and said, I'm dying of thirst, what can am I, I get doing? a drink of water? What am I doing? You're giving him a bottle of water that you paid for. No, what am I doing when he comes up to me? You're uh, playing your favorite Nintendo video game. And he's knocking at my door? Yeah. I'm not opening the door. Okay. What if your window is open? Uh, uh, you got the no window windows. cracked. No, no, you get the no, window no. cracked so you can uh, feel. A the guy air. comes to my house and knocks on the door. You're in your car at a grocery store. I'm not opening the fucking door. I'm no, I'm but your totally window's stonewalling open. him, gray rocking him, and driving away. Okay, I do this all the time. I'd give him a bottle of water. And I think most people probably would. But the problem is, you don't have enough water to give everybody, so you need my water. That's the problem. Okay. What do you mean, okay? I'm just saying. So you just you just don't want to be taxed. Yeah. Okay, I get that. No. How many conversations can we have about that? All you know? of them. All of them. All of them. All right. Well, you know what? Uh, you're in America. Most of us want to give water bottles to homeless people. 
And some of us also want to go a little too wa- far. You don't have to pay for it, though. Well, we want to give them water. And then How much water do you give food, homeless people? And then we How much g- do you give homeless people? I don't know. Whatever comes out of my fucking taxes. But you don't actually do it. I, uh, the society does it for me. I pay into the system. The system provides for people. I don't endlessly kvetch and bitch about it because I go, well, you know, uh-huh. everybody's got a basic amount of sympathy for these people, and I get it. I have sympathy for them. You want me to not have sympathy for these people, basically. I want you to not think that what you're doing is helping anyone. I don't, think it, I don't think it's doing great amount of help, but it's keeping them alive on some no. level. They would a lot of these people would be dead if you didn't have some amount of welfare or whatever help. No, them a lot out. of them would be living in uh, Utah or something. Po- I don't know. Possibly it'd be too expensive to live here. I mean, a lot of these guys, they're, they're they can't just move. They're not like uh, someone would have to get them to Utah. So you care about the people. Do you want? Do you want like a government program that moves homeless people to Utah? As long as Utah is the bottom of the trash, yeah. Okay, well then your taxes are paying for that. So, but you care about those people. I can't, yes. But not fetuses. No. How does that make sense? I care about the fetus insofar as, like, I'm Christians imbi- say I'm they ambi- care about the fetus. They don't care about living I'm people. I'm ambivalent towards the fetus. It's like if it lives. Ambivalent that, means both ways. It's, it's, if it lives, it's great. And if it dies, it's not a big deal. What about the homeless guy? I feel a little bit, you know, well, again. It's if, the same as the Christians. No, it's not. Because, again, if the, hom- yeah. if the homeless guy dies, I would go, well, it's not, like, the biggest fucking deal. But I also think that it would take the smallest amount of effort to, like, you know, give him what he needs to be comfortable. Oh, yeah. And I'm okay with that. Okay. You should go help more. Maybe I will. You should go volunteer to Soup Kitchen. Well, I've always wanted to open an animal shelter. Oh, yeah. Because animals are the same as people, so helping animals is the same as helping people. I'd love to have a cat rescue. I think I'd be very good at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take care of these Big cats. fundraiser for that one. Well, cats are more, you know, and honestly, animals are mo- I feel worse for animals than human beings. Because you look at them as yourself. No, because they're, they're, uh. They don't have traits of a person, so you can project yourself into them completely. It's that they are so much more prone to being victimized because, like, a human being, you're right, that homeless guy should be self-sufficient. He should figure out how to get himself help, how, how to find food. A cat, is, or a cat or a dog or whatever else is like, this world has been built for humans. It is not built for dogs and cats and whatever else. Yeah. Uh, these, these animals have been removed from habitats where they normally could just be self-sufficient. They're stuck in urban centers, and it kind of does fall on us to uh, take care of them because we've taking away their, you know, you gotta territory. Your yeah. Not thinking about I'm not, homeless and I'm not cat doing it now. rescue and stuff. I'm not doing it now. I think if I reti- if I ever retired, you know, and I was like, what am I going to do with my time? I'd have, like, a little cat rescue or something. you got to have money to retire. I'd at least have, like, 20 cats. I want 20 cats. <laughs> I saw a video, and it was two gay guys who just live in a house with, like, 20, 20 30 cats. Yeah. And I went, that's the life. That's that's the way to be. It Look, sounds all, like we living get, in a we all get something different. Living out of in life. hell, we all get something different out of living life. in cat. I shit like animals. I really like animals. E- excrement smell. Well, that would be the worst part is whenever they do those documentaries about cat shelters. The you know twenty litter boxes set up in a row, and you're like, oh, that I would have thought it was the gay sex. You know, it's the worst part about being a <laughs> in a gay relationship. homosexual running a cat rescue yeah. is getting fucked up the ass. <laughs> a lot of people think you it's don't the have cat to do that shit. part. You don't have to do that. Uh, anyway, Cypher's and Sockness for five says, I think the show works because it's two waves of autism that exist in everyone. I'm very sober and straight, by the way. Fuck Moon. I'm glad I've reinforced everyone's faith in Christ because now they learn that true demons walk among us. Vito, who cares more about cats than human beings. Uh, but, but that, not really. No, pretty much. Well, you know. I think I care more about animals than most people. <laughs> Not more than like a farmer. Well, well you don't s- do anything with the caring. Like that's the that's kind of the problem. I'm trying to. Well, yeah, because I'm trying to get to. I'm not. You just say it. Because I'm not a man of like incredible means. I'm trying to make something of my life. And if I got to the point where I was like, you know, uh, financially, if I had boomer money, I'm not going to retire and live on a boat. Okay. You're going to live in cat shit. I'm going to live in cat shit. Okay. I'm going to help. Uh, give him a give him a home. Yulam Ovato for 50 says, shave that beard. 
Uh, and whatever, that's just me. Not everybody has to care about animals as much as me. You don't have to care about animals equally to me. I just personally care uh, more uh, about animals. But that means nothing. Well, yeah, it doesn't. It I doesn't, mean, you don't none do of it matters. None of none of it is like a like a hard and fast rule. Yeah. You know, I guess I'm just saying from my point, you can care more about babies than I care about babies. I just think you guys care like way too much about babies. Because, again, like I'm not losing sleep. Like if a bunch of cats die, I'm like, that sucks, but I'm not losing sleep over it. If a bunch of babies die, who cares? You know, it's like, what are you? It's really weird to hear you compare babies with cats and pigs. I just, I don't know, man. I've Like, it's all life. It's life. I think all life has... You don't think that was, it's very disturbing to people to hear you compare uh, humans to cats and pigs? No, because, I mean, I'm saying that I think that all life is, like, valid. I'm Look, again, if a human being dies, I genuinely, like, feel... Like, I would feel more about, like, a human being dying than an animal, right? Uh-huh. Okay, because there's a lot more there, and they have a lot more family and more connections and whatever else. Uh-huh. I'm just saying that, like... I don't completely discount animal life to the point where, like, when you kill but you eat it. hundreds of thousands of animals a year, and then you go, like, that's totally fine and is meaningless, but killing even one baby is the worst fucking thing that could ever happen. I go, well, I can't square that away. That doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Vito, you're eating animals. What when you, you see a dog, When you see about? a dog in a cage in, like, those Chinese market videos, don't you go, like, oh, my God, that's horrible. Yeah, it sucks. That's really, that's, like, horrifying. It really sucks. You just want to be a dog? You just want to run around and a bunch of Chinese guys are going to cut you into pieces and eat you. That sucks. Yeah. Okay. Well, to me, that's worse than an abortion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, clearly. All right, whatever. It's fucking weird. <laughs> I don't think it's that weird, really. Yeah, it's kind of, it's some kind of weird human hatred. It's not a human hatred because I like humans who have popped out and are fully formed. I'm not that worried about one that's like... This fucking small and isn't even aware what a thought is and doesn't know what it is. I mean, I, I'm done. I don't. I don't care about it anymore. It's, just, it's not funny. It's bringing the show down. <laughs> well, that's part of the show. Ulim for fifty says shave that beard. PSI Chris for two says Earthbound mentioned. Chud Bronson for ten rolls in mud. Veto eats garbage. Veto. Uh, okay, that's a lot. Chad Dragon for two. Crying Vito, Pig Vito, Vito eats bees. trans women poo for 5K. Smelly Vito. You're not reading Super Chats now? Oink, oink, Vito. <laughs> you can read that one. There, you read it. You refreshed it, though. Nah, you got it. You got it all. You got the whole thing. Everything's great. <laughs> Skipping Super Chats. You got Unbelievable. it all. Just you like Eric July. You got it all. Chad Dragon oh for two God. says Vito. Okay, do you want to read it? There. What did we I am going to do this, Vito. Sad Vito. No cat Vito. Failure Vito. Thank you. Chad Dragon for two. Vito Beast. Glenn Lentz for ten. You guys see the Sasuke scissors made a sequel to the Night of the Living Dead with some of these shitty actors from the Yaira trailer. Looks just as piss drinkingly bad. Also great show tonight, guys. Thank you. I was surprised at how bad the Yaira. I thought the Sasuke sisters would be more talented than they were. That was genuinely surprising to me. Oh, yeah. Baloik for two. Super Killer is the star citizen of comics. They just filmed themselves, like, drinking piss and making out, They didn't, didn't make they? that, though. That other guy made that. They were just in it. So they have less experience than... They made some, like, horror films. They wanted one called Dead Hooker and a Drunk or something. That was, like, you know, one of these stupid... Did it look any good? But the thing about horror movies is that, like, they're supposed to be low budget and look like shit. Yeah. So the second you try to apply those sensibilities to making a flashy CG superhero thing, you're like, oh, so you guys aren't actually talented filmmakers. You just were good at making grindhouse schlock that yeah. pretty much any kid with a copy of Premiere can make. I could mm. make a horror movie, okay? Mm. It's like, oh, the camera's all shaky, and oh, all the footage looks like shit, and it's underexposed and whatever else, because that's, you know, whatever. Ooh, that's the style. Like, horror mm. movies can look like shit. Mm. A, a superhero movie has to be, like, particularly shot and rendered yeah. and whatever else. Uh, Cypress and Suck this for two. I love Examoon. I love Boulder. Love all his arts. Doc Fred five for five. You know, I understand if you never release Super Killer, it's just a dumb comic anyway. Who cares? I'll just go see Deadpool 3 <laughs> on July 26th instead. Uh. All right. On the John for five. I take it back. After that disaster of an abortion <laughs> problem, we can't be friends. <laughs> Says the niggler. Is anybody even still watching after that? Oh my god! We got god. people watching. Look, so how many, bad. How many people? We got oh, way less than there 1300. was. Thirteen hundred. Way less. Than Everyone's there was. having fun. Uh, Michael winning for two. Dot says cowboy butts drove him nuts. Cypher's suck this for five. Says Dot is my legal name. Don't dox me. 
Uh, they do drive me seething mad. Kenny for 10 says fat. Kenny for another 10 says still fat. Cypher sucked us for five Thank says Moon Doesn't have the money to complain about my love. He cites the filters blocking the F slur. Very convenient. Very sober thoughts. Press ass for 10. Please tell us hot crypto tips. I need more money for your Patreon. There you go. Sell everything that's not Bitcoin. Rough housing by proxy for five. Dick, the jacket's a good look. Thank you. Kara Fro for five. Throws up the horns. horns. Toothless Ninja for 10. Pulling Outlaw set right now. Pulled a Lotus Ring and TBF to Wizards of the Coast. No amount of crap they throw in these sets is worth it. Oh, it's too uh, bad. Joe Schmo for five. Hit the game winning free throw in my B ball rec league tonight. So here's five dollars in celebration of W's. Oh, booty time! Good job, Joe. Schmo. Verse for two. Vito swallows cement. Wookie Z uh, for two. Vito needs his own oh. fog machine in a treasure chest. That would be funny. Dog Fred of five for two. You were terrible on trash cast. Awesome, Joe Schmo <laughs> for two. Trash cast has no Vito's booty, so no wonder it sucked. Diamond G for two. Left inside jacket pocket for smoke machine. Uh -huh. oh. Oh. You figured out where it is. Cypress and Suck, this for five. We all want to fuck Roseanne. Also, the Goofy Mooney movie is Kino. Goofy movie is great. Tesso for five. If Marvel offers a free mod to a stagnant IP and calls it Deadpool and Wolverine, will Vito sue to block it? Just make your own so, super killer. Uh, Drunken Atheist Studio for five says, Plugs, culture scape, but make it seem like you're bringing it up organically. Don't read this. Guys, uh, if you want a nice interview with myself, uh, check out Culture Scape on YouTube. I sat down for a two-and-a-half, three-hour interview. We covered a lot of topics, including uh, French foreign films, Yellow Flash being an F-slur, and oh. uh, Eric July. Uh, great stuff. Check it out on Culturescape over on YouTube, edited by the great Drunken Atheist Studio. Dog Fred of 5 for 5. The eclipse was awesome. I would go to Greenland immediately if I didn't see yes, it in person. Yes, good. Drunken Atheist Studio for 5 says, I set an alarm to wake up and see the eclipse, but I went outside and fell asleep in my car. I woke up an hour <laughs> after everything looked cool. Good job. I'll watch a video of it. Mullet Kid for five. Why don't these comics people ever tell you to read Harvey Picard? American Splendor is a great guide for comic weirdos to learn about real life. Uh, I saw the movie. I don't think I actually read his comics, though. Dog Friday five for five. Can I use my three wishes to delay the super killer release date further and further? Yes. yes. Granted. Tegzaz for 250 in euros Fog says, Fog it, it up. up. Lotto Blue for five, a live one. Dog Fred of five for five in the neighborhood. In the Vito neighborhood, it's a pirate flag. In the is. neighborhood, Vito's decided to load it. Best can't get it right. Each step of quake, his size a sin. A walking buffet without the grin. No, yo ho. <laughs> a walking buffet without the grin. Okay. Molly Kid for five. I'm very happy to hear that Vito will give this five bucks to my brother someday so I don't have to. You're and welcome. Justin Brodick for five. The reason Smiling Friends is so good is because it's like early adult swim, but now ignoring Tim and Eric's contributions. Just watch it. Oh, he's saying in spite of Tim and Eric's contributions, you should watch oh, it. Oh, did they work on it, Tim and Eric? I don't think so. Maybe they were in an episode I mean, or at some point I was just like, I'm kind of over this like adult shit. Like, I, I know, adult swim stuff. Like, I just need a break from it. But maybe I'm coming back around There's now. some good guys on that show, guys you would like. Uh, uh, real quick. Uh, oh, hold on, hold is on. it real quick? Dog Friday 5 for 5. Is it real quick? Thank you for making it real more dead? radical in my pro-life beliefs. Cap Cheese for 2. Instead of skipping Super Chats, try skipping meals. Joe Schmo for 5. Vito, what do you think about feeding the homeless with leftover human abortion meat to there give them nutrition go. and stem Edgelord, cells? Fucking and Val for 2. Vito has no humans. argument. Pro-life doesn't equal hating, hating cats. cats. Here we go. Are you ready, kids? Uh, pro-life does not respect uh, animal. <laughs> Are you Live. ready? It's funny that you guys are just the opposite side of the same thing. Mm -hmm. They pretend to l care about some things, and you guys pretend to care about it on the other side. Oh! What's the game where we smash all the toys? A man who tweets about little boys. What's in the box? You know you want it. So get on the scale or I smash it to shit. Beatles booty, Beatles booty. Did you see anything in here, Vito? Are you looking? I mean, did you, you swap it or something? Are you trying to see what's in there? I, mean, I saw, I saw something upstairs, but it wasn't good. Well, <laughs> I don't want to smash anything. I don't feel like smashing anything. Then you better get on the scale. I don't know. You got you got five drum rolls no, to tell no, us. You don't even have to do it. Just we'll just just wait. You're just gonna do it. 
Who cares, he says. Here we go. Uh, Maybe I lost it. Maybe you did. Maybe, uh, n maybe a million dollars will I fall out of the sky. Story. Maybe, uh, OJ will come back to life and find the real killers. Your scale and mine are like four pounds off. Your scale is broken. I don't think it is. Well, when do you weigh yourself? All the time. What do you mean, all the time? I'm gonna go home and weigh myself and see what my scale's at. Okay, well, you're 293.5. And that's like the same as last week. Uh, it's one pound lighter than Wow, last thrilling. Week. This bit gets better and better. <laughs> and now maybe there's a bad toy in there. Here you go. Or maybe it's a good one. Here you go. See, it's heavy now, though. Why is it so heavy? I don't know. It's, it's like your a brick toy. in here. It's probably a brick. You better just smash it. <laughs> Oh, look at, oh my god. Some sort of wow. a pedophile It's a book. pedophile compendium here. All Is the, that good? All the even, how are you going to smash books? I was going to burn them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got the complete even, you should read this. I should, uh, you're not going to read this, huh? I don't give a shit about any of that crap. No, this is good. This is the Evangelion manga. Is it good? This is the part of the show where I get to talk about Evangelion because that's my favorite. No, part the of show's show. over. <laughs> Hold on, put up the list of our top supporters. Is there a Ken Doll and Hyde song we should listen to? No, I, it's Save over. It the show is the abortion thing to basically ruined the show. I don't think it ruined the show. It was so bad. What are you talking about? It's just terrible. People hate that shit. Well, <laughs> it's got to be funny. It was kind of funny. No, 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 no. The joke is that... I feel like I'm talking to Eric July now. <laughs> Absolutely no taking criticism. Well, I'm going to say, uh, great show. I learned a lot. We got to do a bonus episode. I don't think anybody suggested a bonus episode topic last week. Yeah. Uh, so please, in the comments, let us know what you want for a bonus episode. Don't forget to go to superkiller.org. We are closing the campaign. Get in now. Vote on all the problems at biggestproblem.show. And, uh, of course, we'll have a new bonus episode. We should record it this week. That'll be at patreon.com slash biggest problem. And if you're a member now, we'll announce, we'll, we'll try to do it live so people can watch us record the bonus episode because that's fun. Yes, great. And maybe we'll get O.J. Simpson's chicken. Yeah, that would be great. And maybe we'll, uh, I'll use your kitchen to make some fun food videos. That's not happening. <laughs> I think it would be cool, you know, you just... Just let me uh, cook up there. You got a burner. You got a little kitchen island. I could set up a camera. Yeah, I know. It'd be perfect for you. <laughs> You're not using my kitchen to shoot videos. Why do you not want me to shoot something in your kitchen? Because it's a waste of my time. You don't have to be there. That's an even worse proposition for me. <laughs> Why would I not be in my own house? I'll cut you in on the. Uh, I'll cut you in on the. I'll put it on our channel. It could be the biggest problem cooking segment. I don't care. And I'll cook you a meal. Uh, no. You want some pie roast? Uh, no. You want, uh, you want some pasta? No. You don't want me to cook you anything? No. See, I would be I would be a good segment. I think everybody right now listening is going, I wish Vito could cook in Dick's kitchen and make some great yeah, yeah. cooking videos. Let me just use your uh, stuff <laughs> for my video. It's a stove. You have a stove? You use it all the time. You got a stove? Yeah, but my, I just don't have a, I have a very narrow kitchen. It's not set up for filming, you know? Well, you're going to have to work, do, make do. Well, everybody wants the food videos. The reason you're not getting them is because Dick will not let me film in his kitchen. Yeah, definitely, yes. <laughs> if anyone else in L.A. has a kitchen I could use, let me know. <laughs> now, maybe that could happen. Okay, how?